Looks like things are going smoothly. as friendly as ever. Well, you sure are pulling out the big guns. Do we really need this thing? The space-time anomaly 15 years ago took place in an incomplete fashion. We must correct the errors. Huh. So, you knew all along, huh? You're one scary guy. I bet you can't wait to see the look on her face when she finally knows everything. So, this is our princess? She smells good. I've fallen in love already. Time for that kind of thing, Miyuki. Has anything come up on the scanner yet? I hope you understand what we're after poses a considerable threat to Vector. I'd appreciate you taking the situation more seriously. Exactly. I don't care if you get yourself killed. Just don't take us down with you. All right, all right, fine. Why is everyone picking on me? Well, is this it, Miyuki? Confirming coordinates. Yep, perfect. No doubt about it, this is Vector's S-Line division. Then the top secret data we want is just ahead. I'll handle backup. You three take care of the rest. You're not gonna help, Doctus? Don't depend on others to do everything for you. Usus Magister est Optimus. I want to be as far from here as possible when our pursuit arrives. I know, I know! Miyuki, keep watch. Kanan, please start the data backup. I'm already on it. Don't screw up, now that we've made it this far. I know, I know. But will this really expose Vector's crimes? Miyuki, do you understand what this UMN really is? Uh, it's a wide area network system or something, right? A wide area information network system with non-local connections. Its characteristics enable warp travel and light speed communication. An exemplary answer. But do you think that's really all there is to it? What do you mean? 
A wide area network that connects our star cluster. But who built it and when? Who established the gate jump columns? For that matter, what division of Vector even handles the base theory development? It's... um... Exactly. No one knows, because no one established it or built it. It was already there. We just use it as if we invented it. That's nothing more than your own conjecture. I'll give you credit for your vivid imagination, but you have no proof. He's right. Don't you think you're jumping to conclusions? I hope so. If I'm wrong, everyone can live in peace. But we need to make sure. We need to know what they intend to accomplish with the UMN. What their ultimate goal is. Huh? Xion, there's something weird. Something? I've told you time and again to make precise reports. Well, there's a strange fluctuation in the particle flow. It started about 300 seconds ago. Looks like a fractal pattern. I think someone or something's trying to interfere with us. Is it a pursuit craft or the cyber surveillance system? No. There hasn't been any physical contact from macrophages. And there's no sign that our jamming of the surveillance network has been broken. It's like someone's watching. No, studying us. Studying us? Who? Why? There's no way for me to tell. How's that data coming? Just a little more. Hurry! It's dangerous to stay here much longer. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I don't waste brain power on trivial things. Uh, this is gonna be a little bumpy. Hold on tight. Wait! What? Shion? one was a little too close for comfort. Are you alright, Xion? Whoa, you look pretty sexy. Miyuki, you're starting to sound like a dirty old man. Well, we completed our mission. Although someone made it more complicated than it should have been. Oh, come on, Xion. I promise it won't happen again. Anyway, how's the data? Don't tell me we lost it in the end. It's fine. The backup completed with 0 .002 nanoseconds to spare. Good. Not bad. 
former chief of Vector's first division. You and your brother are both good. The translation method was sloppy and a bit lagging, but thanks to you, we made it. I'm going to start analyzing the backed up data. I'll let you know if I find anything, along with that other thing you asked. Thanks. Start the data transfer, Realian. It's Kanan. You seem to have a defect in your memory. Herare humanum est. Um... Uh, Xion? You aren't mad, are you? No. Everything turned out alright. I don't make a habit of fussing over details. Oh, good. No, it's not good. I'm sending you text on basic structure later, and I want you to answer them. Aw, oh, again? Your method is unable to adapt to the language because you skip the basics during assembly. Yes, ma'am. Xion, is what we are doing really okay? You're asking me now? You're the one who demanded we let you help. I mean, well, what we're doing is a crime. Yes, but that was before the Gnosis terrorism. We know that the Gnosis phenomenon is symbiotically linked to the UMN. So the UMN, as it stands now, is dangerous. Just like Doc Tu said, Gnosis may not have been called by Professor Mizrahi and the UTIC organization or even the immigrant fleet, but rather Vector, the constructor of the UMN. If that's true, there may be an ulterior motive in Cosmos's development as well. Is that why you're having Skientia investigate the Milshin conflict? Because your father might have been involved? I don't know for certain, but I think someone has to do something. And I don't want Cosmos to suffer. Xion, you still can't forget about her? <sighs> you quit the company without any hesitation, so I thought you'd be over it by now. It takes a lot of courage to renounce everything you've worked for. Anyway, if there's any developments over here, I'll let you know. Right. But be careful. You're in more danger than the rest of us since you are where you are. Oh, Xion, stop trying to scare me. <coughs> Nephilim, you're still... That's happening a lot lately. I wonder if I'm just worn out. Uh, um, I guess it's been a while, Chief. Um, actually, this is pretty difficult to tell you, but at a staff meeting a few days ago, they officially decided to cancel First Division's Cosmos Development Project. Actually, it's being transferred to the military, so the project itself isn't going away. But the military is going to oversee the development of a new model. So the Cosmos unit development will come to a close at the end of this month. Togashi and I have the misfortune of being transferred to the military along with it. The decision was sudden, so... We're all scrambling to organize the data we've accumulated. Though, all of us are pretty down since you've left. So, now I'm on 5th Jerusalem, where the project is being transferred to. Would you like to come and visit us? Everyone misses you. I'm sure even Cosmos. <laughs> well, she's antisocial as usual, so I don't know what she thinks. But I bet she misses you too. I'll await your answer. Hope to see you soon, Chief. Our flower of First Division. Well, he's certainly learned how to talk smoothly. I can't believe it's been six months already. Chief, wait, calm down. Please, tell me why... Weren't you listening to what I just said? I was listening. I, I heard what you said. But what do you mean you're quitting? Upper management has yet to make a decision. I can't just stay on as chief like nothing happened after causing an incident like that. You mean the Gnosis terrorism, right? 
It was that grimoire guy who caused it. There's no reason for you to take responsibility for it. You haven't been accused of anything yet. You don't have to resign. Cosmos will be sealed and placed under observation, and I'm responsible for it. It may be irresponsible to leave in the middle of development, but I can't stay at Vector. She's only being sealed temporarily, and... Wait, Chief! Alan, please take care of Cosmos, and everyone. Please, give it a second thought. I'm sorry. Female form? Yes. Since ancient times, women always healed people's hearts and granted them hope. But there have been a lot of men who were healers, too. Historical records have always been compiled from a male point of view. And besides, men are creatures capable of nothing but destruction and conquest. It's important to choose a female form when it's going to be a creator or protector. Did I say something strange? No, it's just funny to see you with a gentle expression while you lecture with such intensity. <laughs> really? Why did you decide to make Cosmos, Kevin? Is it to protect humanity? Well, it's true that Gnosis are a grave threat to mankind's existence. So wanting to protect people from that threat is part of it. But more than that, there's something much stronger inside me. Stronger? Everything exists for a reason. If the Gnosis represents a truth we haven't known before, then I want to know what that is. The truth about Gnosis? I think that may actually be the shortcut to saving this universe. I know you can do it, Kevin. You'll build Cosmos, and you'll find that meaning. So, they've cancelled the project. It's my fault. Kevin would be sad. Everything is unfinished. I'm sure even Cosmos won't be satisfied. <sighs> no, I'm the one who's not satisfied. I can't go on leaving things unfinished like this. I have to go see Cosmos. It appears part of the S-Line Division data leaked. It's her handiwork. It seems she's working very hard. The leak includes information about that program. It doesn't matter. They have little power. Actually, it's all rather endearing. They think their cage is the entire world. And they believe they can change it. Let's just watch over them for a while. But enough of that. How did things go at Renlu Chateau? Is everything ready? Everything is proceeding as planned. The transport to Fifth Jerusalem is complete. We are ready for the Zohar project demonstration. Do you intend to leave that location as is? Yes. Ormus needs a sign that they can see with their own eyes. As long as they have their proof, they will continue to sacrifice themselves to protect their idol. For that is the source of their hope. There isn't much time left for her as well. Contact with Cosmos has taken its toll on her. You must succeed this time. I understand. I will tend to her myself.
she emits good wavelength, just as you said. Thank you. This is awful. Yes. This battle resulted in the destruction of the 87th Division fleet. Now the Mictum system has, for all practical purposes, fallen under Ormus control. And so, history repeats itself. It's the exact same situation as 100 years ago. As long as people have self-preservation instincts, there will always be conflicts. The consciousness that makes us who we are is an inseparable part of life. Only death awaits people who abandon their human nature. So everything is dictated by the laws of nature? That does sound like you, Helmer. But even that is in danger of being destroyed by the Gnosis, if things continue on like this. That's what the Zoha project is for. I hear that the tactical warship Merkava is already complete. According to the remaining fragments of the Y-Data, the Merkaba, just like the Proto-Merkaba, is a device that existed since ancient times. And Dimitri decided to turn it into a weapon. When Albedo obtained the Y-Data from Momo's subconscious domain, Dimitri obtained it as well by some unknown method. That bastard Dimitri. Who would have thought he would use Joachim's dark relics? This must be hard on you. I'm more worried about how Momo would feel if she learned about this. I can't bear to see her sad. You're a good mother. Well, I'm trying. I'm sorry, but I will need you to keep an eye on Dimitri a little while longer. Isn't this sort of job your specialty? Perhaps in the past. Now I'm the Milshin representative. I can't make any moves out in the open. Just restraining the Salvatore faction in Parliament keeps my hands full. You have my sympathy. Farewell. <laughs> Canaan. No, it's fine. Have you found any information about the object? This is what it looks like under the UMN resonating telescope at maximum magnification. According to the information we obtained unofficially from Vector, this object is called Ren Le Chateau. There's no way to prove this, but apparently it's a landmass that belonged to Lost Jerusalem. Even if, as you say, this is in fact a relic of Lost Jerusalem, why has it appeared now? There is also a record of an unusual number of Gnosis appearing in that region of space. Ormus appears interested in it as well. There's likely to be some connection. The only way to obtain more data on it is to make direct contact with the target. What do you propose about assembling an expedition team? I've already commissioned the Kukai Foundation. This isn't public due to the number of Ormus members in the military and parliament. A wise decision. Was she on doing well? Yes, she seemed fine. Though I'm not sure if I approve of her new associates. Ah, uh, Skientia. Their technical skills are impressive. Vector has been acting suspiciously since the Gnosis terrorism. We'll use anything we can in order to find the truth, even outlaws. Please continue your investigation on the UMN. It must be difficult for you since you were born at Vector, but there's no one else I can ask. I'm currently under the jurisdiction of the Milshin government, and I've also received orders from Representative Helmer to cooperate with you. Do not worry about me. Thank you. Parliament and the military both have their hands full dealing with Ormus, and we can't ignore a request from committee member Mizrahi. Nah, don't worry about it. We're getting bored anyway. It'll be a nice change of pace. Right? That's right. It's unofficial, but we have information that an Ormus fleet is headed there as well. Either there's something there that Ormus needs, 
Maybe. Just because we don't know what it is, doesn't mean they don't. Either way, if we make direct contact, we're sure to find out something, right? I envy your attitude. But I wish you'd think a little more about my position. Oh well, that's the little master for ya. The matter is surrounded by sensitive political issues. If I could, I'd go with you. But I can't leave Fifth Jerusalem for a while. Take care of the place while I'm gone, you two. If he gives you any trouble, don't hesitate to scold him. You got it. Understood. <laughs> like he really envies me. He's dumped all the hard stuff on us. I'm gonna make him write all the reports when this is done. Little Master, are you really gonna be okay with just the Elsa? Wouldn't it be a good idea for us to go too? Don't worry. It's just gonna be a reconnaissance, so Elsa's small size is better suited. Just keep the Durandal in the back for support. Anyway, we've got ESs. There's nothing to worry about. Little Master, I don't mean to dampen your enthusiasm, but large-scale Gnosis appearances have been detected in that region of space. Please take appropriate caution. I know. We're almost there. I'll contact you later. Margulis, I've put Richard and Herman in charge of dealing with... the Federation fleet moving towards Renlu Chateau. Hmm. They seem to be highly compatible with the vessels of Anima. Yes. The Federation will be unable to offer any real resistance against ES craft. This should keep them quiet for a while. Hmm. What's wrong? You're not yourself. Are you feeling sentimental after returning to our homeland? Pellegrin, what do you see before you? Mictum, the mummified world that spreads before our eyes. This is what is left of the birthplace of Ormus. A world destroyed 18 years ago. By Federation barbarians who foolishly unleashed the Zohar. Yes. It is our homeland, wiped from the records, in order to cover up the Federation's mistakes. But why are we here now? What lies on this world ruled by death and gnosis? Isn't our goal to return to lost Jerusalem? Everything is the will of Lord Heinlein. It is not for us to know. He has stated that this world will rise again. Then it must mean that it will. Already, Renle Chateau has returned. The holy land of Renlu Chateau? Our cradle, which once existed on lost Jerusalem, where our blessed saint sleeps. If the reappearance of the tomb heralds the revival of our homeland, then we must protect our holy land at all costs. Reporting, sir. A Kukai Foundation vessel is approaching the region in question. It appears to be a Lohengrin-class freighter. Hmm. Helmer's dogs. <laughs> Perhaps I'll meet him again. Prepare the Prodigium for launch. We're going to Rennes-le-Chateau. Pretty big. More like an asteroid than a rock formation. It's 70 kilometers in diameter. Unable to determine mass due to abnormal gravitational fields. Still, these values seem to be rather unusual. I didn't think anything this size could cause such a gravitational disturbance. Gravity roughly 1g around the object. But that seems rather strange. Wait, w what is this? Looks like a large portion of land from somewhere. It could even be the remains of a destructed planet. No, the shape of the underside looks too uniform for that. 
it appears to have been artificially cut away from its original mass. Multiple unidentified craft are approaching. Tony! Damn it! Is that Ormus? It's nice of them to greet us. Continue your approach to the island to collect data. We can handle these guys ourselves. Little master. Now wait just a second. Is he telling us to go there by ourselves? No way in hell. We don't get any hazard pay. Damn escort! Now go do what you're paid to do! How's the Elsa? It's safe. It's gathering data at coordinates KZ255Y724. Okay. Momo and Jin, you go guard the Elsa! Right! Roger. Junior, enemy reinforcements. They don't know when to give up. How many are there this time? Just one. And it's after. The Elsa. You're on the way. What? <gasps> Be gone! Well, well. Your inexperience is beginning to show! Is that a new model? Momo, stay back! I'll take him down! <gasps> what? Black ES. It's agility. The swordsmanship. Uzuki. I thought that was you, Colonel. This location must mean a great deal. Due to the fact that you've come all this way here to join us. And what if it does? It's not a phenomenon you can handle. And you'll never understand its meaning. I'm going to send you and your ESs right to your grave! Colonel, what is Ormus so concerned about? What lies asleep in this place? I have nothing else to say to you. You should be ashamed of your ignorance! Now it's time for you to die! What's this? Momo, what's happening? It's a space-time transfer. An anomaly has manifested around the landmass. Imaginary number values increasing. The phenomenon surface is rotating in reverse phase. <sighs> Jin, you have to get out of here now! No! You won't get away from me that easily. Okay. Do not interfere. Captain, hurry! You must escape. They headed for the Holy Land. How dare they? Let them go, Margulis. But I, Your Eminence, how can you say that? The Blessed Saint sleeps in that land. She is already in our possession. Even if they were able to reach the place, there would be nothing for them to find there. What was that? Don't tell me you have already acted. Yes. I have a new task for you. Return at once. Do you understand? Yes, Your Eminence. Come back here, you bastard! Uzuki, unfortunately, we'll have to settle this later. In the meantime, I want you to 
Concentrate on saving your friends. You have got to think of something to help them out at this point. That is, if there is a way to help save their poor souls. But Colonel... Hurry up and reverse the thrusters! That border surface is nasty! It'll grind this ship to dust! Tony! Ah! This, this ain't, ain't happening. happening! This, this ain't, ain't happening! happening. Damn it! The logical drive is shot! We don't have any power! It's no good! It won't hold! We're gonna crash! Brace yourselves! We're on it. Wait a sec. How are we? Did you trace it? IFF lost. Unable to determine the Elsa's location. Were they shot down? No way. Besides, we didn't detect any explosions. Regardless of what happened, we won't be able to learn any more from here. Let's hurry to Little Master's location. Yeah. Hear that, little master? Wait just a little bit. Yeah, gotcha. Please hurry! Jin, how's it look over there? I'm afraid the Reuben sensors won't be able to show us anymore. We'll have to wait for the Durandal's arrival. Damn it! Just be okay, guys. One year has now passed since the battle in Old Milshan space. Ever since the Zoar was swallowed up by the giant Gnosis, the Gnosis phenomenon has increased in frequency, and the people are now constantly exposed to its threat. Yet, despite the large number of star systems that have been destroyed by the Gnosis, people continue to resist, refusing to cooperate with each other and engaging in one pointless conflict after another. I found myself full of questions. I wanted to know more about the immigrant fleet, the organization that was behind the Milshan conflict, as well as the words that were spoken by the Patriarch Sergius. He said that the Ormus are the rightful possessors of the Zohar. So I began to investigate. I wanted to know more about the relationship between the Milshan conflict and the Zohar on my own. Six months ago, I encountered a group of people called Skientia. I was able to obtain their aid as I found myself becoming more and more involved in an incident that revolved around a mysterious program called Lemigeton. It turned out to be a Zohar control program, which was developed during the Lost Jerusalem era. Its creator, Grimoire, continued to wander the UMN as a mental entity in search of a being. He was searching for Nephilim, the girl in the white dress that has appeared before me countless times. The existence of an organization controlling Grimoire from the shadows came to light. Vector Special Technology Advancement Division this department, jointly managed by the government and private industry, had been wiped from the records. But there was no doubt, 
It had been created by the organization I worked for. Vector also had contact with the UTIC organization, and the UTIC organization was connected with Ormus. But the evidence was concealed, and the truth had been buried away into the darkness. Everything except for one fact. I found out the name of the individual who was in the lead position at that time in the management office. When I saw the name, Suo Uzuki, I felt nothing. No surprise, no sadness, and no anger. To be honest, I felt nothing at all. Somewhere in my heart, I think that I must have expected it. All I could feel was a sense of resignation, knowing that the inevitable had finally come to pass. And I decided to quit my job at Vector. The friends I made there, and Cosmos, were the only bonds I had linking me to Kevin. But I couldn't stand being there any longer. Maybe I did it to atone for all of the victims. Maybe it was to strike back at my late father, who had abandoned my mother. No, it wasn't for either of those reasons. It was probably that I... I'm supposed to meet him at the hotel. There's still some time. I think I'll look around the city. Stay back! Stop! Stop it! Stop it! Don't touch me! Stop it! Don't talk to me! I refuse to acknowledge you! Stop talking to me! Stop it! I won't do what you want! I... I... Who <laughs> do? Dr. Yuryev. Hmm? Is something wrong? Are you not feeling well? I'm just having some trouble getting along with my son. I'm fine. Please continue. Yes, sir. Currently the operational experiments are underway in the research ward. And the doctor wishes to give you a report. I see. Accompany me, Citrine. Yes, sir. Friendly as ever, Summers. I don't have much time. Just tell me the results. You're as bad as Margulis. You commanders are so inflexible. Anyway, the startup experiment has already succeeded. The problem is... What? Look at these values. The pulse from the temporal lobe is unstable. Perhaps there's a problem in the link with the pilot. This is based on the prototype recovered from the ruins of Milsha. It was originally calibrated for an Ormus priest, so these results are unsurprising. Same as the power supply. 
It was designed to match the original Zohar. Currently, we are operating it using the spare emulator unit I constructed. But because of it, the output is unstable, and the link with the pilot is poor. Are you saying it won't run? Exactly the opposite. It generates too much power, and we're unable to stop it. Federation's technicians are no fools, but Ormus is much more experienced in regards to this. If we at least had Vector participating, the outcome might have been a little different. Why did you remove them from the project? The Lamagetan incident. I'm sure you're aware they were involved in it. I don't know what he's scheming, but I can't allow him to gain top secret information. What about the alternative you're using in place of Cosmos? Have you determined its origin? It may be another vector plot. I have people working on that now. Even if it was, it's still just an anti-gnosis weapon. We'll just use it for our own purpose. Now, give me an update on the Macabre. No visible problems with that thing. We've already completed the final calibration. Thanks to the Y data you brought. Did I hurt your pride? Take that how you like. But I hope you appreciate my work. I painfully reconstructed it by putting the fragments together. It would almost have been faster to build it from scratch. Of course, with the core in this condition, I can't guarantee its safety. There's not much time left before the demonstration. I trust you'll have it ready by then. <laughs> of course. Otherwise, there'd be no point of me being here. By the way, have you found an opponent? You're going to need something impressive to fight this thing. Don't worry. That's already been arranged. Oh. It's the perfect opponent to silence the fools that support Vector. Where's the new chief? If you're looking for Chief Ridgely, he went out to the city. He said he was meeting someone. A meeting? Oh, he must have gone to see Chief Uzuki. What does he think he's doing at a time like this? He should just tell her he's in love with her. He needs to make up his mind and act. By Uzuki, you mean Shion Uzuki, the former chief? She took responsibility for the Gnosis terrorism and resigned, right? Was she Chief Ridgely's girlfriend? What? <laughs> if she were, he would be delirious. But reality is harsh. So, what's the big news? Did something happen? Oh, yeah. Cosmos is going to be the opponent for the new weapon in the demonstration. New weapon? You mean that... Yeah, that crazy thing. I guess they want to acquire real-world combat data along with the activation test. But they've sure got a lot of confidence to pick Cosmos as the opponent. Yeah, they may have removed her from the project, but she's still ready for combat. Do they think they can win over support if it defeats Cosmos? Yeah, I hear there's a lot of Vector-friendly Parliament members in the government. It's probably a move to take some wind out of that faction. I can't believe they're using the product of our stress and caffeine as a political tool. They'll learn not to mess with the Princess of First Division. We're gonna send them packing. Damn it! We need to get started on the calibration work right away! What the hell is the new chief doing at a time like this? Ch chief It's good to see you again. Alan, you're looking well. Actually, I could use some sleep. But I got more energy than others. You're looking well too, Chief. Hey, could you stop using Chief? I'm no longer part of Vector. You can call me Shion. What? Oh, um... She... 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 Chief. <laughs> it's hard to change what I call you after all this time. Really? Seems easy enough to me. Well, whatever. I've already got you a room on the upper floor, so go ahead and settle in. When you're done, come back down. 
I'll show you around town. Hmm. There's a lot I want to talk about, so why don't you come up with me? What? Go with you? The, the room is a double. Of course, no one's expecting a suite. Ah, there's the elevator. No, I, I mean... Wait, Chief! So, how are things? Is everyone doing well? Yes, they're all fine. But they don't seem to be very happy with the sudden decision to cancel the project. I'm not happy about it either. They didn't give any advance notice? Nothing of the sort. Second Division had already begun the next phase along with First Division. So they wound up putting a lot of work to waste. Miyuki said they're all in a really bad mood. Well, the government is compensating our financial losses. But they can't compensate us for the time we spent on this project. Is that really how Second Division feels and not how Miyuki feels? That girl was so excited about Cosmos's weapons development. Hmm? Who is it? Hi, Alan. Is she on there yet? Oh, there you are. Oh? Is that all you have to say to your former co-worker after not seeing her for six months? Six months? We just met last... Six months ago, remember? Oh, um... Yeah, right. Has it really been that long? Huh? Uh, um... Nothing. I can't believe Miyuki lost track of time. Yeah, I guess time just flew by. Anyway, I bet you're happy, Alan, since you're all alone in a hotel room with Xi'an. Are you planning to enjoy some quality time with her after this? What are you talking about? <laughs> I hit the nail on the head, huh? What are you talking about? I, I'm not that kind of guy. Jeez. Ooh, a little nervous stutter. Men are such animals. Uh, you too. Miyuki, did you have some reason for calling Alan? Oh yeah, I'm gonna need the necessary weapon details by tonight. Weapons? For what? For Cosmos, of course. Didn't Togashi tell you? There's going to be a public demonstration to show off that new weapon tomorrow. And Cosmos is going to be a part of it. Rumor is, she's going up against it. What? This is the first I've heard about it. Besides, I've already taken today off, and... Uh... What are you talking about? Please send the details by this evening. It takes time to put these things together, you know. Anyway, that's how it goes, so good luck, Chief Ridgely. Well, wait a minute! Sounds like you're a pretty busy man, Chief Ridgely. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. It looks like I have to get back to work. I'd actually planned to show you a good time around town after this, but... Don't worry about it. Hey, do you think I can sit in on the public demonstration tomorrow? I would love to see Cosmos and everyone else, too. Think that'll be alright? Oh, sure. I'll ask the director to let you observe as a special advisor. Officially, you left the company on a positive note, so I doubt there'll be any problems. I'll come by and get you tomorrow. Sounds good. Thanks. Huh? Chaos! How have you been? I'm fine. You're looking well. What's with the sudden... Wait, that communication code. Are you on this planet? Yeah, we just arrived. They made us wait quite a while during entry. It was hard trying to calm down Junior. Junior's with you? Then... Yeah, we're all here. We came on the Durandal. The Durandal? That's unusual for you. What happened to the Elsa? Um... Chaos? Actually, that's what I need to talk to you about. Hmm? Do you have some free time right now? Huh? Sure. But is something wrong? I'll head there now. Where do you want to meet? How about the cafe near the Mobius Hotel? Okay. See you soon, then.
Commodore Jose Xavier, commander of the Andres fleet, assigned to the Galaxy Federation Gedalia region, declared that his fleet had engaged with the Ormus fleet in the region. It appears that upon receiving this information, the Ormus fleet occupying planet Mictum commenced military action towards the Federation fleet in the region. The Andres fleet was sent to investigate an asteroid that was recently discovered in the Gedalia region. For days now, the Andres fleet has been locked in a stalemate with the Ormus fleet, which claims ownership of the asteroid. At present, it is unclear why Ormus has dispatched a fleet to Gedalia space which is under Federation control. A spokesman for Ormus has stated that they have no desire for combat. It is believed that the Ormus fleet commenced military action after several of its requests to the Andres fleet to leave the region were ignored. The else is missing? We set out to investigate a floating object at the request of the subcommittee. But the UMN in that region of space suddenly shifted. We think they probably fell into an imaginary pocket. So what happened to everyone? Are they okay? External communication's been cut off. We don't know what's going on inside. I see. Unfortunately, I can't be of much help. You probably already know this, but I quit my job at Vector. Yeah, I heard from Jin. I'll try contacting Alan, but it sounds like Cosmos may be mixed up in something else. Ah, uh, don't worry about it too much. Junior said it wouldn't hurt to ask. Anyway, I just wanted to let you in on what's going on. Sorry, I can't be of more help. Due to the acceleration of the Gnosis phenomenon, the Galaxy Federation government has issued an evacuation order to planetary governments in the outlying areas of Gnosis activities. The Federation government has issued a statement that the Gnosis phenomenon that occurred last month in Ogdua space has resulted in the disappearance of over 100 planetary governments in that region. The Galaxy Federation government has established an emergency task force and deployed eggs to the regions in question but it is believed that it has not resulted in the reduction of the phenomenon. There are more incidents like this happening these days. Jin's still on it, isn't he? Yes, he's on the Durandal right now, helping out with the Elsa's rescue. I see. Are you worried? Well, maybe a little. But it's not like he'd listen to me. Xion, are you alright? You look pale. Oh, I'm fine. I've just been a little tired lately. Xion! Where am I? Xion! These are... Udu's waves. Xion? What? Is it calling me? Where are you? Who's calling me? Xion. A word to define an individual. Are you Xion? That's right. I'm Xion. Who are you? Hotel? Oh, that's right. I met up with Chaos, and then I started feeling sick. Chaos must have carried me here. I'll have to apologize later. Oh, it's you, Alan. Chief, what happened? I've been calling you for a while. Calling me? Did something happen? That's what I want to know. Please tell me you're okay. What? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, the demonstration! Don't tell me you forgot. You're the one who said you wanted to go. It's gonna start without you. 
I'm so sorry. I'll be right there. Where are you now? I'm down in the hotel lobby. Okay, I'll be right there. I'm sorry, Alan. I'll make it up to you later. Ah, don't worry about it. Shall we go? What's wrong? You're awfully quiet. Is something on your mind? Oh, uh, yeah. Something's been bothering me. Huh? Sounds like something's up. You know Dmitry Yuryev, right? The former parliament member? He's Junior's father, right? What about him? Well, the contact subcommittee is no longer in charge of the Zohar project. It's been transferred to the military and is now headed by Dmitry Yuryev. The development of the next generation key unit in this mock battle is also under his command. The military took over from the subcommittee? That sounds pretty fishy. Yes, I've heard a lot of ominous things about this next gen unit. I've also heard the Cosmos project was canceled due to pressure from the government. I have a feeling something bad is going on up there. Yuryev was a very charismatic member of the Federation Parliament, right? I heard he also had the ears of the military. So that's where the pressure came from. Still, what I did had some weight on what happened with Cosmos. Don't you think you're jumping to conclusions? I'd like to think that, but... You sound worried. You'll understand when you see it, Chief. This is the core of the Zohar Project, humanity's final defense against the Gnosis. That's some security. I'll need to thank the Director. It's a major project for the military-industrial complex. It's on a whole new scale now. Oh, someone's calling me. Chief, where are you? If you don't hurry up, you'll miss Cosmos's performance. Oh, don't worry. We're already inside the facility. Then Chief Uzuki is with you? Yeah, she's right beside... Man, you go shoving work onto me, and now you're standing there grinning. I'm not grinning. I'm kidding. Don't take it so seriously. Anyway, just leave things over here to me. You two enjoy the show. Now don't try to pull anything just because you're alone with her. Shut up! What are you talking about? <laughs> now you're laughing too! <laughs> Sorry, it's just none of you have changed at all. Now you're making fun of me too. I'm not, I'm not. Come on, let's go, Chief Ridgely. That's the exercise area? It's larger than I expected. It's almost like an army bombing range. Yes. They're promoting it as an activation test along with a mock battle that's very close to real combat, but... Togashi thinks it's a demonstration by the Salvatore faction. If funding gets approved, the military intends to start mass production of the new unit immediately. We will now begin the startup test and mock battle performance of the new model anti-gnosis humanoid fighting system. Now for this test, we will be using a mock battle form, limiting output to 36% of normal.
That's... Cosmos? Are you surprised? She looks just like Cosmos. Development code TPXX, also known as Telos, the ultimate finished unit. A startling advancement in science, as they say. Telos. So, this is the source of your worries? Yeah. Well, that's half of it. She's one half of the new anti-gnosis weapon system that was brought in to replace Cosmos as the core of the Zohar project. Half? Wait a minute. I don't understand. You mean there's another one? Yes. This one's fine. The problem lies with the other one. Oh. Well, soon you'll understand. But don't be surprised if it shocks you when you see it. Requisition them from Vector for this demonstration. Although, Chief, I believe that you would know more about that than me. Gnosis. Gnosis seized by Vector. According to the specs, both her reaction time and Hilbert's strength are three times Cosmos's combat frame. She's the Galaxy Federation's trump card. Who designed her? No one knows. Not even the staff were informed of where she actually comes from. If we could take apart the OS, we might be able to guess based on how the code's written. But the environment's proprietary, and we can't get anywhere close to it. Oh, that over there is Roth Mantell, the man in charge of the T-Weapon development. Did you find anything? I'm sorry, sir. Nothing besides the resume that's been provided. We've investigated his supporters as well, but it's completely clean. What about you? I've never seen him before. 
and I know the faces of everyone in my trade. Hmm. I can feel their waves from him. There? You mean the immigrant fleet? You can tell. Who do you think I am? My apologies. All members of the immigrant fleet have at least some affinity to the waves from the Zohar. It's no surprise you can feel that. What will you do then? We stick to the plan. If he is one of them, we'll merely use that to our advantage. And if he has no use to us, I'll dispose of him myself. Perhaps during the Mictum invasion that will begin soon. Next, we'll begin the mock battle between the Anti-Gnosis Humanoid Weapon System and the new Model Human Piloted Weapon. <gasps> Initiating test phase two. All systems functioning nominally. Cosmos! Deploying battlefield. Opening hatch. I told you you'd understand when you saw it. They're calling it Omega, Res Novae. And none of us at Vector knows exactly where they got the designs for it. Stay calm, just stay calm. It just looks tough, there's nothing to it. All right, Cosmos, full power. Show no mercy and send it home packing. Acknowledged. I will respond with assault mode, referencing past combat data. Estimating 40 seconds to enemy contact. Maximum output. The pilot's condition looks good. Yes, nerve impulse values are not. Everything looks fine. Can you hear me? You may hear some noises, and see some light, but there's nothing to worry about. Just concentrate on the web patterns in front of you. You'll feel much better. Dr. Mizrahi, does he understand us? I don't know. But I think it's more effective to say something than nothing at all. Is that like the prenatal education that was popular during the Lost Jerusalem era? Even if he can't understand the meaning, the nuance and the intent of the speaker might get across. It's just to ease the mind. Our minds.
What's wrong? I don't know. The brainwave values are unstable. Pilot's mental state is abnormal. Cut the link to the emulator. Hurry, if it keeps up, we'll lose control. How's the pilot? His brainwaves have stabilized. Recover Omega and force eject the cockpit. Get him out of there now. It's a pleasure to see you, Chief Ridgely. It's a shame about Cosmos. Please, don't worry yourself. Who's your companion? Oh, she's one of Cosmos's designers. Shion... Ah, you must be Shion Uzuki. It's an honor to meet you. What is it? Is there something on my face? What? Special Advisor Roth Mantel, please report to the Telos Maintenance Room. Oh, excuse me. You seem quite busy. We're still in the middle of development, so there's much I have to see to. I hope we can speak more leisurely at some later time. Good day. with his attitude. Anyway, let's go. Yes. Shion? Oh, Yuli. It's good to see you again. I don't think we've seen each other since the Gnosis terrorism. You look well. I didn't realize you were here, too. Yes, the subcommittee is involved in the project as well. Of course, all I'm actually doing is measuring values and, uh, babysitting. I heard from your brother what happened. You've had a tough time. You've seen Jin? Yes, he's been doing jobs for me frequently. You haven't seen him lately? I heard the Durandal is in port. Jin should be with them. Oh, uh... It's just... Since that incident, we've been having a hard time talking with each other. I get it. I'm sure he's worried about you. You should at least say hello. I'll try. Hmm? What is it, Abel? Is this what you want? Here you go. A child? His name is Abel. My primary job is to facilitate smooth communication with him. I understand. But why? With a child so young? Because this young man is an invaluable member of the Zohar Project. He's involved with the Zohar Project? Uh. <gasps> 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 
This is Nephilim. How does he know what she looks like? All phases of the performance program are now over. Supervisors for each weapon are requested in the conference room. Well, it looks like Telos's data feedback is done. Now I have to go entertain government officials. Honestly, I can't believe I'm spending time on something like that. <laughs> oh, Xion, why don't you go see your friends? What? But that's... The areas past Section 7 are Security Level B, but you shouldn't have any problem. After all, you were a major contributor to the Cosmos project. I'll contact security. Thank you. Use the transporter from the terminal up ahead. You should be able to get to Vector's research wing from there. Wait! This is a VX-7000! It's because of the Gnosis terrorism. Since we don't know when or where they'll attack, the top brass is leaving nothing to chance. I see. Vector's participating too, so I guess it's only natural. Does it bring back memories? Well, yeah. Chief! Welcome back, Chief. I'm glad everyone is looking well. Too bad about what happened down there. Well, considering what she was fighting, I think she did a pretty good job. Yes, you're right. By the way, could you stop calling me Chief? I don't work here anymore. No matter where you go or what you become, you're still our dear Chief. Right, Chief Ridgely? Huh? Oh, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Where's Cosmos? She got beat up pretty badly, so she's undergoing maintenance. Cosmos, you're still doing your best. But what am I doing? What would you think of me if you saw me now? Chief. Hmm? I guess you're concerned about Cosmos. Oh, it's not that. I... After seeing Cosmos and everyone, I just feel like you've all left me behind. That's all. Chief. I'm sorry, I think I'll be going. Thanks for everything today. Chief, um, tomorrow. Hmm? T tomorrow? Uh, would you like to go out for a bite in the city? I found this great restaurant the other day and... Sure. Sounds good. Yeah, I figured you'd be busy. And maybe next time. I said sure. Uh, what? R really? Yeah. When would be a good time? I'm free all day. Ah, uh, um, okay. Let's meet in the hotel lobby at 7 p.m. I'll come get you. Okay, I'll be waiting. Thank you. See you then. Good night. Good night. Excuse me. Is this the Cosmos maintenance room? It's smaller scale than I expected. Special Advisor Roth Mantell? Why are you here? Did you come to gloat to the losers? Calm down, Tagashi. I apologize. What can we do for you? Oh, that's quite all right. What he said isn't exactly wrong. Excuse me? I mean... I came here to finish off the losers. I need you to gather your things together at once. Wait a minute! 
What about Cosmos' repairs? There's no need. Cosmos will never awaken again. What are you talking? This will explain it. What? Decision to dispose of Cosmos? What the hell is this? It's exactly what it says. The subcommittee voted on the decision a short while ago. There is no need for us to waste our resources. So we're pouring it all into Telos's development. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid she's going to be scrapped. I can't believe it! How could they scrap Cosmos? So, this is the footage from the T-Weapon demonstration? You've got guts recording secret government information right out in the open. I bet you could earn a pretty penny if you became a GNN reporter. Stop joking and take a look at it. Do you think you can extract any data from this footage? Not right away. I'll need some time. Please try. This T-Weapon and an unknown developer are the core of the government's project. I'm sure we can find all sorts of things once we start poking around. So, you think Vector is involved in this as well? But they cancelled Cosmos's development, right? Aren't they being a little roundabout? True, but the way Telos looks, I can't believe Vector isn't involved. Something we know nothing about is happening quickly. Alright, leave it to us. Also, there was something interesting in the data from the other day. Is it information about my father? No, we haven't found that yet. But we did find a keyword. Canaan. Canaan? You mean that Canaan? No, not the Realian. We think it's the name of some program or system used for observation or investigation. Canaan? We don't have the details on its objective, but one thing is clear. Vector has been using this Canaan for over 100 years to search something. Can you find out some more about it? We can, but it'll cost extra. What? You're going to charge for it? <laughs> Just kidding. It may have something to do with that realian, so it's on the house. <gasps> Nephilim, what is it? Trying to protect someone does not always lead to happiness. What? Grimoire only wanted to find me, but that made a great many people suffer. With him gone, the Gnosis phenomenon should have stopped expanding, but it didn't. Xion, the Gnosis phenomenon happening now, is not caused by Lemigeton. A certain being is leading this universe to destruction. Destroy the universe? Who would do that? A sad individual who continues to exist for his own atonement. He hopes for happiness of the one important to him, but that will bring suffering to many. Atonement? Important to him? Yes, for that person who is important to him. He feels it is acceptable to throw away this world. Xion, the only one who knows where we are headed is Cosmos. The only one who can open Cosmos's heart is you. So please... Wait! Nephilim... Cosmos's heart... I knew I wouldn't be able to tell her. I know. The truth is too hard for Xion right now. If she let it pass without knowing, it would be so much easier. Learning the truth doesn't always lead to happiness. They might even be better off if they live without it. But sometimes, the truth seeks you out. I think the fact that Xion is here is telling us that. She must learn the truth. Maybe so. 
But it's only a matter of time before Xion's heart and body are... What if that's inevitable? My existence and yours may be an inevitable part of this world where all things flow to a certain point. If our reason for existing is that we are meant to exist... I don't think there's only a single future. A single human thought can change the world. You were the one who taught people that. What I can do is limited. I still don't even know how I should use this power. Why am I allowed to exist? Chaos. I want to believe in the existence of order born from discord. That's why I'm with them. There's nothing suspicious in the data concerning this man called Rothmantel. I checked Vector as well to be sure, but there was no information on him at all. I'm sure Dimitri's done that as well, but why has he placed him at the core of the project now? Perhaps that's just how attractive the T-Weapon system is. It's also possible he wanted to eliminate Vector's influence. Yes, but I bet there's more to it than just that. I also have information regarding the Elsa. In order to break through that hypersphere, we will need output on the level of the phase transfer cannon equipped on Omega. That's not going to happen. We can't use it considering how unstable its systems are. And besides, Dimitri would never authorize it. Then breaking through that hypersphere is impossible with current Federation technology. You mean we'll have to give up on rescuing the Elsa? No. I just said it can't be done with Federation technology. According to my database, there is another weapon capable of breaking through it. Another weapon? Cosmos's tertiary weapon system. She is capable of the same output as an ES, so she may be able to break through. Cosmos is already slated for disposal, so it's just as unlikely as your first suggestion. Is your situational analysis capability defective? How are we supposed to equip her with her tertiary weapon system? And send her to that region of space? With all due respect, you are the one who was unable to analyze the situation, Dr. Mizrahi. That freighter infiltrated a region of space under martial law for an illegal expedition. Officially, it doesn't even exist. If you want to rescue something that doesn't exist, you'll have to take a certain amount of risk. You mean...? Yes. Cosmos has already been thrown out. That doesn't mean we can't reuse her. You certainly don't think small, do you? I was designed specifically for such objectives. What did you say? I said to abandon it. Did you not hear my words? Pardon my words, but Omega was originally ours. How can we abandon it? Your Eminence, please order its recovery. There is no need. Then please, tell me why. I did not understand our retreat at Rennes-le-Chateau. And now this. Please, tell me your thoughts, Your Eminence. Omega has returned to its rightful master. And I have already taken measures to deal with the Zohar project. There is no need for you to interject, Chief Inquisitor. Its rightful master? Are you saying that it did not belong to us? That's the first I've heard of it. In fact, 15 years ago on Milsha, I... Know your place, Smargulus. Do you intend to let your desire overcome you and destroy your faith like Sergius? N no, of course not, Your Eminence. My apologies. You sound tired, Margulus. Rest for a while. You are dismissed. Yes, Your Eminence. Margulus, everything is God's will. There is no need for concern. Do not question. Do as I say, and all will be well. All preparations are complete. Good. This spiral cobweb will capture her heart. And when it does, she will willingly wrap its threads around herself in order to find the truth. Why do humans insist on searching? 
The human mind holds limitless potential. If they continue to seek and search, they shall eventually become gods. That's probably what they believe. What we can do is limited. For precisely that reason, we need a world that is fitting for us. And we are the only ones who can accomplish that. Dreams, future, possibilities. She was born to put an end to these fleeting illusions. Everything follows the destined flow. How am I supposed to explain this to the Chief? There's no way I can tell her that Cosmos has been slated for disposal! It's dangerous to get lost in thought while walking. What? Oh! Uh, committee member Mizrahi, can I do something for you? Could I speak to you for a moment, Chief Ridgely? Sure. What is it? I want you to get in touch with Xion soon. Do you know her personal contact information? Sure, that's no problem. But what's going on? They've decided to dispose of Cosmos, correct? I need to speak to her about that. I'd like you to come along as well, of course. Oh, that's right. Of course you'd know about that. Actually, I was just trying to figure out how I'm gonna tell her about Cosmos. Relax, I won't let them dispose of Cosmos. That's what we're going to talk about. Huh? I watched that footage. It's certainly astonishing. So, did you find out anything? We did some research on Telos, but we found no relevant information in any database. Everything from its official project proposal to the budget is a complete blank. What about his supporters? Did he erase everything about him in order to preserve secrecy? No. No records ever existed in the first place. How is that possible? It's being used by the military. Beats me, but that's the truth. But you know, if he's clean on the surface, he's probably dirty as hell deep down. Hey, is it possible to transfer Cosmos directly through the UMN? No. All advanced AI devices, including Cosmos, need a UMN tube for transport. Basically, they have to go through the hyperspace or it will damage their functions. In other words, some sort of ship is necessary when moving one. Why do you ask? Well, about a week ago, a Dominic transport ship affiliated with the Hyams Company docked at 5th Jerusalem's 47th port. When I checked its cargo records, I found something interesting. At the time of docking, the port's mass detectors recorded a total mass of 3,751 tons. But at the time it left port, it was 3,750.79 tons. The Dominic has a regular crew of three. This weight difference wasn't caused by people. In other words, these records show that something must have been taken off the ship. Normally, any cargo unloaded into the container terminal, even if it's a government secret, has some sort of record registered. But this time... There was no record. Right. What's the mass of the bare minimum equipment required to maintain Cosmos? Hmm, it depends on the type of frame she's using, but probably around 200 kilograms. Oh. That may be the missing piece, assuming it wasn't constructed on 5th Jerusalem. Then Ormus is involved in Telos' development? But why would they do that? Who knows, but it's disturbingly obvious. They may be deliberately drawing attention to it to cover up something else. What's up? Hey, you guys already started! You could have invited me, you know. You haven't missed a thing. By the way, have you already taken care of what I asked for? You betcha! Xion, we've pretty much finished researching your father. There are some things in life one is better off not knowing. Do you still want to know? Yes, I have to know the truth. This record is in regards to the UTIC organization 15 years ago. The Federal Advanced Technology Special Inspection Bureau. That's the name of the government office that was observing UTIC at the time. Yes, and the person who was appointed to Milsha as the Federation government's inspector was... Uh... 
I was right, wasn't I? Yes. It's just like you said. Dad was the UTIC organization inspector. He must have had some kind of contact with Professor Mizrahi. Shion. But that doesn't mean he conspired with Professor Mizrahi and summoned the Gnosis. Th this sort of thing happens all the time, you know? An incompetent government bureaucrat fails to stop a crisis and it turns into a catastrophe. What? What kind of example is that? It, uh... I mean... It's okay, don't worry about it. I suspected it all along. Even if he was just an incompetent bureaucrat like you said, he's still guilty of standing by and letting something like that happen. Ugh. I finally know why Jin doesn't like the idea of me getting involved as well. I feel better now that I don't have to wonder anymore. Xion. That's right. I suspected it all along. That's why I... Oh, it's from Alan. I'll take it over here. Sh Shion! Shion! Hello. Huh? Chief, what's wrong? Shion! Chief, are you alright? Chief! Are you all right, Chief? You scared me. You collapsed right as the connection went through. You came to check on me? Well, I was the closest. I see. Of course, even if we were a million light years apart, I'd still be here in a flash. <laughs> Want something to drink? I had an MC here a few minutes ago, but he said it was probably overexertion. Have you been pushing yourself lately? Yeah, I'm sorry for worrying you. Wait, you need to stay in bed. I'm fine now. A lot happened today, I'm sure that's the reason. Chief, I, uh, have a message for you from committee member Ms. Rahi. From Yuli? Yes, she says she wants to talk to you, so she'd like to meet with you on the Durandal tomorrow. But if you're not feeling well, I'll ask her to postpone it. You worry too much. I'm fine now. Oh, but tomorrow we were... Ah, it's okay. Talking with member Mizrahi is much more important. Don't worry about canceling our plans. We don't have time to be going out to eat dinner. Alan, let's go out for a bit. What? Sure, if you like, that's fine with me. Mmm, it feels good out here. I love the night air. Yes, this area is under environmental protection, so there's a lot of trees and plants. I'm sorry about our dinner plans for tomorrow. I didn't mean to substitute it like this. Please don't worry about it. The location wasn't important to me. Anyway, this kind of atmosphere is much more valuable. Atmosphere? Oh, nothing. Just talking to myself. Hot, hot! Oh. Oh, s sorry. It's all right. We almost wasted a magnificent dinner. Magnificent? It's just prosciutto. Come on, a single thought can change the world. Even fast food can become an elegant dinner. Oh. Huh? I just had deja vu. Kevin used to like eating outside too. Did you eat together with him a lot? Yeah. I was new, so he always treated me. Oh. Okay. How long do you intend to hide there?
I suppose I shouldn't be surprised I can't sneak up on you. What do you want? I'll cut to the chase. Who are you? I believe I gave you my personal data some time ago. I'm not interested in that painted over information. I want to know what you were originally made for. What are you talking about? Oh, are you going to pretend you don't know? Program Kanan, a surveillance program listed in the records of top secret vector data. It's programmed into your mind. Program Kanan? You're bluffing. That keyword doesn't exist in my database. Are you going to play dumb? What is it you're trying to hide so badly? Wait. Hold on. I really don't know. There really is a program with that name? So, they kept its functionality secret even from yourself. All right, I'll believe you. What's this? It's partial data on program Kanan we obtained from Vector. If you want to confirm its validity, you'll have to do it yourself. Oh, and one warning. Even if you weren't aware of the program's existence, it still affects your behavior. If you interfere with us, even if it isn't by your own will, we won't hesitate to eliminate you. Keep that in mind. Looks like it's about time. I'd better hurry to the spaceport. Hey, Shion! You're looking well! Looks like you're all doing good, too. Shion. Jin? That's right, I completely forgot you were with them. Is that any way to greet the brother you haven't seen in a while? Everyone else is already here. You know, you really should be a little more punctual. Yes, yes, everyone's here now, right? Let's get started. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit, Xion. Yuli and the others are waiting! This way! Dion, have you heard about Cosmos? Cosmos? No. What's going on? Committee member Mizrahi. I'll tell her. Chief. They've decided to scrap Cosmos. Scrap? You can't be serious. I'm afraid it's true. They made the decision yesterday. Cosmos? I understand how you feel, but there's no time to get depressed. I want you to listen carefully to what I'm about to say, and then make a decision. Hmm? First, take a look at this. What is it? It's a hypersphere that appeared during a battle with Ormus. He also was swallowed by it. Right, and now this hypersphere is beginning to shrink. It'll likely continue to shrink to Planck scale size, and then disappear from this dimension. What will happen to the Elsa? At this rate, it will be taken into phase space along with the hypersphere. If that happens, it'll be impossible for us to rescue them. If we don't break through this hypersphere, we can't rescue the Elsa. But weapons on the Durandal or ESs don't even make a dent! The surface of that hypersphere is connected to imaginary space. Ordinary attacks are useless against it. Its only weak spot is a part called the Klein Point. If we can pierce that point with a high output weapon and reverse the space, then perhaps... You've got to be kidding me! How the hell can we do that? 
Oh, Cosmos! Cosmos's phase transfer unit! Exactly. Cosmos's tertiary weapon system may be able to break through that hypersphere. But Cosmos has been slated for scrap. How are we supposed to do this? Besides, there's no way we'll get permission to use the tertiary weapon system. Hmm. Yes, that's why I've gathered you all here. Cosmos is currently awaiting disposal inside the Zohar Project facility. You're planning to steal Cosmos? There's no other way to rescue the Elsa. I'll guide you during the infiltration. But it'll still be dangerous. It'll be up to you to decide. All right, I'll do it. I can't just abandon the Elsa's crew. Or Cosmos. Shion. Yeah, I guess if we do him a big favor now, we'll be able to make use of it later. Then it's settled. We don't know how long the hypersphere shrinking will last. We need to begin immediately. We move tonight. Right. Let's get ready and... Chief? Are you alright? Yes, I'm fine. Shion? <sighs> Chief! Shion! Jin. You look tired. I'll take over now. Please, get some rest. No, I'm fine. I'm more interested in hearing the results of her examination. Even the medical staff here doesn't know what caused her collapse. They say it's probably exhaustion or something. She collapsed once at the hotel, too. She seems to have been busy lately, so maybe that's it. I see. How are you feeling? I'm sorry for worrying you. Are you still working with Scantia? Oh, you knew. Alan said you've been busy. I figured that might be it. Ever since you were little, you'd rush forward without stopping once you've set your mind on it. And never heeded my advice. You're quite correct. Well, it's all right, as long as you're healthy. Mmm. Herbal remedy? You could have just handed it to me, you know. Are you feeling all right? Yes, I just needed some rest. I feel great now. I envy you. Hmm? I think anyone would. You've been true to your beliefs after you resigned from Vector, after the Gnosis terrorism. I don't know. I mean, I'm not even really sure myself. And here I am, still doing the same thing I always have done. Not asking or thinking whether what I am doing is right or wrong. Are you regretting your participation in the development of Omega? Maybe. It's a weapon with absolute power, and no clear objective. And yet, I'm participating in its development, so I can prove myself to society. To clear the shame from the name Mizrahi. Do you think Cosmos's very existence is dangerous too? Xion, Cosmos isn't a weapon. It's probably strange for a scientist to say this, but I have a feeling that Cosmos possesses something very important. Something important? Unlike the human-based Reallians, Cosmos is composed entirely of machines. How much real difference do you think there is between the bundles of protein that make us and the machines that compose her? 
We're both a wave that make up this universe. The only difference is the number of ripples. I think if we have hearts and minds, then it's evident that she would have them as well. Do you think Cosmos possesses a heart? Isn't that what you wish? Maybe, but maybe not. I don't know what your thoughts and intentions were when you built her. But no matter what happens, I want you to believe in Cosmos. And more than anything else, you must believe the person who built her. Yourself. That's your duty as her creator. Yuli! Did Uli head back to the facility? Yes. She said she's going to get things ready for our infiltration. Okay, we should get started too! There's not much time. Stock up on anything you'll need. Let's meet in the lobby of Xion's hotel. We won't look suspicious meeting in town, and it's close to the facility. Is that okay with you, Xion? Sure, that's fine. Okay, let's get moving! Everyone ready? Listen, we're going up against an important facility of the Galaxy Federation military. They'll attack intruders without stopping to ask questions, so stay on your toes. You're the one we're most worried about. Hey, I know that facility better than anyone else here. I know, I'm counting on you. Chief. Sorry to interrupt your tender moment, but we don't have much time. Let's get going. Xion! Over here! Come on, hurry! Hey, hey, not so loud! Do you want them to find us? So, is everything ready? Yep, all set. I tweaked the security so you've got a free pass inside. I hope you didn't make any mistakes this time. Oh, come on, you can trust me. You're the one who told me not to do anything dangerous and then asked me to help you. There wasn't anyone else I could ask. What about Doctus? You could have asked Gientia. They're busy with something else. Besides, this is our own problem. I can't ask them to help with this. Aha, I knew it. You're only using me because there's no one else. Stop laughing! So, how do we get in? The main gate is sealed, isn't it? Don't worry. We can get in by using the monocarrier below. We'll also use the transporters within the facility. As for the route, first we'll head from deck number two to the exercise area. Past that is a transporter on deck number five. That'll take us to the research wing where Cosmos is. Right. Just leave the rest to me. I've got something up my sleeve just in case we get caught. And I'll even help fight against any guards you may happen to run into. <laughs> Your job is to make sure we don't get caught. Please don't screw this up, Miyuki. <laughs> hey, I said stop laughing. Good work, guys. All that's left is to take this elevator to the research wing. We can relax now. Well, that was pretty easy. I told you I had everything all set. I'm pretty good, huh? Yes, yes, we see how useful you are. Now let's go. Here we go. Huh? That's weird. What's wrong? There's not much time. Hurry up. Um, well... The elevator isn't responding. Miyuki, you screwed up again, didn't you? What? No, wait, it's okay. I thought this might happen, so I prepared another route. So it's not a problem. Are you sure about this? Oh, Shion, everything's fine. Come on, let's go. <sighs> What's going on, Miyuki? The elevator went past our floor. What? Uh... Hmm... 
I wonder why. You messed up again, didn't you? No, I couldn't have. I checked it. Really, I did. This isn't her fault. We are being led somewhere by someone. Or something. What do you mean? Where does this elevator go? Oh, it's, um... If we keep going down this way, we should end up at a large underground hangar. So, something's down there then, huh? Ugh. planning to do with that thing. Dizzy, that's all. Maybe you haven't completely recovered yet. I'm fine. It's nothing, really. Chief? It's okay. I'm just a little lightheaded. Right? Sad being this way. Hey, wait! <laughs> Who's that kid? You know him? No, but Yuli said he's an invaluable member of the Zohar Project. Oh, I forgot to tell you earlier, but he's the pilot of Omega. He lives in this facility. You see him around CR a lot. That boy is Omega's pilot? But why is he here by himself? Maybe it's a trap. Who would do that? And more importantly, why? And who does he mean by sad being? Maybe he's trying to lead us to Cosmos. So, you want to follow him? Um, I don't understand any of what you just said. What's going on? Yeah, there's no point in staying here. Hey! Wait! Shion! <laughs> what are you doing, Alan? Are you alright? Oh, that hurt. Hey, what is with the ground here? Oh, Chief, look! Cosmos! Cosmos, how could they do this to you? Man, I can't believe they'd trash a top security unit in a place like this. Uh, 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 sorry. Chief, it's okay. It seems like there aren't any damages. We can reboot her right away. I don't understand. What's this task? Miyuki, can you tell what this is? Uh... Beats me. But I think it looks like some kind of feedback from something. I won't be able to tell without an analysis. And we don't have that kind of equipment here for that. Alright. Then it'll just have to wait till later. Let's reboot her and get out of here. Miyuki, I'll run a stocking program against that task. So make a record of it. Ask Doctus to analyze it later. I'm on it! Chief, I'm gonna start her up. Mm, please do.
Good morning, Cosmos. How are you? And good morning to you, Xi'an. My drive coefficient is down by 0.3, but everything else is running normal. There are no problems. Good. I'm sorry, Cosmos. Is there something wrong, Xi'an? No. It's nothing. I'm just happy. That's all. Alright then. We shouldn't stay here long. Let's hurry up and get out. Yes, I agree. Yeah. Cosmos, can you enter battle mode? Yes, anytime. Miyuki, move to backup and support Cosmos during combat. Why? Why do I have to be backup? I barely got to fight. Your job isn't to fight, so stop whining. Yes, ma'am. I think we can use this. One sec! Yeah, it's connected to the exercise area. Looks good. Shion, are you alright? You don't look well. What? It's nothing. I'm... fine. Shion! Huh? Xion. Is that you calling me again? Who are you? What do you seek? I don't seek anything. I want to know, to know you, to know your world. You want to know me? I want to know you as well. Tell me, who are you? I am the will of the universe. You identify me as Udu. You're Udu? What do you desire from the world? Chief? What? Why am I... What happened? Are you really okay? Yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm okay now. the military thinking, keeping things like that around. Yes, it's definitely not an admirable hobby. Anyway, it looks like everyone's okay. Well, we were able to recover Cosmos. Then there's no reason for us to stay here. Let's return to the Durandal and hurry to the Elsa's rescue. Yes. Yeah. So, what are you going to do with them? Are we just going to let them go? That's a foolish question. As we've observed, the compass swings sharply when Xion comes into contact with Cosmos. The thirteenth key. Even without our intervention, they will reach that location. I guess everything follows the destined flow, huh? 
Don't tell me you knew this was going to happen from the beginning. Ooh, scary, scary. The differential boundary strength of the surface is 910E. Damn, you're kidding! Touch that and say goodbye, huh? No, sis! Why are they here? Xion, there's no time. Head straight for the coordinates. I got it. Are you ready, Cosmos? Initialization complete. Safety released. We're in range! Do it any time, Cosmos! Acknowledged. Cosmos can't disturb it! Chief, maybe this is beyond us. Just believe in Cosmos. It's alright. I know that she'll be able to do it. Setting weapon deployment to maximum output. to celebrate. The Gnosis probably vanished in order to pursue them. The real challenge starts now. I'm sure they'll manage. We just have to believe in them. You sure are infatuated with is it regret from the time when you still wore a mantle of flesh? Or is it because of ambition you still hold? <laughs> so now you're going to use the daughter in place of the imperfect mother? The maiden who invites the spreading gnosis? You're one heartless bastard. And it's not like you don't know what this is going to cause. It is necessary for the new world. Is your cloak just a decoration? Hmm. I don't like the idea of that thing as the womb, but whatever. I'll give you a hand. We just need to destroy Cosmos, right? It is beyond your power. The only one who can destroy Cosmos is Telos. Oh, really? So I guess my job is to attend to the princess's little whims. Works for me. I'll lead the entourage. What does the scan of the interior show? Temperature, 18 degrees Celsius. Pressure, 0 0.94. Wind speed at landing point is 20 meters per second. Atmosphere is 77% nitrogen, 20% oxygen with traces of argon and carbon dioxide. The air is breathable. What's the Elsa's position? Can we get in touch with the crew? There's a response on the underside of the object. I'm opening the channel. Woohoo! We're, We're saved. saved! We're gonna, We're gonna get, get out of here. here! Little Master, thank God you're here! Out of the way! Can't believe 
leave here getting all excited just because they showed up. You guys sound like you're doing just fine. Of course. You can't run a salvage business if you let every little setback get you down. Looks like there's a couple of exceptions to that rule. Hey! Stop goofing around and get to your posts! <laughs> We're on our way there now. Get the hangar ready for us. Roger. We'll be waiting to welcome you. You can't escape? Why? We haven't got a clue. Hey, Hammer! The logical drive isn't responding at all. There should be nothing wrong with it since it's fully repaired and functioning normally. Anyway, I haven't got a clue. If the logical drive isn't working, there's nothing we can do. Yes, as things are now, the environmental bugs will run out of resources first. And then, we'll eventually run out of water and oxygen. Professor? Something in this strange land must be affecting it. We'll have to go out and have a look. You're certain that something in this land is causing it? It's impossible to be sure, but I think it's worth investigating. Gotcha! Captain, get things ready so you can launch at any time. Don't worry, we'll have you out of here in no time. Whoa! Where are we? It looks like a cave. A very wide one. Um... Is that Hebrew? No. Maybe it's ancient Aramaic. Behold the great... I don't know, I can't read it! And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. Wow, you can read it? No, I recognize it. They're exactly the same words that I've seen before. It was recorded and stored in Daddy's Y data. Ms. Rahis? Look out! Hey, what do you think you're doing? Don't you know it's rude to come into someone's home uninvited? Testament? You. You were in the Song of Nephilim. Oh, so you remember me. Well, isn't that nice? I find that rather interesting. You see, I remember you, too. I remember that you let me die. <gasps> but... Lieutenant Virgil... How? Now don't get all sentimental on me. It's not like I've been hiding out here in this dump all this time just so the two of us can talk about old memories. Hardly. No, I've got business to attend to with your crap. Like I've told you before, all your self-righteous crap makes me sick. Junior, look at the letters on the wall! Damn, it's already started. Wait, what's going on? <laughs> you were writing them without even knowing about that? Oh, whoops. And you're still compelled to write them now, huh? <laughs> Now that really is funny. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's quite simple. That is the kind of place this is to those vessels of anima that you're using. To the vessels of anima? What the hell are you talking about? Come on. You're not very bright now, are you? Why don't you just try using your heads a little for once? Well, this is interesting. I guess there's just too many of you. Lieutenant, you died. You're supposed to be dead. So how? How did I get here? Is that your question? Am I alive or am I dead? 
It doesn't really matter. That isn't even important. Then again, it's not something that I would expect you to be able to understand. Oh, please. Enough babbling nonsense. What's this? Is the new kid coming to crash the party? The time has come. Or what? Were you planning on staying here forever? That voice! Uh, Albedo? Hey, wait a minute! Albedo! It's you, isn't it? Did you forget about me? to shut down. Output's still dropping. It's no good. Unable to sustain current levels. <laughs> that's what I tried to tell you. Like I said before, that's the kind of place this is. Oh well, good luck figuring it out. walk the rest of the way. What did Lieutenant Virgil mean by, that's what kind of place this is? I expect the answer to that question lies ahead. Where are we? Did we come out on the surface? How the hell can something like this be floating out in space? <gasps> this is... What's up, Xion? <sighs> I've seen this place before. It's the place in my dream. <phone rings> Nephilim? My head. Xion? Are you all right? What's wrong? Uh, I'm fine. It's nothing. This is an impressive sight. It looks like a tomb. Are those coffins? It's empty. Did some grave robbers get to it or something? I doubt there would be grave robbers in a place like this. But that is strange. Junior! Look! What is it, Momo? This coffin has the name Asher on it. This one says Dina. You gotta be kidding me. They're all ES names. This is the place from Cosmos's subconscious domain. But why is it here?
Cosmos, do you know this location? No. My memory contains no data regarding our current location. Yeah. You've never been here since you were developed. What does this all mean? Thirteenth key. The time of awakening has arrived. Wait a minute. What is she? She's Cosmos. So that's the tea weapon? Someone has a twisted sense of humor, making her look exactly like Cosmos. This presence. But wait. She can't be. A simple doll that doesn't even understand its reason for existence. To ensure that I continue to exist as myself. Cosmos. I'm going to destroy you. was. Xion, the enemy unit's output is 4.75 times higher than mine. Therefore, we are at a clear disadvantage. What? Wait, what do you mean? I am going to delay the enemy unit. Please retreat immediately. After all those attacks, she's still completely unharmed? We've already completely analyzed her combat patterns. Why are you here? What do you mean, analyzed? Do you mean, that task? It's probably against both of your wills. But it's Cosmos's fate to be destroyed by Telos in this place. How can you even say that to me? Why are you and Telos even here to begin with? The answer is simple. My job is to observe you. You have no time to be surprised. Your princess is losing.
Leon. I will only last 140 seconds with my current capacity. Please hurry. No way! I refuse to leave you behind, Cosmos! Cosmos, what is the actual reason for your existence? You are nothing more than an empty vessel. How pathetic. You'll never be able to accomplish anything. Return to dust so that I may truly... Awaken! What is that? A phase transfer cannon? She's gonna fire it at this close range? I am order, not you, Cosmos! Stop it! Cosmos is... Whoa! What the hell is that light? Reveal yourself to us. Show us your spark of life. What's that? What is going on? Unable to determine. The hypersphere has suddenly begun to contract. The gravity variation is too great. We'll be pulled in. We have to leave this area immediately. It has begun, once again, in the same place. It has begun. It's beautiful. It's hard to believe that somewhere out there in that sea of stars, planets are being destroyed by the Gnosis Phenomenon. 
In the distant past, people were forced into space by unavoidable circumstances. 4,000 years since then, they never encountered any life forms they could call neighbors. Just when everyone had given up and assumed that humans were alone in the universe, the Gnosis approached us in order to erase mankind from the cosmos. My grandfather used to say that all of creation has a meaning and purpose and that that's why we're allowed to exist in the universe. If that's true, then perhaps we are fated to perish. Maybe the universe itself is rejecting us. Maybe we are the ones that are rejecting the universe by trying to change that fate. Is that why you built Cosmos? The planet where I was born was destroyed by the Gnosis. I lost my mother there as well. <sighs> I was the only one that survived. Sometimes, I don't know if what I'm doing is to atone for not being able to do anything, or to take revenge against those who took everything from me. But I can say that even if the universe desires otherwise, she is our hope. I think I understand how you feel. I lost my parents on Milsha. Xion. Why am I here? What should I be doing? Where am I going? It's as if everything is hidden in a deep fog on a distant shore. But right now, if that's where hope lies, I want to grant your wish. This... is this... the pendant your mother gave you? The path I'm walking may be a mistake. I don't know for sure. Will you walk down this path with me? Feeling joy? Joy? Yes. I'm happy. Very happy. Happy? I feel fulfilled. By this memory? Yes. It's a wonderful memory. The days I spent with him. Feelings of warmth. I want to stay like this forever. Forever? Even if I were to be born again. Eternally. Over and over. Over and over. Over and over. But... Oh. Where am I? We went into the hypersphere to rescue the Elsa and then Telos and Cosmos Where is everyone? Oh, where am I? Don't move! <gasps> Junior, wait! Junior, that's not an enemy. What? Oh, Shion! Uh, Junior, why did you do that? Oh, sorry. I thought you were an enemy. Uh, could you get off me? Oh, sorry. <sighs> I'm 
I'm glad everyone's okay. Actually... We can't find Cosmos or the crew of the Elsa. I'm sure they were transported with us, but... Transported? Do you mean a warp transfer? Yeah. We don't know where we are yet, but it was probably that light. Oh, no. It can't be. That's impossible. Jin! What's wrong, Xi'an? <gasps> it can't be. But it is. There's no mistaking it. That's Labyrinthos. Labyrinthos? From Milsha? Wasn't it destroyed during the conflict? Yeah, I can't believe it either. But there's no doubt about it. If that exists, that means we're on Milsha at least 15 years ago. Do you mean we're in the past? I don't know about that. We were in the past when we dove into Cosmos as subconscious. Yes, that might be possible as well. Let's go! Jin! Quiet! Damn it! I can't die before I rendezvous with the main unit! Those are combat realities. Looks like they're against Federation soldiers. What do you want to do? He's not going to last long. We can't just abandon someone who's hurt. Let's help him. Uh, who the hell are you? <clears throat> Drop your weapons. Uh, I'll shoot you if you don't follow... Uh, uh. <gasps> it can't be. Lieutenant Virgil? Virgil? The Testament? Yes, he looks a little different, but there's no doubt it's him. But how? How do you know my... Uh... <gasps> He's hurt. Don't touch me! Oh, don't move and let me treat your wound. <sighs> what should we do? We help him. What else? But he's a testament, right? Don't ask me. I don't know. His wounds are serious. If we don't do something soon... We can't leave him here. Yes. At any rate, let's find a safe location. Momo, please lend me a hand. I'm going to stop the bleeding. Okay. That should do it. Let's hurry and get him somewhere he can rest. Is someone there? That's... Feb? getting worse. His condition is critical. We have to find somewhere to treat him, quickly. But where? Wait. There should be a church up ahead. A church? Yes, when I woke up in this forest, I felt strange. But if this is Milsha, and that's Feb, then this is a place I know well. If we follow her, we should arrive at an old church. There's no time to hesitate. Let's carry him there. This is... We saw this place in Cosmos's subconscious. Yes. I met Fabronia here. The place holds a lot of memories for me and Feb. He 
can rest inside here. Let's go. Is anyone there? We have an injured person. May we let him rest here? Who are you? <gasps> Deb! Deb! We've got guests! That's... <gasps> me? What's all the noise? Who are you people? <gasps> well, what's going on? Oh, um, we found someone hurt nearby. His wounds are serious and we can't move him, so we came here. Someone hurt? <gasps> oh no! Hurry! This way! Fabronia, wait! This man is a Federation soldier. Do you realize what you're doing? He may be an enemy soldier, but he's still hurt. I don't think that's a good idea. You're a UTIC organization Realian, remember? It's bad enough that you're here at all. UTIC? Please, he's going to die. I know. Take him to the back room. Maybe I should have Professor Mizrahi be a little more strict in the management of Realians. You're a valuable transgenic model. We can't lose you before your growth is complete. I'm sorry, but I can't let him die. Fibronia? If you want to call the soldiers, go ahead. <sighs> Fine. I wouldn't want to cause a problem with your mental balance over something like this. I'll pretend I don't know about it. Her maintenance medical kit is outside. It's for realians, but it should be better than nothing. Thank you. Don't mention it. It's not like he's going to live anyway. Uh. He's suffered heavy damage to his vital organs. Nanomachine treatment won't be enough. The stem cell germination can't keep up. We have to transplant the basic tissue he needs. Damn. There's nothing we can do. Please, transplant my organs. That should compensate for what's missing. Transplant? No offense, but you're a realian. There's never been a case of transplanting organs from a realian to a human. I'm a transgenic type. I was designed by Professor Mizrahi as a template for next-generation realians. My body composition is virtually identical to human beings. The cells should have an affinity for each other, so please... Even if that's true, what about you? If we remove your organs, then you'll need transplants as well. If we temporarily suspend my internal circulation, I can last for several hours. If I return to Labyrinthos during that time, I can regenerate there. I'll be fine. Please, help him. Uh... He's going to die. There's no other way. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, please. Is he... Did the transplant go well? Yes. With that quack as the surgeon, I wasn't too sure, but somehow he managed it. He's sleeping in the back now. Don't worry. The others are with him. I see. Good. You should rest here for a while. Replication may be finished, but your body cycle still hasn't returned. Yes, I'll do that. Um, thanks for saving him. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay, Xion. Everything's fine. Your name's Xion? Yeah, 
Did you and your friends come in that green ship? Green ship? Yeah, a pretty ship I've never seen before came down by the East Cave. You were on it, right? Could that be the Elsa? Yes, it makes sense for the Elsa to have been sent to the same place with us. We should check it out. I can't believe you went and did this! They're going to question my supervision! I did it on my own. I won't bring any trouble upon you. I certainly hope not. It's about time for the organization to show up. Could I ask you all to leave? It's only going to complicate matters if you're here. What about him? Sorry, but he has to stay right here. There's going to be serious trouble if someone finds out I helped an enemy soldier. Once we're gone, you can do as you please. All right. Xi'an, thanks for telling me about the ship. Sure! Goodbye! Oh, is someone there? Hmm, newcomers, eh? Don't you people get tired of harassing me? Um, sir, are you in charge of this place? Huh? You aren't with Utic? Utic? Don't be insulting! Sounds like something's going on here. If you're not with Utic, then it's none of your business. Leave now! I'm sorry, but we have our own business. We must go past here. Past here? Hmm. Ah, have you come to investigate that ship? Our friends are on board. Mm -hmm. That's not going to be easy. My granddaughter Mai is investigating it now. But I imagine Utic soldiers are already crawling around inside. Utic soldiers? Yes. I'll never forgive Utic. They took everything. All the valuable resources from the mine. The livelihood of the people who depended on it. And even the life of my son, Tethla. Ah! A cave-in? No. This explosion was caused by weapons. That's loophole. I told that girl time and again to avoid combat! Loophole? Loophole is the auto-tech Tethla used. Mai believes her father's soul lives on in that machine. Together with Loophole, she protects this land. One auto-tech is hardly enough to take on you, Tick. What do you want to do? Xion! Sir, I'm afraid we have to go into those caves. Is that all right? Should be fine. If you run into Mai, Tell her to stop fighting and come back! Will do. By the way, we never asked your name. My name? It's Eisen Magus. I'd imagine that was a loophole. It looked like it took some damage. We should hurry. Stop right there! Are you Mai? Your grandfather's worried about you. Why don't you stop fighting and go back to him? Grandfather is worried about me? You're lying! You won't fool me, you tick! Hey, we're not lying! He really said that! I can't believe you'd use a child to try to convince me! You're despicable! <gasps> don't tell me you already got Grandfather! Listen to us! Relax. We just need to get to the ship that's up ahead. We met your Grandfather on the way. 
the ship ahead? So you're Utic soldiers, just like I thought. You're planning on using that ship to destroy this mine. We're not gonna do anything. Look, we're not related to Utic. Kids, stay quiet! I'm not a kid! Damn it, this is a waste of time. Just get out of our way! You've gone far enough. You're not taking another step. I won't let you. You're not getting away with this any longer. It's all right. Please, Mai, listen to us. I don't need to listen to you. I won't let you take anything else from me. I won't ever forgive you. Lupo! Me, aren't you? I know what comes next. I'm ready for it. Go ahead and kill me. Just like you killed my father and the people from the mine. Get a grip. If we wanted to kill you, we would have done it a long time ago. Don't worry. Our attacks on Loophold were just enough to temporarily interfere with its drive system. It should be back to normal soon. I don't need your pity. We're not pitying you! Whoa, Xion! Our friends are on that ship, and if you keep getting in our way, we're not gonna hold back. That ship is as important to us as this place is to you. You, of all people, should understand our feelings. <sighs> My! My! Grandfather? Oh, you're hurt. You foolish tomboy! I'm sorry. They talked about you, so I thought these Utic soldiers had gotten you too. These people have nothing to do with Utic. Oh, I swear your rashness is going to be the death of me. Can't you be a little more ladylike? The mine workers all ran away in fear of Utic. If I don't protect this place, who will? And besides, Daddy was. This place connects you to your father, doesn't it? Don't worry. We won't tread on your memories. Your ship should be up ahead. My. If you're done here, then go. I don't need any more trouble. Thank you. Huh. Jeez, she's just as stubborn and aggressive as a certain someone else we know. Right, Xion? Why are you looking at me? You're all okay. Shion! Hey, glad to see you're alive too. I knew it'd take more than that to do you guys in. <laughs> We're not gonna go that easy. Chief, thank God. I thought I'd never see you again. Alan, hey, where's Cosmos? Does anyone know where she is? Chief, about Cosmos. What's wrong? We recovered the ES craft and Cosmos, but there was nothing we could do. What? What do you mean? It's best you see for yourself. Assistant number two, show her the way. Chief, this way.
Her core was damaged during the fight with Telos. We can repair damage to her frame or her control program. But there's nothing we can do about the black box once it's broken. That's not true. We can fix her. You're here, and so's the professor. Chief, you know the only one who could repair the core is Kevin, the designer. Cosmos will never move again. Cosmos? No! Open your eyes, Cosmos! Cosmos! How about on your side? Found anything? Nothing yet. There are no signs of the Elsa or any ESs in the UNN region. There ain't even a log? None. How is that possible? If they were transferred in some sort of accident, a log should exist. They may have been reduced to Planck scale along with the hypersphere. No way! Uh, where have you gone, little master? And Master Guinan is away too! Uh, little master! <gasps> Committee member Yuli Mizrahi. I assume from the tone of your voice that something's gone wrong. The little master vanished along with the research target. We're searching for them now. What? You still don't know where they are? Unfortunately, no. I see. Committee member Mizrahi, I presume you did not contact us to check on the situation. Yes, there's been a new development in the Federation government. I wanted to inform you at once. You sound serious. What is this new development? The Federation government is moving forward with plans for a full-scale invasion. What? Where? The birthplace of the Ormus organization, Planet Mictum. The Federation fleet has already set course and is employing the newly completed Merkaba. The Merkaba? So Dmitry Yuryev is behind this? Yes. If something isn't done, the chaotic wars of the past may descend upon us again. Or perhaps something even worse. Are they planning to wipe out Ormus? What should we do? We'll wait and see, depending on the situation. The Federation military may become our enemy? Dimitri must have a reason for heading to Mictum. That man wouldn't move the entire fleet just to suppress them. So there's something there, huh? There was a record of an object in the remaining fragments of the Y data inside Momo. That object was taken by a faction of the immigrant fleet when they left Lost Jerusalem. An object? The Eternal Circle. Zarathustra. Zarathustra? We are still investigating exactly what it is. But Dimitri has the Y data as well, and his is in a more complete form than ours. I have a feeling his actions may be related to that object. <sighs> you have the ESs and the emulators, so you may be able to stop Dimitri. You would receive full support from Representative Helmer in such a case. Helmer? Things are that bad? And we can't do anything if the Elsa is missing. Leave it to us. We'll find them no matter what. And then, if that old man is doing something stupid, we'll go out there and slap him upside the head. Yes. I'm sure Little Master would like to be a part of that, too. I'm sorry for always asking the impossible from you. I'll head there myself as soon as I can. Without a transplant of the actual base tissue, we can't save him. Please, transplant my organs. That should compensate for what's missing. Is that Feb? Oh, that's right. It's Lieutenant Virgil's surgery. No. Think what that would do to you. We can't lose a valuable realian to save the life of one soldier. Our cells should have affinity for each other. I'll be fine. Please. Help him. Wait, that's not Jin. 
You sound like your mind is made up. Fine, we'll try it. That's... Was I dreaming? Yes, I remember. That boy saved him. Jin and the others weren't there then. The vessels of Aniwa are gone? What's wrong? Uh, there's a little bit of a problem. You'd better explain what's going on! Like I said, the vessels of Anima are missing. There's nothing wrong with the crafts themselves, but the power cores have just disappeared. How can that happen? What caused it? I have no idea. Perhaps it's a negative side effect caused by our time travel. Yes, yes. Speaking of side effects, things may get even worse. What? Even more stuff's gonna go wrong? Well, we're not really supposed to be here in this world. That contradiction is slowly but surely building up latent heat energy. If we let it keep going, it'll almost certainly end in destruction. Destruction of what? This universe. What? It, well, that might be an exaggeration, but it will at least blow away this region of space. That's how dangerous this latent heat energy thing is. What do we do? That doesn't sound good. Is there anything we can do? Well, there is something. We may be able to return to our original time if we contain this latent heat energy with a field and interface with the space-time continuum. No problem, then. Let's get started. Let me finish. All I'm saying is that it's theoretically possible. We don't have anything capable of generating a field powerful enough to contain it. There's nothing we can do. Cosmos, will you ever wake up again? Will you ever say good morning to me again? Chief, you're here again? When we get back to our original time, I'm sure we can find a way to fix Cosmos. So... Alan. Yes? Do you really think this is that Milsha? It's difficult to believe, but the data Momo's gathered all points to this as the Milsha 15 years ago. I don't understand. This is definitely Milsha from back then. I've met Feb, Lieutenant Virgil, and even my younger self. But I can't just accept it so easily. If this is really Milsha back then, a terrible fate is going to befall this planet in just a few days. Can you believe that? Well, Jin was saying... If this is really the world of the past, then our actions now could have a dramatic effect on the future. It's certainly true that we don't know what might happen to us if we interfere with the past. But if that's true, doesn't that mean we might be able to change the past? Don't you wish you could change the past, Alan? Well, yeah, I have all sorts of things in the past I'd like to change. I think most people do. Everyone regrets something. I bet everyone wishes they could redo things. But it's not a good idea to interfere with this world without understanding the situation. That may be the logical way of thinking. But even so... Damn it! Everything is happening at once. I feel like I'm gonna go crazy. Chief, you're probably tired. How about getting a little more rest? You're right. I think I'll head to the city to relax. What? Chief, we shouldn't go outside until we understand our current situation. 
I have to do something. I can't just sit around here. Besides, we'll never really figure out our situation unless we go outside. Chief, hey, wait a minute! I can't bear just standing around. You can interfere with this world! You can go tell on me if you want. Chief... <laughs> it's okay. I'm just gonna go visit the city. I'll be back in two or three hours, so tell the others not to worry. According to the information we have, the city is in a battle zone with Federation descent troops. Why do you want to go there? W wait a minute. I'll go with you. That's okay. No, it's not. It's dangerous to go alone. Cosmos isn't here, so I'm going to protect you. Chief? Shh, hide. Is that a UTIC transport? Looks like it was in an accident. Was it attacked by the Federation? Beats me. It's hard to tell from here. Oh, <gasps> wait! Someone's coming out. Damn, this isn't good. Looks like a slaughterhouse in here. Oh, Supervisor Uzuki, over here. Yes, it's definitely him. Suo Huzuki, my father. How are the subjects inside? No good. They're all destroyed with their maintenance beds. We won't be able to use them. Federation military isn't taking any chances. Thanks to them, the project is going to be delayed even further. What should we do? Just retrieve the vital data, then dispose of the rest. Leave the Realians. We'll have the disposal team incinerate them later. Let's go! Oh. oh, this is awful! What was the point of this? Let's see, model number DZ-2000330. Looks like they're combat realians. What are you doing, Chief? This. Hey, that's an ID. Lend me your connection gear. Sure, but why? I'm gonna modify this ID and make us our own. Well, what? It looks like she was a UTIC scientist. A Realian coordinator, actually. There are spare uniforms inside, too. What? Chief, what are you doing? There's something I want to check. You can go on back. I can't leave you alone. Where are you planning on going? My father probably headed for Labyrinthos. I suspected he was connected with you, Tick. I have to find out what the connection was. If you're coming with me, then hurry up and change. Things don't look very friendly here. No surprise there. The Federation front line is only 20 kilometers away. Although, the fact that they haven't declared martial law yet must mean they're not too concerned. Why doesn't the Federation just attack? They can't. The Realian troops that compose the Federation's main force can't be used. Why not? Have you forgotten? 
The UTIC organization has the ability to make Realians lose control. Though I don't think they've been able to expand to the whole star cluster. The Song of Nephilim! Yes. On top of that, there are a lot of civilians here, as well as the Zohar. They can't just hit the city with interstellar weapons. ID, please. Wait a minute. You're with the 34th Special Transport Team? There was a report that your team was attacked and destroyed. Um, yeah. We got lucky and passed out. So we escaped danger. <laughs> Glad to hear it. So, what happened to the cargo? The cargo? The Realians. Oh. They were all destroyed. I hope that doesn't delay the project. A connection experiment using the test subject is going to begin soon. You should hurry. Supervisor Uzuki isn't going to be happy if you keep Professor Mizrahi waiting. Professor Mizrahi's on the fourth floor. Say, Chief, isn't this the hospital we saw when we dove into Cosmos's Encephalon? But it looks too heavily guarded for a hospital. No! What? This is no hospital. When I was a child, I thought it was a hospital. But this is a holding ward for the test subjects that are necessary for their project. Stop! Ahead is Labyrinthos. You can't pass without a dedicated ID. I knew it. This facility is part of Labyrinthos. What? Uh, um, here's my ID. No. Your ID doesn't permit you to pass through here. Return to your work. <gasps> you two! What are you standing around for? Upload the test subject's personal patterns to Central. What? Yo... Yoki Mizrahi? Didn't you hear me? I told you to upload the test subject's personal patterns. Oh, yes, sir. Let's see. The test subject's personal data... Hurry! Yes, sir. Currently cleared through list 177, list 281. Fifteen left until upload is complete. Were you just assigned here? Y yes sir. I see. I'd heard I was getting new assistants. How's list 281? Yes sir. List 281. This is a list of patients in the hospital. Is it done yet? Oh, l list 281 clear. Upload complete. Um what are these test subjects? This is the data from test subjects capable of linking with vessels of Anima. We're going to control their fear and perform a Zohar connection experiment. Weren't you informed? No. I'm sorry. Chief, look! Vessels of Anima! Yes, but why here? I have no idea. And what does he mean by linking people to vessels of anima? Look at this. It's the Zohar. You're right. Looking at this, it appears the vessels of anima serve as a mediator to approach the Zohar. I thought they were the power reactors for the ESs. Actually, they're transmitters. No, more like translators. Their power is the byproduct of acting as mediators between people and the Zohar. They were calibrated here, and what we were using was the finished product. But this data... I wonder why they needed to relay it through Realians. He said something about controlling fear. Maybe that's related. Hmm, I wonder. Ch Chief, look! <gasps> Mom's name! Why is she on the list of test subjects? You there! Yes, sir! 
Go fetch my assistant, Kevin Winnicott. I want to know for Bronia's condition. Kevin Winnicott? Does he mean our Kevin? What's the matter? Hurry up! Oh, yes, sir. What is going on? This is the first I've ever heard of Kevin being here. I wonder if it's just someone with the same name. This is the first I've heard of it, too. Kevin didn't tell me what he did before he joined Vector. But his Hilbert effect theory and his knowledge of Realian architecture makes sense if he was Professor Mizrahi's assistant. you barge in here without knocking? You? You're... Hmm. Have we met before? No. Um, are you Mr. Winnicott? What? Is my name that unusual? Oh, no. I'm sorry. Um, Professor Mizrahi is calling you. He wants you to report on Fibronia's condition. Oh. It's already that time? Understood. I'll get things ready. Tell him I'll be right up. That boy is Kevin? His face looks similar, but he doesn't have the same temperament. Yes, but I'm pretty sure it's him. That's Kevin. So he was involved with you, Tick. Chief! Chief! What? Look at this! Outline of the managing OS for a weapon system to combat the Gnosis phenomenon. The effectiveness of a human-modeled weapon for Gnosis combat? Basic theory of a strategically multiple operation system that obeys the rules of order? Hey! This is Cosmos's basic theory! It sure is. He must have already been working on the basic design back then. It really is, Kevin. Chief, what are you doing? What else? Taking a backup. What? Here? That's crazy! I know it's risky. But with this, we may be able to reboot Cosmos. Sorry, could you distract him until I'm done? Please? Distract him? You're still here? Oh, um, actually, there's something I'd like to ask you. What? The connection experiment is about to begin. Can't you wait until later? It won't take long. It's about the effectiveness of mental stabilization in regards to realians. Chief, please make it quick. I can't keep him much longer. Would you stop bothering me? I'm in a hurry. Please leave my room at once. Oh, um, we're sorry for disturbing you. Come on, Alan. Let's go. What? Oh, right. What is it? Um, the door won't open. Of course not. The area past here is restricted. You can't enter without permission. We were told to deliver this data to the test subject management wing. ID, please. Here. Confirmed. I'll release the lock. Hurry through. What is it now? What's that image? Hmm? Hey, what's that display showing? That's the surveillance camera for the isolated underground research wing. What about it? Oh, nothing. It just caught my eye, that's all. That place isn't something you need to worry about. Just get back to your posts. I'm sorry. Chief. That was a vessel of anima. Yes, there's no mistaking it. 
They're conducting experiments here to connect vessels of Anima and the Zohar. Excuse us. We brought the data. Uh, set it down there. D dad We're pressed for time. What's the status of the link with Fibronia? Values on the test subject side aren't stable. Fibronia probably hasn't fully recovered yet. Some amount of stress is acceptable. We'll continue the experiment. <gasps> Mom! You there. Forward the analysis data log. I want to confirm the error in sequence 306. What is this? Mom is being used in an experiment? What's wrong? Hurry up and confirm the data. Isn't she a member of your family? Hmm? What kind of experiment is this? How can you use a member of your family as a test subject? Ch chief I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about the atrocity of using a member of your own family as a test subject. And not just her. How many others have you people done this to? They're here because it's necessary. That's all there is to it. How is it necessary? Have you even studied this personal data? It's clear that they're suffering subconsciously. How can you use the sick and injured like this? Nonsense. That's just an issue with the numbers. You merely see what you want to see. She doesn't feel anything. She doesn't say anything. This is nothing more than peripheral nerve reflexes. You're just distorting the truth to rationalize what you're doing. What? You're the one who's distorting things. To begin with, since when does a mere staff member like you have the right to criticize this project? Know your place. <sighs> Daddy? Huh? Shion, how many times do I have to tell you you need permission to come here? Oh... But I'm worried about Mom's sickness. Today isn't a visitation day. You know that. Now hurry home. Leave Mom to us. But... Shion! I'll escort her out. You? Yes. I'm sorry for how I acted. I'm fatigued and a little emotional right now. Hmm. I see. Yes. Please take care of her. Come on, Shion. Let's go home. I'm sure your mom will get better soon. See all these doctors with her? Yeah. Um, your house is in block B32, right? What's wrong? I don't want to go home yet. But your dad's gonna be busy with work until late. The soldier! Soldier? I want to visit the Heart Soldier! Oh, you want to go to the church? Yeah, I'm going to bring him flowers. I see. Okay, let's go. Follow me. There's flowers in the garden outside. They're pretty. Did you grow these yourself? Yeah! Feb gave me seeds! You know what? I'm gonna grow tons and tons more flowers and make Mom happy. Yes, I'm sure she'll like that. Now, shall we bring some flowers to the soldier? Yeah! Are you slacking off at your job and playing babysitter now? Mr. Winnicott, this is part of my job. Oh, excuse me. Still, I'm surprised to see people leisurely planting gardens in the middle of a war. It's at times like this when we need them the most. Is there something wrong with engaging in productive activity? To counter the unnatural destruction of war? Placing one against another and fighting is a defining aspect of human beings. Resisting it is unnatural. Your name is Kevin Winnicott, correct? You're a strange woman. Is my name that unusual? 
Are you really Kevin? Come on, let's go! Oh, right. Let's go to the church. Excuse us. Xion, wait. Where are you going? This is a shark. Oh. Oh yeah, that's right. Come on. Right. Hmm. You're recovering smoothly. But you should stay in bed for a while longer. Like I needed your help. Who the hell are you people? You aren't UTIC, and you aren't Federation. But you act damn suspicious for mere civilians. I told you you need to get some rest. We can't reveal who we are for various reasons. But we aren't your enemy. There's no need for you to cause yourself unnecessary stress. Xion? What? Y yeah I brought Xion. Oh, right. Uh, what brings you here? Um, here. Wh what? Flowers? For me? Yeah, they bloomed real pretty. It's so you'll get well. What? You've got to be kidding. I don't need them. You won't take them? Uh, uh, th thanks. you get better soon. Damn it. This isn't me. <laughs> T what are you laughing at? I'm sorry. It's just you look so different from when we first met. Well, excuse me for looking silly holding some flowers. Not at all. You look good with them. Damn it. Sounds like you're having fun. Deb! Fibronia. I'm glad you recovered. Don't come any closer to me, Reallian. Virgil? That's a Utic Reallian. Do you know how many of my comrades have died because of them? Virgil, stop it. She saved your life. I didn't ask for that. It makes me sick, thinking I've got a part of you in me. If I could move right now, I'd kill myself. Virgil, that's enough! This is none of your business. Please don't say such sad things. Everyone worked so hard to save your life. Please don't speak so lightly about throwing it away. What would a Realian know about the value of human life? It's true that I'm a Realian. We were created to serve human beings. My sisters are going through painful experiments for that purpose. But I feel no hatred for human beings, because it is the proof that we exist. Give me a break. A proof you exist? That's just how you've been programmed. It's fine if you feel that way. But my feelings right now are more than just a program. Huh? Your feelings? I want you to live. I'm starting to feel sick. I'm gonna sleep. Feb! We would never want people to suffer. I know. We'll come to understand each other someday. Let's pray now, Xion. What are you gonna pray for, Feb? For my dear sisters. Please grant them a wonderful future. I see. Will I get to play with Cecily and Kath again? Yes. They're both looking forward to seeing you again. What are you going to pray for? For Mom to get better soon. And for the soldier to get better too. That's a good idea. Let's pray together. Xion, let's go. Jin? Losing control of Realians is an ingenious plan. 
A Trojan horse planted by their leader. It's an amusing scenario, though not a particularly flashy one. It was Winnicott's idea to make Mizrahi into a scapegoat. He's quite the tactician for his age. Did you hear that the transport carrying calibrated realians was attacked by the Federation? Oh, we just lost a few realian units. It won't affect the project. Although I am concerned about the Federation's next move. We know all the details of their descent operation. We'll be able to buy time until our VIPs are able to retreat. Good. So, have you deciphered the Y data? No. I've found some file fragments. But he won't tell us a thing about it. I've got Winnicott trying to get some information from him. But who knows how it'll go. As long as the Zohar activation succeeds, we can deal with the rest later. What's the plan? We'll pick you and the others up along with the Zohar. I won't hold my breath. If it comes down to it, I can lift the whole Song of Nephilim into space. Oh good, you ate it. Did you like it? You look like you'll be well enough to go outside soon. That kid's not here today? Shion? She went to pick flowers. Oh. You mind if I ask you something? I'll do my best to answer. Why did you save me? I'm your enemy. I guess you are. But that has nothing to do with me. I just wanted to save you. I didn't care about anything else. That doesn't make sense. I came to this planet to dispose of you realians. You could be executed for saving me. All that mattered to me was saving you. I don't understand that at all. Is it really that strange to want to save someone's life? I've been ordered to kill realians. To a soldier, orders are absolute. There's nothing more important than life. Isn't that true for both soldiers and realians? I want you to live. And because of it, we are here, together. Why don't you get some sleep? You need to regain your strength. Don't tell me what to do. Okay. The food was delicious. I'm glad you liked it. Well, I'm impressed they can grow in a place like this. Guess they haven't died yet. No, they won't die. I water them every single day and give them fertilizer. Oh, I see. Well, there's no guarantee that they won't die in the future. I don't understand it. Why did you want to plant them here? You could have planted them in the flower bed in the rear garden. Because that's too far away from Mom's room. This is closer to her room. And that way, Daddy can see them too. I can't really see Supervisor Uzuki having any interest in flowers. <sighs> Listen. You need to understand how the world works. For humans to live, we have to conquer, and destroy, and eat other organisms. That's the most basic function of an organic being. I'm sorry, Xi'an, but there's no point to what you're doing. But that's not true! When pretty flowers are in bloom, they make everyone feel happier. Even my daddy. I wouldn't bet on that. Even Feb said so. And that's why I planted them here. Huh. <laughs> I don't get it, but if you say so... Ah, 
that's cold. This is all your fault. <laughs> You're all wet. <laughs> <sighs> this just isn't my day. Well, what do you want me to do? What are the flowers there? Oh, and this one too. Not like that. You have to be more careful. Otherwise, you'll hurt them. How can I hurt them? They're just flowers. No, here. Give it to me. I'll show you how. Shia. Huh? Coming. Here. Make sure you water them, okay? What? But hey. <sighs> Fine. Whatever. Wow, so this is Cosmos's basic theory? Hmm, these are some excellent calculations. Well, how about it? Is it possible to fix Cosmos? Beats me. What? With this data you brought back, and the newly designed body, it is possible to restore her to her original form. Then... But even so, there's still too many parts we don't understand. Even if the repairs are perfect, we don't know if she'll reboot or not. She's completely different from Erde Kaiser, the field in which we specialize. Indeed. This thing doesn't even transform, much less combine. What the... that's not the problem! Did you say something? Oh, uh, nothing. Anyway, we'll do what we can. <laughs> After all, I don't get many chances to play around with this baby. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Chief, are you sure about this? If we leave it up to them, they may make things even worse. Hey, I heard that, you! When it comes to robotics, I don't make mistakes. Sit back and leave it to me. Now, all you people here are in the way. Get out! Shoo! Why don't you try out the latest game in the lounge? We modified it a little, so I think you'll enjoy it. Really? Well, I guess it might be nice to relax a little. Let's check it out, Xion. Sounds good. I'll go with you, too. Wait. You stay here, assistant number two. Huh? What did you expect? You're my temporary assistant. Don't tell me you're already planning on taking a break. Right then! Let's get to it, Alan! That was actually pretty fun! Those two did a good job for a change. How do you feel? Do you feel relaxed? Yes, I'm sorry. I guess I've been worrying everyone. Don't worry about it. We're friends, right? When stuff happens, don't hesitate to tell us. Thanks. I'm gonna go rest a bit in my room. If anything happens, give me a call. Sure thing. Professor, I finished attaching the exterior. Okay, we're going to try rebooting her. Assistant number two! Yeah, yeah. Come on, Cosmos. It's time to wake up. It didn't work! Uh, that's strange. With the data she brought back, the core repair should be flawless. Where could the problem be? Professor, it's gotta be that! Oh yeah, <laughs> that! Love and courage. Yeah, love and courage! No, I'm pretty sure the problem lies with you two. Hey, assistant number two! You yes? What are you standing around for? Hurry up and bring your lady friend! 
I want to hear the opinion of a specialist. Hey, I'm a specialist in the same field. Do you expect me to rely on your opinions? Hurry up and call her. Fine, fine. <laughs> Professor, the reactor output is unstable. Maybe we needed those parts you had left over. Don't worry about little things like that. It's probably just a gauge malfunctioning. Just hit it! I know what is going to happen already. The coming events will bring suffering to countless lives. And it will leave a permanent scar on the universe. But I alone may have a chance to change everything. Cosmos, what would you do? Would you chastise me for being illogical? Just like you always do? Cosmos, would you abandon countless lives before you simply because it's the logical thing to do? Mm -hmm. Yes? It's me, Alan. Sorry, have you got a minute? Sure. What is it? Thanks. Whoa! What is it? Hurry up, I'm gonna catch cold. Uh, um, yeah, uh, I mean, uh, um, the, the professor. What about the professor? Uh, re rebooting Cosmos isn't working, and he says he wants your opinion. I see. Okay, I'll be right. What? Chief! Chief, are you all right? Chief! Where's the explosion? In Cosmos's maintenance room. What are you doing? Hurry up! Wait up, Chief! Confound it! I'm an old man, for heaven's sake. I tell you, young people these days have no manners! Uh, Professor. Violent criminals don't care about manners. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Who the hell did this to our Elsa? <laughs> Captain, leave this to the little master and me. Just take care of Scott and the professor. <laughs> Damn it! How the hell did he get in here? Help! What happened with the security? I wish I knew! The security system is just fine! A fly couldn't get into this place! It isn't anyone's fault! That guy is a monster! Tony! Fall back! You can't do anything about that monster! Out of the way. But, old man! Don't worry. I'm perfectly calm right now. Voyager, why are you here? What is your objective?
was before. Cosmos, you're all right. Xion, I will need your assistance in defeating the enemy unit. Right. I understand. Come on, Cosmos. Acknowledged. Engaging with maximum attack force. Voyager, how much longer do you intend to keep doing this? Satisfy your never ending thirst for power. Answer me, Eric. Now, do you think that you really won this? This is checking. How long are you planning to play with them? You're taking too long. Return. If she has awakened, then we must devise our next move. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it seems your time is up. You'll pay for what you have done. We will settle this later at a more appropriate time. Farewell for now. Goodbye, Jan Sauer. <laughs> Are we safe now? Yes, we're safe for now, Momo. But it wouldn't have ended well for us if we had kept on fighting. Cosmos! Thank goodness. I was so worried about you. Xion. It appears that I have caused you undue emotional stress while my functions were suspended. I must apologize. You should. I was really worried about you. I'm so glad you're all right, Cosmos. Xion. Xion. Chief? Xion. Are you... Yoki Mizrahi? Don't you think waves resemble the relationships between people? They ebb and flow, as if feeling the distance between them, and repeat that process eternally. Hmm. Young lady, do you love your father? What? Parents and children, too, could be said to be like waves. Professor Mizrahi, what was your relationship to my father? What good will knowing that do? I don't think knowing that will be of any benefit to you now. I... Words can completely change their meaning depending on the mind of the listener. They can change into good ones or into bad. Some words cannot be conveyed. What one thinks is good will not always lead to good results. You're a scientist too, then you should understand. I still want to know, without knowing. How do I know where I stand? That man's words are merely shackles. That man? He is a man possessed by his own narrow-minded ego. He brings suffering to all those he comes into contact with. I don't want to see your sad face. Who are you talking about? I don't know anyone like... I promised Sakura. I would make a world in which all wills that have yet to be born can live in happiness. I want you to live in a world like that too, 
That is my wish. Professor Mizrahi. Don't do anything you don't want to. Be true to your feelings. Do that, and she will answer your call. Cosmos? Jin! I... You fainted from exhaustion. You really should rest more. Or you just refuse to hear advice from a quack. I'm sorry. I'll be more careful. Jin, I... I met Dad. I see. Aren't you gonna ask what we talked about? I don't think I need to. I doubt you were able to have much of a conversation with him. You wouldn't be able to keep yourself composed enough for that. You're being mean. <sighs> Chief? The Utic organization had vessels of Anima. From what Professor Mizrahi said, they're needed to activate the Zohar. If we can stop their experiment, we can prevent Milsha's space-time anomaly. And if we're able to do that... We might have a chance to save Mother and the others. Also, if we can use the vessels of Anima, we might be able to get the energy needed to return to our original world. We might also be able to find out what Professor Mizrahi was really trying to do. That may indeed be possible. But the risk is too great. But we don't know what's going to happen to us either way. Don't try to stop me. This is a past I don't want. I'm going to change it. Shion, you need your past to be who you are now. Yes, that could work. If we had vessels of anima, we might be able to use that energy to return to our original time. We could come under attack at any time. Just being able to use the ES would benefit us. But the vessels are stored inside Labyrinthos. I don't think they'll let us inside that easily. We have forged IDs. If we use them well, getting inside will be easy. At any rate, our presence here is causing an expanding distortion throughout the entire universe. It could lead to not only us disappearing, but the destruction of the universe itself. Gotcha! Get yourselves ready to infiltrate the place! The Third Descent Operation, the Milshin Conflict, is going to take place in a few days. We have to hurry. Oh. There. We can get into Labyrinthos from that gate. There are guards. We have IDs, so no problem, right? Uh, actually, we can't go any further with these IDs. If there's no other route, then we have no choice but to go in by force. Yeah, we're gonna have to fight sooner or later. Let's get it over with. That number... What is it, Xi'an? Cosmos, do you know where this door leads? If it is the same as 15 years ago, the Special Equipment Transport Elevator, which connects to the Acute Neurosis Treatment Facility, lies ahead. I knew it. It connects to Mom's room. Hey, what's up? Something happened? 
No, nothing. Let's go. Hmm? What's that? I don't care about you obsessing over that doll of your daughter. But I can't have you forgetting the real objective. The operation has already begun. You and Winnicott formulated it. I don't see why you need me. I'm going to take over the management of this experiment. If you've lost your nerves... Do as you wish. It's no longer my concern. Is that Joachim, Miss Rahi? Daddy! Momo! This isn't a place for children. Uh, um, I'm sorry. I got lost. <laughs> You're not very good at lying, young lady. Do you think you could give me a hand? Oh, okay. What kind of research are you doing, Professor? Hmm? Actually, I'm making a realian like you. What? Uh, I'm not a... You don't have to hide it. I can tell. I lost my daughter to illness. I thought that if I could retrieve her consciousness, I might be able to return her to life. So I studied the UMN, the Zohar, and Udu for that purpose. Reviving the consciousness of the dead? Yes. The Unis Mundus network, just as its name implies, is a collective subconscious that's existed since the moment the universe was born. It's a fundamental part of nature. Through my research of the Zohar, I discovered the existence of what appears to be human consciousness within the UMN. Consciousnesses are born from the UMN, and they return to the UMN. If I could discover that process, I could fulfill my wish. But my daughter's consciousness has disappeared. The new consciousness, which is growing, is not hers. No. But I think that's all right. This child will surely become the hope of all realians. That hope may become a way to stop the looming threat of the expansion of the universe. Our second daughter. I'm sure Sakura would have wanted that. Her name was Sakura? Yes. My wife and I came up with the name together. She was a cute child just like you. This world must continue to exist for you and others. I must stop them. Who? Oh, I'm sorry for making you listen to the ramblings of an old man. Now go. I'm sure there are people worried about you. Daddy. He called me his second daughter. He said he's going to protect the world for us. I... I... Yeah, I'm happy for you, Momo.
So, he really was involved with you, Tick. Xion! This name! Yes, it's my mother's name. She was one of the victims of the experiments performed here. She was put here by the hands of the ones she trusted. No, below that! Below? Shion Uzuki? What? Why is my name here? Jin, what does this mean? You know something, don't you? Uh... No, you're the same as Dad. You knew everything, and still you let them do that to Mom. No. Shion, it's not like that. Then what is it? If you haven't done anything wrong, then explain it to me. Shion. <gasps> what? That's... It can't be. Hmm. Are those combat realians? No doubt about it. Those are the prototype combat realians the UTIC organization used during the Milshin conflict. Those are the realians that killed Mom. Why are they here? Why? I'd imagine they were developed here. <gasps> no! It can't be! Kevin killed Mom? There's no way that can be true! Jump! Are you alright? We could cancel this operation. I'm fine. I just got a little worked up. When the conflict starts, this place will be part of the battlefield. It'll be too late then. If we miss this chance, it'll be impossible to get the vessels of Anima. Shion. Hey, there's someone there! Shh. Quiet, Junior. If they find us, it's all over. Sorry. <gasps> That's... Dad! Colonel Margulis. How is it progressing? Lord Heinlein is concerned. Lord Heinlein? I thought this project was under Lord Sergius's jurisdiction. Lord Sergius is only interested in Proto-Omega. It's too powerful a toy for that fool. So, while the Federation is easy to deceive, Ormus leaders are less likely to be fooled. The Federation's operation will soon begin. The system must be activated at the same time. The project has already entered the final phase. Dr. Sellers is in charge of the system. I'm calibrating the vessels of Anima. The artifacts of God scattered throughout space with the disappearance of lost Jerusalem. Our objective is to return them to their proper form so we may return to our Holy Land. That is the reason the Zohar and the vessels of Anima were created. So, that's the Zohar. Yes. The Zohar and the vessels of Anima were once one whole. No, it would be better to say that they were intended to be one whole. I understand that the Link experiment has been delayed. Perhaps this project is beyond Mizrahi's capability, Supervisor Uzuki. Professor Mizrahi isn't the reason. We have to be careful since Vabroni is the only usable transgenic type unit we have. She's still disposable. We can always make another. Why do you insist on using realians? You could use those patients for the experiment. Because of fear. Fear? Unlike humans, realians feel no fear. That's why we can use them. <laughs> I've heard that realians feel fear as well. All things fear their own death. But realians are strongly connected to each other by their subconscious. They never reject each other. Even if their body disappears, they are still connected at the subconscious level. That's what makes them different from people. In order to control the Zohar, we must use Lemageton and convey human will from the vessels of Anima via the UMN. But that results in direct contact with Udu, and Udu invokes primal fear in human beings. 
humans reject others, those who are rejected are overcome with fear of isolation. That fear is even stronger than that of death, since humans are weak. If we have the original source of the Lemmageddon, then things might be different. But we are limited in what we can do with this emulation. It's based on incomplete data. And because of that deficiency, we've already wasted one transgenic type unit. Lemmageddon? The Realian consciousness unavoidably suffers stress, since it acts as a wall to suppress the human fear of Udu. At any rate, we'll take care of the problems. There's nothing to worry about. A certain company has agreed to support us as well. Of course, it's all unofficial. Vector, I presume. Is it safe? All that matters are results. That's the only thing any business cares about. But if that Lord Sergius learns of Vector's involvement, he's not going to be happy. Then he won't know. And we will have a new master soon enough. I'd be careful saying things like that, Commander. The walls have ears, you know. Dad, I can't believe you. You betrayed Mom, and me, and everyone. Just looking at it. <laughs> this is it, huh? Those cages should contain the vessels of Anima. A little bit of this, and that, and enter. Zebulon and Dina's names are here too. There are 11 cages containing vessels of Anima. Simeon, Dina, Zebulon, Reuben, Levi, Issachar, Gad, Joseph, Dan, Naphtali, and finally, Judah. Of those, there are three capable of being operated as ES craft. And as you can see, Asher's cage is empty. Wait a minute. What's going on? The ESs were developed at Vector. What are they doing here? It's just like what Margulis said. Heinlein from Hyams and Wilhelm of Vector oversee the weapons at this facility. The two of them may have made some sort of exchange, which just might have involved the vessels of Anima. Backdoor weapons deals are so common these days, even the tabloids wouldn't bother printing anything about it. Basically, these are so valuable that they're even more important than reputation or profit concerns. Not enough! What are you babbling about? Prepare each of your ESs. Transport them to their respective cargo holds. Now! Scott, retrieve the vessels of Anima. Yes, Professor. Is empty. I know that. I thought we'd be able to use a different vessel, but it seems that won't work. Don't tell me we can't use Asher. Oh, stop whining. We've got another reactor for Asher. We originally developed it for Erde, so its capabilities are top class. Are you sure it's gonna be okay to use some weird thing like that? Chaos, say something! Well, we'll just have to trust the Professor. And it's not like we have any other choice. 
<laughs> I have a really bad feeling about this. Okay, this should stop your complaining. It's ready to fight any time. Wow, not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, uh, what the hell? Have we been caught? Well, yes, of course. After all, we're using their mainframe to get these things assembled, so of course they noticed us. It's like sending a message. We're using your stuff without permission. Chaos! Oh, well. I guess we better hurry up and get going. shut down again, are they? No. This is the vessels of Anima resonating with our wills. What? With our wills? Our consciousnesses and the vessels of Anima have begun to synchronize. So this is what Virgil meant when he said we're being compelled to ride them? But what does it mean? Is this caused by someone's will? I don't know, but I have a feeling his words did mean something. If the synchronization continues, it's only a matter of time before the vessels. What is it, Chaos? What? Oh, it's about the ESs. Controlling them is even more difficult than before. Be careful and don't lose control. Right, gotcha. Wilhelm, what are you trying to use this power for? The vessels of Anima have been stolen! Impossible! How? What's the commotion? Someone has infiltrated the facility and stolen three vessels of Anima. Vessels of Anima? Is it Federation soldiers? We don't know. The enemy moved the vessels onto unknown Ames and are currently on the run. They moved vessels of Anima into Ames craft? So they've completed the ES before we did? What shall we do? Prepare the Interstellar Strategic Integrated Weapon System! What? I said, get ready to launch! Is there a problem? It's still in testing phase. It's too risky to use in real combat. I don't care. Capture those aims at any cost! Good, now we can get out of here! Hurry! We're picking up enemy transmissions. If we adjust the channel, it may be possible to listen in. Please try. Intruders. Zohar. Test object. Provide purity. There's no time. No. Postpone the connection experiment. Number six. Aoi Uzuki is being prepped at hospital ward. Aoi? Uzuki? Transport the test subject. Mother! <laughs> Xi'an. Tell me where you are going. Acting alone under the current circumstances would be extremely... I'm sorry. I have to save my mom. Xion. Junior, look. Xion, where do you think you're going? Xion, it's too dangerous. Come back now. Damn it, we have to get her. We can't. Junior. What? Enemy mobile weapon craft. Get the hell out of our way! Junior, look! How the hell is it still moving? Cosmos. What's Xion's position? She's moving through the 13th Administration Wing. We'll get her back! More of 
Junior, we should retreat for now. Retreat? But then Xi'an will... It's all right. Xi'an's not a child. She'll manage something on her own. If we stay here, we'll be in trouble. What now? Junior, we won't last much longer. We've got to escape. Now! Damn it! Okay then, let's head back to the Elsa. ahead of here should lead to mom's room. The enemy broke through the transport bay and escaped. Send an AIMS team after them. Report to Commander Margulis at once. Let's see. I should be able to get to mom's wing from over here. Forgotten me? <sighs> I've come back for you, Xi'an. What? What? What are you doing in here? She's the intruder! Don't let her get away! Come on! Grab her! No, stop, stop. struggling. Don't hold her down. Let go of me. Help me, Kevin. What's she talking about? Stop it. Don't touch me. Someone Get shut away her up. From me. Stop. The Red Testament. That was Kevin. Kevin is dead. Was that just an illusion? No, Lieutenant Virgil was really there too. People who are dead are revived as testaments. Kevin said he came for me. Does this mean the testaments aren't our enemies? Is that her? She's part of the group that stole the vessels of Anima? Yes. She's been babbling things to herself and ignoring our questions. Pellegrin, did you notice? Those eyes, they look just like his. <sighs> They're the eyes of one who continues to defy us. Call Supervisor Uzuki and Kevin Winnicott. Have them join me for the interrogation. Yes, sir. You're calling the Supervisor to the interrogation? Why? It seems this woman attempted to make contact with both of them not long ago. Then the theft of the vessels of Anima occurred. The operation was performed quite smoothly. Do you mean they have inside information? Whatever the case, if we don't verify her identity, our future plans could be in jeopardy. Supervisor Uzuki? What do you want? If you need to talk, couldn't it wait until later? What's the meaning of using the 27 series Asura? Those are solely for experimental use. They're still unstable. If they go out of control, we won't be able to rein them in. And? Their combat abilities will be as expected. That's all that's needed. That's absurd. They can't distinguish between an enemy and an ally. 
Are you planning to use a weapon that can only cause indiscriminate destruction? When the Song of Nephilim becomes operational, everything will be resolved by the awakening of the Zohar. You're going to use the Song of Nephilim that was born from the Lemageton translation? You must reconsider. There's still time to stop both the 27 series and the Song. There's no other way to activate the Zohar. The descent troops have already reached the city. If we don't use that system now, all of our efforts will have been for nothing. Isn't this why you betrayed the Federation? No, I... No? You sacrificed your own wife in order to save your daughter. Why hesitate now? You couldn't possibly understand. I... I had no choice. That's right. For the realization of our ideals, there is no other choice. Milsha's sacrifice cannot be avoided. Supervisor. Oh, and you're here too, Mr. Winnicott. What is it? Commander Margulis requests your presence for the interrogation of the intruder. At an interrogation? Me as well? Yes. I wasn't informed of the details, so please ask the commander directly. What's this about? I've heard that she's a member of the group that stole the vessels of Anima. It must mean she's more than just a petty thief. M Marculus! Well, well. So, you know who I am? It seems I was right. You are more than just a mere rat. No. Oh. <laughs> You're an interesting woman. I can tell you are no spy. Your face betrays your every thought. I won't tell you anything. There's no point in empty bluffs. We have countless ways of making you talk. <laughs> but before that, I'm going to have you answer questions from these two. Uh. Tell me the truth. How much do you know about the vessels of Anima? Uh. It's pointless to keep silent. I don't want to be rough with you. Please answer me. I have nothing to say to a man who doesn't even hesitate to sacrifice his own family. What are you talking about? That's none of your business. Besides, I didn't mean to sacrifice her. Then what did you mean to do? Aoi Uzuki is your wife. How can you let these people do what they want to her? Who are you? Well, you're a lively one, aren't you? Listen, we already know you're using the vessels of Anima as mobile weapon reactors. That's top secret research. Even Vector doesn't have that technology yet, much less Utic. Where did you obtain it from? I knew it. So it wasn't just Ormus involved in the Zohar research, but Vector as well. Woman, where did you learn the name Ormus? <sighs> Your attitude reminds me of a man I know, and I don't like it. Curiosity can prove to be fatal. You would do well to remember that. <sighs> you will tell us everything you know. Naturally, we won't kill you, though you'll experience things far worse than death. Febronia, what's wrong? I have something I need to tell everyone. There's no time. Hurry! <sighs> Alan, how long are you going to stand there? Uh, why didn't you go back and rescue the Chief? If you'd gone right back, you might have been able to get to her. We can't put everyone in danger because of Xi'an's selfish actions. But why aren't we going to rescue her now? After our infiltration, the security at Labrinthos has been increased. If we make any rash moves, we'll only make the situation worse. I understand that, but while we're calmly talking about this, the Chief is in danger! Aren't you worried about your sister? Ah, uh, I-I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Alan, everyone's worried about her. During the Gnosis terrorism, 
Xi'an learned that our father betrayed the Federation and handed over Lemageddon to the Utic. I've kept his involvement with Utic from her. Her actions are not based on conviction. Rather, she's acting out of spite toward our father and me. Convictions built on a weak foundation like that will crumble at the slightest provocation. Thus, I'm worried. The truth that awaits her. I have a feeling there's something here that Xion must not be allowed to know. What do you mean? I don't know what it is yet. But I'm concerned about the way she's been fainting lately. You mean the way she's been fatigued? If that's all it is, I wouldn't be worried about it. What do you mean? Her mother had the same symptoms. The chief has the same illness as her mother? Jin! Xion's in trouble! What? What is it? Fabronia is here! Please come to the bridge! What's up? Your friend is in danger. She's being held prisoner inside Labyrinthos. Commander Marculus plans to get information from her by force. The Colonel? Don't tell me it's already too late. No, she's still alright. There's someone inside taking action to aid her. But I don't think it will delay them for long. I see. But if we take on Utic with our current capability, we're going to suffer a lot of damage. Not necessarily. Jin? Don't you see? You and Chaos should know what's about to happen. Oh! If this world is proceeding as we know it, then the Third Descent operation will begin soon. When it begins, Utic will be in a full-scale battle against the Federation. And we know the details of that battle from beginning to end. We can use this to our advantage. We'll slip past them in the midst of everything and rescue Xion. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it! Now, let's go. What? Me too? You're worried about Xion, aren't you? She needs someone to support her. Please lend us your help. All right. I'll accompany you. Junior, look! Yeah, I know. It's the beginning of this planet's nightmare. Looks like the Federation's descent operations begun. It must have taken too much time. I guess I don't have a choice. I'll have to retreat for now. You. There's no point in this sort of thing. This isn't going to make anyone happy. <laughs> That's not true. If more of them bloom, everyone will notice. You're wasting your time. They'll just get trampled again. <laughs> no, they won't. Hey, where are you going? I'm gonna get seeds from Feb. No one has the ability to lead others to the truth. Our powers are too limited. Only those who possess divine power can accomplish that.
The staff and test subjects are already being moved to the evacuation shelters. We'll also seal this block just in case. You should evacuate immediately as well. Commander Margulis, what happened to Fabronia? I heard she went outside. What's she thinking at a time like this? There's no need to worry about that prototype realium. We have all the data we need. Still, the Federation's advance is faster than I expected. And their numbers are great. I don't see any sign of our defensive troops being deployed yet. There's no need for concern. Proto-Omega is going out to intercept them. Proto-Omega? You're going to use that? It is the will of Patriarch Sergius. And this time, the 27 series will be deployed as well. If they're as capable as you've estimated, the Federation soldiers will last only minutes. You're a fool to jump ahead like that. The 27 series isn't ready yet. You must reconsider. Winnicott is the one responsible for the design. And says they're ready and will perform to expectation. It's true that their capability itself far exceeds that of previous combat realians. But those things can no longer even be called realians. They're dangerous even to us. It doesn't matter. By using them, we can obtain even more accurate data. Besides, we've already completed preparations to use the Song of Nephilim. Once the Zohar is activated, the Federation will no longer be our concern. Are you all crazy? Professor Mizrahi canceled the Lemageddon translation work. Do you really intend to use the incomplete song? It'll destroy this planet! Why do you hesitate? Everything we've done is for our ideal reality. That's what this project is for. Margulis. I can't leave things to that madman any longer. I'm going to do as I please as well. No. <sighs> Looks like things have gotten quite hectic here. The URTVs are descending! This is gonna be a battlefield soon! In a few hours, Federation troops will enter Labyrinthos. There's no time to lose. We have to hurry and rescue Xion! Are you alright? Uh, it's you! No matter what you do to me, I won't tell you anything. I know. Please, settle down. Huh? The Federation descent operation has begun. You will be killed. Now's your only chance to escape. Uh, you're gonna let me go? Yes. I know you don't have a high opinion of me, but I'm not doing these things because I want to. I can't believe the words of someone who would sacrifice his own wife. I don't know who you heard that from, but that information isn't entirely accurate. It is true that I'm sacrificing my wife and my family, but I want you to believe me. I just wanted to protect my family, even if it meant making the world my enemy. Why are you doing this? You'll be treated as a traitor by not only the Federation, but by Utik as well. They may kill you. That's my own fault. It's better than having an innocent killed. But enough about that. I have a favor to ask you. What is it? Do you remember my daughter? Xion? Yes. She's in a church in the suburbs. Please, save my daughter. Why don't you do that yourself? If I could, I would. You saw, didn't you? My wife can't move from the hospital wing upstairs. I have to protect her. <gasps> it may sound strange, but I feel like you can save Xion. Perhaps it's because you resemble my wife. All right. I'll save your daughter. I'm sorry to trouble you. Hold still for a moment. I'll set you free. Now hurry. This place will turn into a battlefield soon. Huh? Supervisor Uzuki, do you realize what you're doing? Pelligree. We still haven't gotten the information we need from that woman. Stop it. We have all we need. We won't get anything else out of her. That's for us to decide. 
Or do you intend to betray us again? Again? I haven't done any... Are you going to play ignorant? We know you're leaking information to the Federation. <laughs> leaking information? Now that the project has gone into operation, you no longer have any value. I'll dispose of you along with her. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid that's not acceptable. Jin? Uzuki? So you were the one who was receiving the data. You and your father have outdone yourselves. Pelligree. You've become skilled at playing the villain yourself. Are you disappointed in me? You're right. I didn't stay the little girl you knew. And you look like you've grown older as well. You look as young as ever. I envy you. I would have preferred that we met again under different circumstances. You never change. You were always like that. You're incapable of acknowledging others. And you ignored my feelings, and ran off to the Colonel. Ran off to? No. I returned. Returned to where I belong. The Colonel is where you belong? Why? Why do you care so much about him? You never thought about my needs. You just manipulate people to suit your own. You could never understand. This is the destiny of my heritage. Pelligree. Don't worry. You'll no longer have to trouble yourself. Since I'm going to put an end to you right here! What happened? Don't worry. It looks like my friends have come to rescue me. That's a relief. Please, take care of my daughter. I will. I promise. Jin, Dad, he... he came to rescue me. Yes, I know. He said he's gonna save Mom. He said he'd protect his family, even if it meant sacrificing himself. Yes. Father worried about you until the very end. Jin, Xi'an is at the church. I have to rescue her. I have to keep my promise to Dad. of the end. Song of destruction. Then we need to hurry. There's not much time left. Are your wounds healed? Yeah, it sure is noisy outside. Did something happen? It looks like there's a battle going on. A battle? The Federation descent operation. You aren't going to fight? I'm not made for combat, but if necessary... I've seen Realians fight numerous times. I was taught that that's what they do. That they'll kill even children without any hesitation. Unless instructed, Realians won't kill people or each other. It is you humans who issue that order. So it's all the work of human beings, huh? You feel different than the others somehow. Different from normal Realians. It's because I'm half-human. Half-human? <laughs> oh, Xion. What's the matter? Fibronia! The sky! And the people! They're combat realians. This is bad. They're out of control. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Uh, 
Please take Xion and get away from here. No! You can't reason with them! It's all right. Don't worry about me. <laughs> Hurry! Euphronia! Stop! Don't! <laughs> get out of my way! Get away from her! <sighs> supposed to do stop it all of you you're no better than us ah! Ah! hey do you think you can run can you run good girl now go get as far away from here as you can but don't go to the city here, use this key. You can get to Labyrinthos from the forest. Go back to your family. You understand? Good. Now go! Yourself. Feb died to save you. Now stand up. Damn it. Damn it. Xion. What? Realians can share information, right? Yes, they're capable of sharing the information from individual units. Xion's in danger. I have to save her. The girl! I gave her the key to the old gate to Labrinthos and sent her running. They probably sent that information to the others. I have to catch up to her. She's in danger. Okay, grab onto me. Thanks. Virgil, why did you decide to help Xion? Is there something strange about that? I'm a soldier, but I'm still human. I have a heart. I'm not like those Realian cannibals. Oh. What's wrong? Take this. What is it? It's the Realian self-destruct code. Uh, how do you have that? I can't tell you that, but it could come in handy. Only use it as a last resort. All right. Damn it! They're already enemies in front! Damn, it's them! Xion, we're surrounded. Xion, this way. There are fewer enemies in front. We'll break through. Xion, hurry! Just a little further. Hang in there. Leave me behind. I'm in no shape to run. I'm just gonna slow you down. Come on, Virgil. Don't quit on me. We both know that's not like you. <laughs> Not like me, huh? You got that right! <gasps> Virgil! What are you doing? Open up the door now! Please! Just promise that you'll protect her. <laughs> Don't be stupid, Virgil! You are coming with us! You know something? Even after all of this, I never got your name. Ah! <gasps> <gasps> 
बच्चा नहो। They did a number on her, huh? Now she's just an object. Oh wait, she was already just a tool to begin with. How can you say that? She was trying to protect you! She decided to do that on her own, and then died on her own. Why should I be responsible? Virgil! What about you? You love to go on about Realian rights, but you gave me that code. What made you change your mind? I... I wanted to save you, so I... So you decided to off the Realians? No! It's not like that. What are you embarrassed about? That's basic human instinct. Humans are driven by impulse to destroy. Destruction serves as a way to feel out others and confirm your own existence. Then, you try to find atonement to comfort yourself after you're unable to deny your instincts. I tried to live exactly like that. And you've lived for that same purpose. You disassembled realians and dreamed of giving consciousness to inorganic matter, comforting yourself for the hatred towards your father and anger over your mother's death. You're doing things you don't want to do just to escape your own feelings of guilt. Hypocrite. The word doesn't even begin to describe you. Be more true to yourself. What makes you think you understand me? Oh, I understand you. Because you and I are the same kind of person. What is it that drives you? <gasps> That's right. Revenge. Only revenge drives you and me, and that's the truth. Ideals crumble easily. Hope is like a mist before the morning sunrise of reality. That's exactly how I was. But then I learned. Nothing will change. There is a limit to will. The limit of this world in which everything is closed. Yes, that is what all of us came to understand. Stop! I don't want to hear anymore! Virgil, you protected me as a child, and now... Why do you do these things to tear at my heart? Why do you testaments appear before me? Why won't you leave me alone? Come on, that's not what you really feel. You're glad I still exist. You're happy he still exists. No, no, I... Come, come and you will see. Then choose. Choose what you truly desire. You met him. He's with us. I don't understand. He was a testament. I can't just suddenly accept that. That's not what your will is saying. Your heart throbs for him. You feel passion for him. You want to see him, don't you? He wants to see you, too. Stop it! Stop talking to me! Xion, you mustn't listen to him! Don't be foolish. This doesn't concern you. Just keep quiet and stay out of my way! Xion anymore. Wait, what is this? Just who the hell do you think you are, showing up now? Oh, Feb. <laughs> Louis, why do you reject the truth? You can't change anything unless you accept who you really are. You're the same as those who lost their bodies and wander aimlessly. <laughs> You're no different either. You're just like me. 
now that you've lost your body. Please, you must accept who you really are. You don't hate anyone. You just want to reject yourself because you can't feel hatred. You don't know anything about me! But I do understand you. And you have come to understand us realians as well. <laughs> and this was the result. Yeah, I came to understand all right. I understand how pointless it all is. Enough talking! Do you really think that I'm still hanging on to you? I feel nothing for any of you realians. That's not true. And you know it, Lewis. You have returned to this place for a reason. You chose to become a testament so you could return here. Because this moment proved who you once were. This is my reason? This is my proof? Don't make me laugh. I regret absolutely nothing. I am here precisely because I have finally accepted myself and this world. Those of you who reject this world, you could never understand. We do not reject this world. We just want to believe in a new order that can be born from discord. We just want to believe that a single thought can change the entire world and shape the future. That is just wishful thinking. You're only clinging to what little hope you have left. Anything can come true, if you wish for it to. Didn't our relationship prove that, Lewis? You died and left me! I have nothing to say to you! I know. You have suffered. My death tied your consciousness to this place. But I want to help you, Lewis. I want to free you from this cursed place forever. Just leave me alone! You're already dead, Fabronia! Although my body is dead, I am still here with you. I am right beside you. There's no reason for you to suffer. But I... I couldn't even save you. No. You're wrong. You did save me. You taught me that by sharing all of our feelings that we would be able to change the world. And that alone was more than enough. Do you hate me? None of this would have ever happened. If you hadn't gotten involved, why did you have to? Why? It's too much to bear. All I want, all I really want, is for you. Let's go now, Louis. She can show us the way to a future for both humans and realians. No, Fab, wait! What am I... What am I supposed to do now? Xion, I know it may be painful for you, but the time has come now for you to decide that for yourself. Don't worry. Keep carrying on. Just carry out what you believe in your heart. Have faith. Believe in yourself. Open your heart because she's right beside you. Sam! Please don't go! Sam! No! I don't understand anything anymore! Thank you. She... Shion. Jin? Shion, stand up. I know you're in pain, but right now we have to save the girl. 
We have to save you. Yeah. To stop them. It's okay. It's okay now. <laughs> Wait. Where are you going? Mom, it's Daddy and Mom are in the hospital. <laughs> Please save Mom. We will. Let's go save her together. Shion? We can't leave her alone now, like this. Besides, no one understands this girl's feelings better than... No matter what happens, I'll protect her. Is it happening again? I I'm okay. It's not a big deal. We have to hurry to the hospital and rescue Mom. Xion, wait! Don't go alone! Is this the result you wanted, Sellers? What are you doing here, old man? Don't tell me you came here to stop this now. Lemagetan, the words of God, must not be recited. It isn't what we believed it was. But it can activate the Zohar. The analysis of the Zohar is incomplete. We must determine why it exists in this universe, or there will be no future for us. Surely even you know what will happen if you use it now in its incomplete state. Heinlein doesn't care. It doesn't matter what happens to this planet, as long as we obtain the data. Or are you going to lecture to me, you who created this system? <sighs> No longer be stopped. It has all begun. Federation soldiers are already inside. I've got to hurry. Shia. That's a twenty seven series Osura. Xion! Xion! Just hurry up! Daddy! What are you doing? Daddy! Open the door! Jin! Jin! Damn it! He's not responding! Jin! If you receive this message, please come back at once! Save Xion! Hurry, there's not much time. Please, you've got to hurry. Jin!
They've already attacked. No. Cosmos, can you detect Xion? I detect life signs inside the room. One matches those of Xion. In addition, there are three realians of an unidentified type. years ago what we're seeing is not the past this is a reality that didn't exist Abel's Ark that thing that appeared at Milsha a year ago but why appear here now that's why they brought she on here this world isn't the world of the past it's a reality constructed inside of Xion's mind. By temporarily restoring the consciousness of people from the past, they're using Xion to correct in the present what they were unable to accomplish in the past. Yes. Everything was supposed to begin here. But in order to awaken Abel, the resonance of the power between them was necessary. 
the Gnosis that attacked Milsha in the past, did not arrive because of Mizrahi, nor Albedo's link to Udu. No. They were called by Shion when she was a child. guy who designed Cosmos? Yes, but why? He was Xion's boyfriend? But that's a testament! K Kevin! Is it really you? Yes, it's me. What's wrong? Have you forgotten my face? No, I haven't forgotten. I've never once forgotten. But why are you... I've come for you, Xi'an. Kevin, tell me. Why did you hide yourself all this time? Why are you a testament? I needed power. That is why I took this form. But what I look like is not important. It's still me. Nothing has changed. But the Kevin in this time, he sacrificed all those people, all those Realians to research the Zohar. Even my mother. I had no choice. I'm sorry I made you suffer. But you must understand that it was all done for you. For me? This? Are you saying all of this was for me? It was all for you. I was always thinking about you. Come with me. I need you, Xion. Kevin. Who the hell do you think you are? You've got no right to come here and open up her wounds! And you're saying it's all for her benefit? Silence! This is none of your concern! It sure as hell is my concern! Don't you understand? None of you can save Xion. What do you mean? I hope you can explain yourself. Jean Uzuki. I'm sure you've already realized what's happening to Xion's body. That's right. She's suffering from the same illness as her mother. <gasps> Xi'an, you have an ability that others lack. But that power will eventually cost you your life. That's the reason for your recent headaches. I have the same illness as Mom? If you know that much, then naturally you must know the cause as well. While differing somewhat in the strength of their power, the test subjects assembled in this facility all possess the same ability as Xion. The subjects are capable of communicating with Udu. They can convey their will to Udu. Communicating with Udu? Yes, but that leads to their own death. The test subjects' wills are unable to stand the stress of direct contact with Udu. And they eventually fall into a coma and die. Then why didn't you make them stop the experiments? If you cut off the contact with Udu, wouldn't their illness stop? You don't have to force them to talk with Udu! You can't! Huh? You can't cut off contact with Udu! He's watching us from another realm. You can't run away from him. Udu chooses to make contact? Are you saying those waves have a will? Don't you see, Xi'an? I became a testament to save you. Without this form, without this power, I can't save you. The only ones that can save you are me and Telos. Telos? Telos is gonna save the Chief? Wait a minute, then what the hell is Cosmos? You designed her too! Cosmos is just a prototype built to collect data for Telos, and to monitor Xion. Cosmos is a prototype? Is that why you tried to dispose of her? Yes, Cosmos grew too close to Xion. The source of Cosmos' power comes from Udu, by using the Zohar as a door. 
every time Cosmos uses her abilities. Xion, who reacts to Udu, loses her life force. The closer Xion and Cosmos' wills come together, the greater the stress on Xion. Cosmos is shortening Chief's lifespan? You mean... Cosmos is going to kill me? Xi'an, I want you to come with me. If things progress as they have been, then you'll have no future. This is the only way to save you. Please listen, Xi'an. I don't want... I don't want to lose you again. Kevin... I... I understand. It's all right. I'm right here with you. Oh, Kevin. I'm happy. I'm so happy to see you again. I missed you so much. I thought that I'd never see you again. And yet, here you are. So I... 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 I promise you that... I'll never leave you again. We'll always be together. Oh, Kevin! Oh, Jin! What are you doing? I don't understand. Xi'an, I apologize, but I cannot allow you to leave here with him. What he's telling you right now may seem plausible enough. However, I don't believe it. I don't believe that he can be trusted. Jin Uzuki. What are you saying, Jin? You've got to stop it! This is Kevin. He's the man I loved from the bottom of my heart. No, he isn't. He's not the same anymore. He is no longer a human. No! You're wrong! He's the same as he always was. He's the same man that I always knew. He's still my Kevin! Damn it! Tell me why. Why are you all interfering? Xion, get back. Cosmos, take Xion and run away. Cosmos, don't do it. Come to me. Bring Xion here. Cosmos, no, don't do it. Cosmos. Kevin Winnicott, I am very sorry. But, unfortunately, I am not programmed to follow your orders. Are you trying to defy your creator? The cosmos that was created by you has been destroyed by Telos, sir. I have different designers, Xi'an Uzuki and also Mr. Alan Ridgely. Impossible! Xi'an, we will leave now. No, Cosmos, stop! I don't want to go with you! <gasps> I must apologize. Action was needed to avoid danger. Cosmos! You think you can run? Stop, Telos. There's no need to chase them. We'll have plenty of opportunities. Return now. Captain! It's Cosmos! She's headed this way on the bike! Are they alone? Stop the ship! We'll pick them up! Captain, I'm boarding the ship. Please maintain your current position. Don't do anything crazy. This ship is delicate. 
Scratch it and you're gonna pay for it. I will do my best. Cosmos and Xi'an are now on board! Captain, all of the others are still currently inside of Labyrinthos. Don't worry. Tony, can you handle it? Who do you think you're talking to? This is gonna be a piece of cake! Mizrahi, what are you doing? Don't be stupid. If you do that, we may lose control of the Zohar. I know, but this is the only way to stop this phenomenon. I must save the universe, even if it means destroying this planet. Are you crazy? Stop! You and the others are the ones who don't realize what you're doing. That thing is beyond human control. Are you upset because you failed to revive your daughter? Failed? It's true that I was unable to bring my daughter back to life, but a new potential was born. For that, I will. Stop! Mizrahi! Watch closely. This is how I take my responsibility. Mizrahi! Momo. I made a conscious decision to sacrifice this planet and its inhabitants to you. My sins will certainly never be forgiven. But if it means you will be born into a peaceful world, then so be it. I will gladly throw myself into the fires of hell. Hallelujah! And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. And death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged, every man, according to their works. And death and hell were cast. They were cast into the lake of fire. And with it came about the second death. And whosoever not found in the book of life was cast into the lake of eternal fire. Sakura, I doubt I will go where you are. You will probably admonish me for that which I have done. Hmm? Who's there? Yuli. I'm sorry. Please take care of Momo. Please take care of our child. This isn't good. The whole facility is about to collapse. Yes, you're right. Let's get out of here. What about Xion? There's Xion!
It appears that the first awakening has gone smoothly. Yes. The remaining vessels of Anima will follow shortly. The vessels of Anima are the body of God, divided by the saint in ancient times to protect the universe from dissipation. We cannot allow the universe's failsafe to become active. We must control the body of God with our own hands. I understand. We shall return everything to the moment of beginning. Okay? Yeah, everything seems fine. Hammer! Hurry up and give us a damage report and our current position! Roger! Huh? Uh, uh. Abel's Ark. What's going on? I thought it disappeared along with the past Milsha just a moment ago. Hammer, where the hell are we? Coordinates confirmed. We're at point KZ255Y724. It's the same point where we came in contact with the hypersphere. What? UMN column pulse received. Time axis confirmed. We're in the present. Then we were never really... Right. We were trapped in the world of Xi'an's subconscious this whole time, in order to awaken that. The thing they were unable to accomplish in the past. That's why they needed the power of both Xi'ans. Captain, there's a powerful energy wave coming from Abel's Ark. What? Shockwave incoming! What the? the... The planet is... Evil's Ark is initiating transfer! Is it gone? Captain, there's a transmission from the Durandal! What? The Durandal's here? Yes, sir. Looks like it's nearby. They say they've spotted us and they're gonna pick us up. They're okay, right? Yeah, they're fine. Okay, let's go ahead and join up with them. We've detected the Elsa signature. Range to rendezvous point is 400. What about the unknown that appeared moments ago? It's currently moving through the UMN. A unique wave is being emitted from the columns as it passes through. The disappearing planets are likely the result of those waves. What kind of waves? They're similar to the vibration patterns emitted when Gnosis come in contact with humans. Are you saying it's a synchronicity chain phenomenon? The disappearance phenomenon is expanding. At its current rate, half of the Federation will vanish within 72 hours. Unbelievable. Have you identified the moving object? No, but this waveform matches the giant Gnosis that appeared at Old Milsha one year ago. That giant Gnosis? That thing they call Abel's Ark. According to the description in Mizrahi's Y data, Abel's Ark seeks the eternal circle, Zarathustra. Then there's only one place it can be going. Planet Mictum. Federation planets are disappearing one after another, just as described in the Y data. The release of Lamagetan has awakened Abel. When Abel awakes, his cradle, the Ark, shall appear. It shall seek the Eternal Circle. 
And true to those words, the Zohar has become active. I can feel it. Abel, just who is that child? You could say he's an old friend from the time when I was a UMN space pilot. He was always in an isolated facility, though, so I only met him directly a few times. That was several hundred years ago, and he has never changed the entire time. It's nothing to be surprised about. After all, I've existed for hundreds of years myself. His existence is recorded in Mizrahi's Y data, is essential for controlling Omega. He does act as a mediator to the Zohar waves, but the record itself is thousands of years old. And Mizrahi restored it. Which means that boy has existed since that era. It's outside the realm of normal comprehension. Right now, he is an indispensable partner to me. He is the control device for Omega, the one weapon that can challenge God. Once I retrieve its power source, the Zohar, and obtain Zarathustra, the final artifact needed to ascend to the realm of God. Do you seriously intend to fight God? You'll see soon enough. doing, Margulis? No orders have been issued to move the fleet. They have Omega. And now this. It's the unknown entity currently moving through the UMN. It's Abel's Ark. Abel's Ark? The object that was said to appear when the Messiah was crucified? Do you see where it's headed? It's Mictum. Why is this thing that appeared at Old Milsha a year ago heading for Mictum now? That I don't know. But the Federation Salvatore faction is headed for Mictum as well. Do you think that's just a coincidence? There's something there on that planet. And that's why you're taking the fleet? So that planet is more than just our birthplace? Zarathustra. The Blessed Saint's womb. It is said to be vital for the return to Lost Jerusalem. Mictum, or Abraxas, was the planet where the worshippers of the Saint landed. The Y data we obtained from the Federation also supports it. You believe Zarathustra lies on Mictum? Yes. And if so, we cannot allow them to intrude upon that land. Even if it means disobeying the orders of His Eminence? Hmm. Shion, what fills your heart? Is it fear, sadness, or joy? I don't know. I don't understand myself. Are you afraid? What are you afraid of? Why? Are you afraid? Are you afraid of being isolated from the world? Are you afraid of people rejecting you? Are you afraid of your eventual death? Afraid. I'm afraid. I'm afraid of being alone. What does it mean to be alone? Is it more terrifying than death? Why does your face show such an expression? I don't know. I don't understand anything. Help me. Please, someone help me. Tell me who I am. Kevin, what should I do? Am I just going to disappear from this world, unable to do anything? Kevin. Jin. Jin, why? Why didn't you let me go? 
Why did you get in my way? If I'd gone with Kevin, I might have been able to be happy. Do you really think so? What do you know? You don't know anything about him. I'm going to die. Like Mom. Are you saying you don't care? Don't be stupid. No brother wants to see his sister die. Then... Then don't interfere. Let me go to Kevin. Don't take anything else from me. Shion. Get out! Is it all right for you to leave the room? Completely pathetic. Currently, Xi'an's mental balance is in an extremely unstable state. That is the likely cause of her attitude towards you. Given time, she should return to her original mental state. That's not what I mean. I'm pathetic for being unable to help Xi'an when she needs me the most. I might as well be a stranger. I'm unable to do anything for her as her brother, Cosmos. Not that I believe the words of that testament, but it might really be for the best to remove you from Xion. But right now, you are the only one who can save her. Please, help Xion. Cosmos! Are you all right, Xion? Cosmos, was what Kevin said true? Are you going to kill me? There is no connection between my current system and your life functions. Nevertheless, given that those are words from Kevin Winnicott, the system designer, we cannot be certain if they should be ignored. At the present time, I am restricted from taking actions that would jeopardize your life. Why do you protect me, Cosmos? Protecting Vector employees is registered in my program as a matter of high priority. That's not it. You tried to protect me specifically. I didn't program any priority like that. Xi'an, protecting you is registered as my highest priority. Is Kevin the one who programmed that? I do not know. I can determine that it is a direct interrupt from my core module and independent of my control program. Your core? Are you saying your heart wants to protect me? My heart? I am unable to determine that. I guess you can't know that. I don't know what I should do. It's not that I want to give Jin a hard time. And it's not that I don't trust my friends. I know that you and Jin and everyone on the Elsa are worried about me. But isn't everyone really thinking that I'm a dangerous burden? I'm the one who led our universe to destruction. If I die, the Gnosis might disappear. Isn't everyone wishing that would happen? I'm afraid. I'm so scared. No one's gonna save me. If everyone abandons me, I... Will you always stay with me? I don't want to be alone, Cosmos. Help me, Kevin. Xion, don't reject everything. If you stay like this, you'll wind up alone. What do you want? Are you here to say a bunch of cryptic things again and confuse me? You're always like that. You just appear in front of me, say whatever you feel like, then just watch without actually doing anything. It's true that he needs you, but he doesn't necessarily seek the same thing that you seek from him. The salvation he brings might not make you happy. Even if that's true, I still want to see him. I want to talk with him. If you go to him, you will have to choose. The choice you have to make will be difficult and painful for you. Do you still wish to? Yes, I still do. I need Kevin, just like he needs me. What Kevin wants is Abel, the Zohar, and you and Cosmos. Abel is currently being used as part of the Omega system to realize Dmitri Yuryev's ambition. Set Abel free from his curse. If you do, Kevin will appear before you once again. So that
That's what happened when we were away. We've received reports that Federation and Ormus advance forces began fighting approximately three hours ago in the space surrounding Mictum. What's happening with the planetary disappearances? Approximately half of all Galaxy Federation planets have disappeared at this point. So, your assumption is that Abel's Ark is causing this phenomenon? What's the Ark doing now? Abel's Ark has appeared in normal space. It appears to be heading for Mictum as we surmised. The Merkaba appears to be pursuing Abel's Ark. Estimated time of contact is 1730. Not even two hours from now, damn that bastard! Well, there you go. What do you think my old man's up to, Helmer? Dimitri won't make it easy for us to find out what he's planning. But even if we don't know how much of the current situation he predicted, if he's brought out the Merkaba and obtained Omega, then there's only one thing he's after. The original Zohar swallowed by the Ark! That's why he wanted Omega and Abel, and whatever is sleeping on Mictum. Do you think his goal is to wipe out Ormus? Nah, I don't think that's it. Dad probably isn't even concerned with Ormus anymore. Dad was. He had an extreme fear of Voodoo. Everything he does seems to be rooted in that fear. And when he got the Y data, he found what he wanted. A way to conquer his fear. Hmm. Are you still unable to make contact with the representative trustee? Yes. Communication with Fifth Jerusalem has been cut off since the appearance of Abel's Ark. The planetary disappearance is already spreading. It's no surprise we can't make contact. The situation is grave here on Milsha as well. We're launching escape ships one after another, but we don't know if we'll make it in time. And for that matter, we don't know if the planetary disappearance phenomenon affects us as well. You humans are hopeless. It's times like this when you should be working together. What you're saying is sad but true, Kanan. We're using most of the Milshan fleet as escape ships, so we don't have any left to aid you. This will probably be my last communication with you as well. Helmer. I'll need you to operate under your own judgment. Do what you think is best. I apologize for asking so much of you, even up to the very end. Committee member Mizrahi, please take care of the rest. The transmission from Milsha has ended. Damn it! What are you hesitating for? Shion, are you all right? Yes, I feel fine. But you shouldn't push yourself after what just happened. Are you sure you want me around? Because you know I might call the Gnosis again, or maybe run off to join the enemy. Of course not. Everyone's worried about your health. I know my own body better than anyone. You can stop worrying. Shia. This isn't the time to be arguing about this, is it? If Dimitri Yuriev is trying to use the Zohar for his own purpose, we have to find out what it is. Once it's already happened, it'll be too late. Yeah, I know. Shion, right now we need all the help we can get. Are you gonna be all right? How many times do I have to say it? I'm fine. Okay, we'll launch the Elsa as soon as we gate out. We'll pass through the fighting between the Federation and Ormus to get to the Merkaba. There, we'll secure Omega and Dimitri Yuria who should be at the center. The Duranda will stand by for support in the rear. All hands! Prepare to move out! and ignoring Federation law. Not only are the Ormus our enemy, but the Federation fleet and the Gnosis as well. 
It shouldn't be a problem with your skill, should it? I have high expectations for you. Gee, thanks. Tony, we're on! Leave it to me! Time to start the show! Looking for someone? I'm sorry, but I don't think you'll find the results you desire here. Dr. Sellers? I see. So you're the one behind Yuriev. I thought you'd been currying favor with Ormus. Why are you back with Yuriev? I don't care what the vessel is. I will make use of all available options to obtain what I desire. I've always built my own path. Do you realize how many innocent people you've dragged into your schemes? You're no different, you are, TV. How many comrades did you sacrifice so that you could live? I... Exactly. To accomplish great things, it's only natural to ignore trivial sacrifices. But I was still unable to reach the level of that man. Everything I built was nothing more than pale imitations. Why? How much of a difference could there be between him and me? No, perhaps this is exactly the difference between us. In the end, I too was that man's pale imitation. Sorry, but we don't have time to listen to an old man's ramblings. Where's my father? How should I know? You should be able to tell without asking me, shouldn't you? You are TV. What do you mean? You URTVs are connected to each other, right? Then just search to see where your comrade is now. Guinan? No, it can't be! Hmm. So, you really didn't know what 669's real purpose was. His real purpose? URTVs 668 and 669. Their real purpose was to destroy Unit 666. The Red Dragon. You. Uh. And the final model, 669, also had an additional purpose. The rebirth of Dmitry Yuriev. What? A large number of designer children were created. For the live transfer experiments of organic beings during the early stages of the UMN. Dmitry Yuriev was one of them. That man is the original Salvatore. My father is the original Salvatore? He's the only one who ever returned alive from the transfer experiments. He made contact with Udu within the UMN and was overcome with fear. But in exchange, he also gained a special power. The same one that all URTVs have. The ability to transfer his mind to others. <gasps> 669, Nigredo, was born to be Yuriev's vessel. In order to overcome his fear of Udu, Dimitri continues to live to this day by mental transfer. And once he obtained the Y data, he found the method to defeat the fear. Fortunately, your people took very good care of one of the things necessary to accomplish that. The Zohar emulators. Mizrahi didn't create the emulators just for decoration. In each one is a record of 
the wave pattern data of its corresponding vessel of anima. They're like an ignition laser for activating the original. Damn! He's after the Durandal! <laughs> of course. It's too late for you to do anything about it. You're insane! Insane? Oh, but of course. You can't change the world without a little insanity. <laughs> Damn you to hell! Don't get all excited. I have no intention of fighting you. My role was merely to buy time. That's all I can do, after all. Now get out of here. Or would you rather stay and be absorbed by Abel's arm? It's a waste of time, Junior. He's beyond reason. We need to get out of here. Confirmed. The Elsa escaped from the Merkaba. Gate out detected in the region in front of us. It's Omega. What was that? Occupying the bridge is our highest priority. Seize everyone in command. You may dispose of the rest of the crew as you like. Enemy forces have invaded blocks 32 and 34. Hurry up and close the barrier walls. Close all the walls in each of the blocks. I can't. The locks have all been overridden. The enemy forces have already reached the residential area. Shelly, what is going on? Only command ranking officers know how to open the gates during an emergency. Have we been hacked? No, there's nothing wrong with the system. Then what's going on here? The only ones who can release the locks are Little Master and Master Guinan, and us! Yes, Pieta has acknowledged that the intruder is Master Guinan. No way! Oh, Master Guinan! Why are you here? Well done. You've done a good job in my absence. Now get some well-deserved rest. Uh, Mary! Uh. Gaiden Kokai! What are you doing?! I certainly didn't expect to see you here, Uni. Mizrahi. Dmitry Yuryev! Hello. Or should I say, pleased to meet you. Mary and Shelley Godwin. Oh! That body. Is it Master Guinan's? This body's quite convenient. Once I got used to it, it was extremely easy to use. As you can see, this ship is already under Salvatore's control. What do you think you're doing? This ship is under the jurisdiction of the Milshin government! Yes, this action is in violation of the Federation Charter. It will be dealt with appropriately by the Milshin government. Do as you please. Though I doubt Helmer has that kind of power left. <laughs> I'd like to put an end to this without making you suffer. But I'm afraid that's not an option. There are things I need you to tell me. What do you want? The Arbiter Code. <sighs> it's inside you, isn't it? That Helmer, he truly is something. Hiding the release code inside such cute young ladies. 
you. We don't know anything. And even if we did, we aren't about to tell you. <laughs> Please don't waste your time. Besides, I think you've forgotten something. If you damage this body, then you'll lose your precious master. You're a URTV. It's nice to meet you. I am number 668. But you can call me Citrine. Lovely, isn't she? Her abilities are equal to and on par with those of Negredo. I trust you understand what that means. It would be a shame to have to see those beautiful faces twisted in pain now, wouldn't it? So I do hope that you're prepared to talk voluntarily. <laughs> What's the status of the Durandal? Not good. It's probably been captured by Omega and the Federation fleet. They were caught totally off guard. They didn't have a chance to counterattack. Their ally attacked them without warning. It is not surprising. Have there been any calls from the Durandal? We're calling them, but there's no response. It'd be best to assume the bridge has already been occupied. That bastard wouldn't take action for no reason. He must be after the Zohar emulators. Captain, turn us back toward the Durandal. Wait a minute, little master. Omega's right there. I know, but we have to go. I can't abandon them. say anything to me right now. I'm not cool-headed enough to keep calm after seeing something like this. I know. This time, even I'm going to get emotional. I can't stay quiet after what they've done. Yeah. First, we'll rescue the survivors. Let's go! Little Master! Mary! You're okay! Wait, did they... It's nothing. Just a scratch. Don't worry about it. Mommy! Momo, I'm so glad to see you. Thank goodness. You're okay. Momo, don't worry about me. Please tend to Mary's injury. Oh, right. Please show me the wound. What's happening on the ship? How many survived? You've probably seen for yourselves, but we were wiped out before we could fight back. Where's Shelly? Don't tell me she's... No, Shelly's safe. She's likely held prisoner in another location. I'm sorry I put you through this. Don't apologize. We knew you'd come. We always believe in you. Good girl. The Elsa's in the dock. Can you make it that far? Of course. You don't have to worry about us. Save Shelly, little master. Don't worry. Leave it to me. Yuli, please take care of Mary. I will. All of you be careful, too. Little Master. Shelly, are you okay? I'm fine, but the Arbiter Code has fallen into enemy hands. I'm sorry. I failed to stop them. Don't blame yourself. None of you did anything wrong. Yuriev is likely headed to the isolated hangar to release the seals on the emulators. I overwrote the gate ID, 
But it's only a matter of time before it's broken. Don't worry, I'll stop them! The Elsa's in the dock! Kanan, escape and take her there! Understood. Be careful, little master. Right! Don't worry! Hello, number 666. It's been a long time. Huh? Junior? C citrine I'm so happy to see you. You're the only comrade I have left. Comrade? She's a URTV as well. Yes, female type number 668, Citrine. She's a variant URTV like us. If you're on guard here, then Dad must be inside. And if he is, I won't let you interfere with Father. Are you an idiot? Don't you understand what's going on? If we don't stop him, this entire universe will be in danger! You're the one who doesn't understand, Rubido. Have you forgotten our duty? Our mission is to destroy Udu. It doesn't matter what happens to the universe as long as we accomplish that. So Dad plans to use the power of the emulators and the original to destroy Udu? A failure who's forgotten his role as a weapon and abandoned his duty has no right to speak to me. Citrine, stop! I don't want to lose any more of my comrades! Comrades? You abandoned us. You're no comrade to us. Citrine! I forgot to mention, but I have one more duty. I have the power to destroy the Red Dragon, just like Negredo. Do you think you can defeat me? Why were we born? For what reason do we exist? Answer me, Rubido. You betrayed your comrades. You killed your brother. Why are you still alive? To keep my promise. Your promise? Yes. The reason I exist is to keep the promise I made. You're still haunted by that woman's shadow. I pity you. Citrine! What could that alarm be? That bastard! He activated the emulators! <laughs> so, they disposed of Citrine. What is it? Oh, I see. You're sad. You had a connection to that unit. But that's nothing more than an illusion. You are weapons. You see, you're nothing more than one of my parts. You don't need any meaningless emotions. Anything more is completely unnecessary. Behold this glorious picture. My revenge will begin. My time of victory against his terror has finally come. <laughs> you filthy bastard! Stop the emulators now! Is that you, Rubido? It's been a long time, hasn't it? I must say I've missed you. Listen, we both know what'll happen if you even think about touching those. Give back Guinan's body and get the hell out of here! Oh, I am so disappointed in you, Rubido. This circumstance is your fault entirely. There's no one else to blame but yourself, and I'm afraid I've been forced to take matters into my own hands. Since those incomplete units failed their mission 15 years ago. My fault? Oh yeah? Are you planning on using the emulators in Omega to destroy Udu? No, no, it isn't that sort of thing. Nothing can ever destroy Udu. I guess you really don't understand the reasons why I am here. All right then, fine! Why are you here? In ancient times, people used to be together with God. People loved God, revered, and even feared God. Out of fear of the undying God, they sought divine power. This was a way for the ancients to resist Him. Eventually, they found a method to become gods themselves. We have revived their relics, the Merkaba and the Zohar emulators, as well as Mizrahi's Y data, which holds the records left behind by the ancients. This holds the instructions so that we may become gods once again. You see, Udu is a god of this dimension. If in fact God cannot be destroyed, 
then we shall be the ones to become gods ourselves. Farewell, my son. I must go now. Remember your great father. Damn it! Momo, can we stop the emulators? No, we can't. The controls are destroyed. There's no way to stop them. The ship is moving. The Durandal's beginning to turn. That means it's heading for the Ark. Damn it! Dad's gonna ram the ship and the emulators right into the Ark! Now what? We'll purge the dock and escape. It's gonna be rough, but we don't have any choice. Let's go! It's no good, little master! The remote control isn't working! We can't perform it from here! Then we'll just have to do it by hand! That's insane! A regular person would be caught up in the explosion caused by the purge! Hey, there's someone outside! It's Chaos and Cosmos! What is she doing? Cosmos, now! Tony, come on! Break through now! Yeah, yeah, got it! Once rightfully mine. Enormous gravity deviation from inside. It is not a gnosis. It is likely caused by surplus energy leaking from Omega after absorbing the Zohar. It's an astounding amount of energy. With energy of this colossal magnitude, I guess his talk of joining the rank of gods may not have been a bluff. Does he really intend on becoming a god? Omega's awakening is confirmed. So it would seem. For the shift to the higher dimension, Yuriev will likely attempt to absorb Zarathustra. This may cause some effect on the system. That is not the only function of Zarathustra. The measures I've taken are not recorded in the Y data. The information he obtained is incomplete. Let us watch over the proceedings. He's a truly fascinating human being. In order to conquer his fear, he chooses to absorb that fear and become that fear himself. Shall we send Albedo for the retrieval? He wants to go, doesn't he? It's what he's always desired. It will also work out well for the awakening of the vessels of Anima. 
It will take a little more time before she awakens. In the meantime, let's enjoy the entertainment. Morgulus! What is it? Your Eminence, our fleet has already sunk 70% of the Federation fleet. All that remains is to await your order. Give us the order to attack the Ark. Morgulus, I don't even recall giving you an order to move the fleet. Why should we stand by and watch while the original Zohar is right before our eyes? Dmitry Yuryev has already taken action. We can't just hand it over without any protest. Know your place, Margulis. Just follow my orders. But... That is all, Margulis. You are not permitted to touch the Ark. Pull back the fleet and leave Nictum. Your Eminence. What does this mean? Is he saying to give up on the Zohar? I don't know. But don't you feel as if something has been out of place ever since Ren Le Chateau appeared? It's as if we are no longer acting for our own objectives, but for some other will. Are you insinuating that His Eminence is betraying Ormus? Such insolence will not be forgiven. Even for you, Chief Inquisitor. I am aware of that, but still... I know we have to do something, but just how are we supposed to get close to that thing? We don't even know the enemy's location. What part do you want me to stick this ship in? How about you stop talking and use your heads a little? Indeed. You've got all these people here and yet none of them are useful. Doctus, why are you... Who's that? She's an extremely skilled Scientia agent. Oh, is that you, Jin? You have the same enigmatic expression on your face you always do. And I see you haven't changed either. It's rather unusual for you to show your face here. I contacted her. What? Why would you contact someone like her? My, are you sure you want to be that rude to me? You'll regret it later. She has a plan that can solve our current dilemma. That's why I called her. What plan? A way to get inside that thing. Huh? It's simple. You just need to gate out inside of it. That way you can infiltrate it and no one can stop you. A short jump within the same signal? Can that be done at this short a range? If it's us, yes. Even if we do that, we don't know where Dad is. You should be able to tell where Guinan is. Right, you are TV. I gave my gift to that Realian. The rest is up to you. Don't disappoint me now. Momo, analyze this. This is the gate-out interference program that Skientia uses. With this, we can ignore the signal and dive out by force. Well, isn't she clever? So we use this to get dead, huh? Okay, Hammer, replace the gate jump program. We don't have much time. Get it ready now! Kanan, we have to move out right away. What is it? Are you checking something out? Chaos, have you ever wondered why you exist? One's reason for existing. That's a difficult question. I'd like to think it's for the people I care about. For everyone. But my existence doesn't necessarily mean people will be happy. Yes. Sometimes just existing can hurt others. Chaos. You know, don't you? That I am such an existence. You remember? Yes. With the information on Program Kanan. And all this data. There's no way I wouldn't remember. Codename Lactus. Yes. That's my reason for existence. But you didn't desire that. It's not by your own will. You're not responsible. Even if it's all happening in my subconscious, it's still my responsibility. I was created for that purpose. To reject Program Kanan is to reject my own existence. 
You could hide who you are and continue to live. But that's not the answer you seek, is it? Correct. I cannot deny myself. I am a Realian. The only one who can give me a reason to exist is the one who created me. Chaos. If only that had been you. What should I do now? Kanan. Transfer column signal confirmed. Initiating jump now. What is this place? A dead end? No. I can feel his waves from inside. Dad's ahead, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. But we can't proceed like this. We have to think of a way. Wait! I sense the Zohar emulator waveform from those four spears. Emulators are inside those spears? Yes. The effects of the emulators are likely causing space to bend. That is blocking our path. So if we shut those down, then we'll be able to keep going? I think that might be possible. <laughs> that bastard had to make this hard. Hang on, Guinan! I'm coming for you! What is this? I feel an incredible amount of energy. The entire room is resonating with the emulators. How does it look? Is there a way to shut them down? Hang on! I'll check it out! Resonation seems to have stopped as well. Momo? Yes. The spatial distortion is steadily returning to normal. Okay, let's go stop all the remaining emulators. Resonating again? No, this is... They're not resonating with us. They're resonating with the original Zohar that lies ahead. Resonating with the original Zohar? You sure this is safe? I don't know, but the waves from the Zohar are definitely getting stronger. This phenomenon is probably being caused by... My damn father! In other words, we should assume that the Zohar has fallen into the Mitri Uriel's hands. The planetary disappearance seems to be accelerating as the Zohar's power is released. 
It will eventually cover the entire Galaxy Federation. We have to stop him before that happens. Yeah, we'll stop him. And we'll get Guinan back, too. So, you finally made it. The powers I gave you must not amount to much, my dear son. What the hell are you thinking doing something like this? Your father is trying to take responsibility for the mistakes you children made. You should be grateful to me and stop complaining. Grateful? If you're not gonna stop, I'll make you stop! Oh? You're going to raise your hand against your own creator? I'm impressed you have the nerve. Shut up! Stop this monster now! Or I'll kill you! Are you sure? Your dear brother is inside me, you know. Guinan! Is your consciousness still there? Guinan! Can you hear me? You're wasting your time. His consciousness is deep inside me. Your voice won't reach him. Unlike you, this son has served me well. Although I admit I was surprised when he killed me. Do you realize how much blood has been spilled for your selfish ambition? Return Guinan to normal! It doesn't matter. It has all been a sacred sacrifice, so that I may transcend Udu. What's the point? I imagine you heard from Selens. I am the first human being to make contact with Udu through the transfer experiment. I obtained this power then, but along with it, I was implanted with an inescapable fear. I trembled before that fear. I struggled against it and ran, and eventually, I realized that this fear was in fact what shackles people to the human realm. And to overcome that fear requires the power of a god. I sought divine power, and learned it would be granted if the relics of God were brought together as one. That's why I've come here to Mictum. Now I will transcend the fear of God. I will surpass God's existence. I will obtain Zarathustra that sleeps on Mictum and ascend to a higher plane, to the realm of God. All of those waves. So, when you made contact with them, you were already infected. Infected? You don't mean me. Nonsense. This is power. This is the power to surpass God. Yes, and this is only a fraction of my true power. You don't really think that you alone can stop this power, do you? It ends here, Dad. This power is not something a human being can control. My hopeless son, do you really think this is the extent of my powers? It doesn't matter what you say now, you've lost! <laughs> <laughs> Such a foolish child, Rubido. I told you, the fear I suffered was far greater than this. Like hell, don't you understand? You, who feared Udu, will never be able to surpass him! the one who doesn't understand, Rubido. Fear drives evolution. Human beings have used their intelligence to conquer their fears and to obtain power. And this is that power that I speak of. I will teach you the same fear that Albedo and I receive. Transfer ES! <laughs> Amusing, but I'm afraid.
afraid you're just wasting your time. This power is infinite. As long as I have the Zohar and Abel, my power will never fade! Stop it! Muda will awaken! Once that happens, there'll be no going back! That face... the expression of fear... <laughs> Interesting. That's how you looked when you betrayed your own comrades. Your fear will soon become a new source of power for me! Damn it! What do we do, Junior? There's no end to this. You're in way over your head. That power is not yours. You're simply being seduced by that power. Just like I once was. Hmm? Eternal time. The infinite cycle of rebirth. Amidst that flow, human existence is meaningless. Albedo! Just as I thought, I knew it was you! Albedo! Yo, Rubido. I'm so happy to be able to see you again. It's rather amazing. I feel like thanking the laws of this universe. Albedo? Why is he... Why is he here? Albedo! But you... I thought that you... I came to warn you. My hopeless but most beloved other half. But first, we need to do something about these. Hey, what are you doing there, Mr. Goody Two Shoes? So you're still alive, you worthless failure. Why do you interfere now? Shut up! I don't have any business with you. I'm talking to the bastard who's hiding in the shadows. You want to please our dear old dad that much? You've always been that way. You're wasting your time. He can't hear you. Really? He sure seems to be hearing me. Oh, what? What? J Junior. Guinan! Kill me. Hurry. Right now. While I have my will. It's possible. Hurry! How can you say that? I could never... My, my. You're still a softy. You won't save anyone like that. It's what he wants. Hurry up and do it! You have the power! I can't! Sure you can. You killed me. It's the same thing. It should be easy for you. No, I... Then want me to do it? It'd be easy with the power I have now. Stop! Good. That's it. Now, release your power. Junior, it's all right. Albedo's right. If you don't do it now, it'll be too late. You're the oldest. I'm sorry. I keep forcing everything on you. Negredo! Yes, yes. It's all very touching. Now hurry up and form the link. The link? Negredo. I hate the idea of having to link with you. But... It's for Rubido. Now, join up! What are you doing, Albedo? Get a hold of yourself. You're the leader, remember? He's contaminated by Udu. Did you forget? 
We have the power to neutralize him. D but if we do that, we'll... Don't underestimate my power. I'll send him into another dimension. Sorry, Negredo. I'm going to use your body. Once we start the link, go inside Rubido before you lose your body. I'll take care of the rest. Albedo, are you planning to leave me again? Oh, stop crying. Like I said before, I hate both of you. There's no time. Begin! I'm gonna form the link. Negredo! Albedo! Now go, Negredo. If you stay here, I'll blast him away with you. Uh, what are you doing, Negredo? I demand that you get out of my body! Stop hiding your feelings, Albedo. Why did you come back here? Sorry, but I don't like to follow orders. Go back to Rubido. Stop it, Negredo! Uh, Rubido, that is your true form. You see, I was created to observe the two of you. The only reason why I existed was to kill you. I tried to abandon that duty. But that would have meant that I was denying my own existence. <coughs> I... I was afraid of being separated from the two of you. Albedo knew from the beginning that I was nothing more than a danger to you. I know that I never should have existed in this world to begin with. Negredo! That's not true! We were friends, remember? My duty to keep watch over you is over. No. I want it to be over. I'm not saying goodbye. Let's play together again sometime. Until then, take care. Rubido, Albedo. one-man show and ran off by himself. You pissed me off to the very end, Negredo. Albedo. Hey, don't worry about it. You know how he is. Once he gets to where he's going, he'll probably spy on us along with Citrine. Yeah, you're probably right. Let's go see him one day. And the three of us can get together again. That sounds like fun, doesn't it? <laughs> that doesn't sound so bad. Sorry, Rubido. I'm really tired. I'm going to sleep for a while. Yeah. Rest and relax. Rubido. The Zohar. Mr. Guinan? Shelley? Master Guinan's? I heard him. It was Master Guinan's voice. He said, thanks for everything you've done. Take care of little Master. I can't believe he's still worried about little Master. Yeah, he just had to try and sound cool. 
even to the very end. Yes, but that's just like him. Now his wish has come true. The awakening of the remaining vessels will come soon. Yes, we testaments exist for that purpose. Then let us, too, step out onto the stage. It's time to go, Joshua. said something is sleeping on Mictum. Do you think it's related to the disappearance of the Zohar? Captain, it's Ormus mobile weapons. They're headed this way. What? Ormus mobile fleet confirmed. They're surrounding us at a distance of 20,000 kilometers. Damn! Tony, take us down to Mictum! What? Are you serious? It's better than staying here! Hurry! You're all crazy! Hey, don't blame me if something goes wrong! What are you doing, Margulis? Did you not hear my order to leave? My apologies, Your Eminence. But we cannot let our birthplace be destroyed by Gnosis. That's unimportant. Everything has existed for this day. But Zarathustra is here. Without that, our dream of returning to lost Jerusalem, to return to the land where our Lord sleeps, cannot be fulfilled. Isn't that what you said? Ugh. Your Eminence! It seems you've had a great misunderstanding. What? Your Eminence... Is that what you look like? That's right. Are you surprised? You've served me well all this time, but it seems your faith was too strong. Overly strong faith clouds the eyes. You are no longer able to see what you should. But perhaps that is still good in its own way. Your Eminence. You probably don't know the origin of Ormus, so I shall tell you. Ormus was born approximately 6,000 years ago. It began from the death of the man you worship as your lord. Officially, it existed to convey the man's existence to coming generations. But its true purpose was to manage the words he passed on. The program you call Lemigeton is, in fact, those words. 
It's a failsafe installed by God that can cause this universe to dissipate. Though it appears the man you call your Lord didn't know that. Of course, that was to be expected, for those were the words of Yeshua. To protect the universe from dissipation, I created an organization to manage and watch over those words. That's Ormus's true objective. Not just the words, but also the artifacts of God passed down from ancient times. All of them are beyond human control. Are you saying our devout wish to return to lost Jerusalem is all a lie? Yes, exactly. You needed words, faith, to define who you are. What were you planning on doing once you returned to that place? It disappeared because it was fated to. Because of human action. Then all we've done so far, all we've worked for, was meaningless? It wasn't meaningless. As long as you, yourself, believe it wasn't meaningless. After all, that's why I've continued to exist. Now what will you do, Margulis? You must make a decision that will define who you are. Will you leave this place? Or... I... I... Yes. You are a man who has lived a life without regret. You truly are a worthy actor to decorate the final stage. Hey. Everyone alive? Yeah, what's left of us? Can you tell where we are? Let me connect to the database here. It may still be alive. We're 12 kilometers from a city. There should be a spaceport nearby. Can you detect the Zohar? There's no sign of it. But there's high-density Gnosis activity in the center of the city. Gnosis? Hmm. Could the source of this planet's anomaly be located there? Probably. Before Albedo went to sleep, he told me that the Zohar and Abel were transferred to Mictum by someone's will. So he told me to go there. Captain, sorry, but the Elsa better wait here. Don't wait for us if anything happens. Follow Yuli's instructions. Are you sure, little master? You'll all have to look out for yourselves. We won't have any leeway. The rest of us will leave the port in ESs and head for the city. Ormus is here too, so don't let your guard down. What? I'm going too? You got something to do here? You don't know what we're gonna run into. And Shion isn't looking good, so give her the support she needs. Kanan, you'll support Jin. Hey Kanan, what's wrong? Hmm? Uh, it's nothing. Understood. So this is Mictum. It is a land of atonement for mankind. This entire world is like a tombstone. What is it, old man? Getting scared? No, it's nothing. There's a lot of noise. The sensors don't seem to be working well. What's with you guys? You and Kanan are both acting weird. Get a grip, okay? Sorry. I'm fine. into other people's homes uninvited. That voice! You bastards are still alive? Of course. Our role is to deliver punishment to you heretics. So, you still haven't gotten tired of getting your butts kicked, huh? My, you certainly talk big for trespassers. Be grateful that the punishment of your heresy will take place here in the Ormus Holy Land. It's above and beyond the honor that should be bestowed on someone like you. 
Are you so moved that you're trembling? I've got the speeches already! Let's fight! Oh, don't worry. We will. For your sentence is death. Before. Is it a testament? It looks like he's taunting us to follow him. It's been heavily damaged, but I don't think it was caused by combat. It doesn't seem to be caused by an atmospheric reactor accident or anything like that. It looks more like a natural disaster. That symbol! What is it, old man? I've been here before. It was in the distant past when I was still human. What? It was here that I faced off against Voyager. Back when this place was still called Abraxas. That testament was on this planet too? Yes. Voyager was born here. And it was here that he transformed and ceased to be human. Hey, wait a minute! This is... Gnosis. This is horrible! Looks like a large number of people failed to escape and were left behind. But the platform was right there! I wonder how many spaceships managed to take off from here. <sighs> what was that? Xion! Chief! Where are you going? There's something over here. What is this? It looks like an emergency platform. Is there something here? I don't know. It's... sadness? Fear? I just feel something here. Chief. I never thought we'd meet in this place. I must remember to thank God, Jin Uzuki. Pelligree? I have nothing further to say to you. We must stop the disaster that's happening on this planet. Neither us nor the Federation matter at this point. We have no reason to fight you. No reason to fight? Do you know what this place is? This place? You set foot on this land without knowing anything about it? This land is the birthplace of Ormus. The birthplace of Ormus? Yes. Those born in this land were called the people of Zohar. The Zohar project, which your Federation pursued so vehemently, was originally brought into the world by us. So that is the heritage you care so much about? The people of Zohar arrived to this planet after their long wandering journey. We were the people who protected the Zohar, and the relics of God for generations. But the Federation usurpers realized the potential of the Zohar, and invaded this planet, killing its people, in order to obtain the Zohar. And the result is this. The current state of this planet is the manifestation of your Federation's ego and desires. We swore revenge, and vowed to restore this land so we may return to our fatherland. It is the destiny of my people who've lived on with the Zohar. It is the word of our god. So that is the truth behind Milsha? It's true that you may be victims as well. But that doesn't justify what you did on Milsha. There's no need to justify. The words of God represent justice. Our existence defines truth. History shows that those who speak of the word of God have never represented what is right, 
All they've displayed was deception, falsehood, and aggression. Yes, deception. It's true that it was all deception. What we did was all meaningless. What? Yes, there is no longer a need for a reason. I am here now. This is my reason for being. Jin, remember that you are free. You can freely accept or reject anything you please. But I'm different from you. I can never join you. This was fated from the beginning. Then at least, I'll end it with my own hands! Pelligree! Bail out, Pelligree! There's no sense in you dying. You don't have to accept it! I told you, it doesn't matter anymore. Each person must walk on their own path. Your path and mine just simply did not cross. Then come on. Fight me one more time. Survive so that you can defeat me. <sighs> but I can't. I can't fight anymore. I'm tired. Farewell, Jin Uzuki. Pelligree! Jin! Yes, again. Hey, old man, what's wrong? Siki, are you okay? I may know where the Zohar is. Really? Where? My memory isn't complete, but there was once a facility where the Zohar was studied. We should head there. Why did you keep something like that a secret this whole time? I wasn't keeping it a secret. My memory is fragmented and not linked properly. It seems I tried to seal it subconsciously. What? How come? Even cyborgs get nightmares. I tried everything I could to erase it. A nightmare? That place is the stage of my nightmare. It is an abominable place. Is this it? Yes. It looks like a religious facility of some kind. It's a cathedral built by Ormus to worship the Zohar. Pilgrimage meetings with the Federation and other such activities took place here. Yes, but that's only the official story. In reality, the research of the Zohar took place underneath. No wonder this place looks shady. All right, let's go inside. I've been waiting for you, Yam Sauer. Come here. What's going on? What's he got to do with this place? This is where he killed my wife and child. Uh. Voyager, I'm already dead. Whatever you're scheming in this place means nothing. No, you're still suffering. Even now. Aren't you? Time stopped for you on that day. You can never escape from it. If you'd heeded my warning and became a testament together with me, you wouldn't have had to suffer like that. Ziggy! A testament? Why are you so surprised? The same applies to all of you. You, you, and you. All of you possess the characteristics to become one of us. He knows that, and has been observing you all this time. Hey! Observing what? Yes, 
He planted an observational program in a special realian. Didn't you notice him standing by and watching you for 15 years? Program Canaan, or perhaps I should say, Lactus. Lactus? That's impossible. That was 100 years ago. created to be a weapon. He was created to be an observer. I'm sorry, Rubido. Kanan! Enough of this, Voyager. Why are you doing this? What's the point in making Lactus suffer now? Captain, is this why you became a testament? What's your real objective? Answer me, Eric. <laughs> I became a testament to escape the fear of death and to obtain eternal pleasure. It had nothing to do with you, Gyasaur. The reason I concern myself with you is extremely simple. I just want to enjoy my eternal life along with you. One hundred years ago, you ignored my words and ended your own life. That is something I cannot accept. Is that the reason why you decided to choose this place? Exactly. This is the place where the curtain was closed. Now, let's move on to the Encore. Except this time, I will have the pleasure of finishing you off myself. Just like I did your own son. Eric! It's over, Eric! Oh no, it's just beginning. No need to struggle. You should know by now it's impossible for you to harm me. No, Captain, stop! Lactus! Please stop, Captain. You can't win against Eric. So, your subordinate has to save you, Jan. What a fine captain you make. <laughs> Eric, I want to make a deal with you. A deal? You became a testament to conquer the fear of death, right? And what of it? Thanks to his power, I've already conquered it. No, you haven't. If the one who gave you the power perished, you would face the fear of death again. You yourself haven't changed at all. Don't you see? Hmm. Nonsense. He will never disappear. My life is eternal. Do you really think so? Can you be certain you will not be betrayed by the one you trust? You are the one who sneered that there was no meaning in such things. Use Program Canaan. My subconscious domain is linked to a specified location to send and receive information. I presume you know where that is. The Compass of Order. 
Yes. By linking with me, you can directly absorb the power of the compass. You'll obtain the power of God. How does that sound? What is it you want? Make me one of you. Canaan? Lactus. What are you saying? No matter what happens, even if I survive here, I am a traitor. I don't want to live on with that sullied label. <laughs> I see. No wonder you are a specially designed realium. I accept your offer. I'll take that power from you. Lactus! So this is his power? With this, I will become God! What? My power! My power is fading! I guess you couldn't handle this power, Eric. You've touched something that must never be touched. So now, you must face your punishment for all that you have done. Like this. This is what you intended from the very beginning. I'm afraid you will have to join me on a journey into phase space, Eric. No. Let go. Lactus, there's no need for you to sacrifice yourself. You won't be able to come back. Your very existence will perish. I know, Captain. But it's all right. I don't want to see anyone else I care about die before my eyes. I didn't exist just to watch you die, and I don't want to exist only to betray you. I truly want another reason to exist. I want to protect every one of us. Goodbye, Captain. Like this! Kanan! Farewell, Ruby Doll. I pray for the success of your mission. I failed yet again. That's not true! He's finally free from his curse! He won't be used by anyone anymore. So, you chose the same path I did, Lactus. Place. It looks like some sort of experimentation ward. <gasps> if you're here, that must mean Pellegree is dead. You killed your former love, yet you still live on. I'll compliment your tenacity, Uzuki. I could say the same to you, Colonel. <laughs> Look at the remains of a dream. The final product of human intelligence, human technology that can surpass even God. The end result of desire for forbidden power. The very definition of a nightmare. You're the one who repeated that nightmare, Colonel. I, too, was unable to rise above my human existence. It may have been I who sealed this planet into a nightmare. You could say I was pure. If I'd stopped to think for a moment, it all would have been obvious. But the word martyrdom seduced and clouded my eyes. Colonel, for that word, your followers believed in you and laid down their own lives. So why are you here? Why are you not beside them? Uzuki, those who died with their beliefs were the happy ones. But what about me? There's nothing more pathetic than a pet who's been abandoned by his master. 
Lacking the strength of the wild, he merely exposes his pitiful form to the world and waits to die. <laughs> but it is the same for you. Ormus, Vector, the Federation, Milsha. All of them were nothing but actors for the one objective. What does the term People of Zohar mean for us now? We're just fools made to dance to a tune of lies. Why do you still fight us if you know that? Even a fool has his pride. But after being betrayed and rejected by all I've believed in, there is still one thing left for me. You, Uzuki. My showdown with you is the only thing that will not betray me. You didn't think that I would run? There's no chance of that. In the end, you and I are both beings who can only express ourselves through strength. You were able to kill Pellegri, and I'm sure that you'll be able to satisfy me as well. Jin Uzuki. As a warrior, and as a man, I will leave my mark upon the world! See that old fool at least had a good eye. Jin, you are exceptional. But your strength means that you will always be alone in this world. You've cast aside the few people who understood you by your own hands. Now, there is no one left who understands you. Marculus. Very interesting. Now let's begin once again. Give up, Marculus! No! Never! It's all right. This is my wish. I have lived to settle the score with you. At this moment, I am not going to... Lose to you! What's going on? My pendant! Hey! What's going on? It's calling me. Head is calling me. What is this place? <sighs> Are you okay, Chief? Maybe you should rest a little. <sighs> I'm okay. It's already passed. <sighs> what is this? A dead end? Junior, look at this. These letters. Yeah, they're the same as the ones we saw in that floating landmass. Mama, can you read it? And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear not ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen as he said. 
That's the only text I can decipher. The rest isn't in my data. Hmm. This material. Is it crystal? It feels like some sort of crystalline structure. This structure has the same composition as Xi'an's pendant. I detect this compound throughout the planet. It's the same as this pendant? In other words, it's definitely not a normal room. But this little room is what Ormus wanted to protect? This is not a dead end. I detect a large energy source from beyond this room. But there's nothing resembling a passage. Uh, what is this? Xi'an? Someone's calling me. Hey, Xi'an, are you okay? You've been looking pretty sick ever since we came to this room. N no! Xi'an! Chief! Xi'an. Who is that? Why do you appear before me? Tell me, who are you? Xi'an. <gasps> Abel? This form is what you have defined me as. If you call this form Abel, then I am Abel. You're Udu, aren't you? I am just one of the ways that Udu is perceived. Udu wants to know. Know what? About the wills that desire a dissipating world. Everything about you. Everything about this world. I don't know any of that. Xion, are you feeling pain right now? Is pain a method to recognize yourself? Why do you all seek pain? I don't know. I don't know either. You don't know? I don't know as well. No matter how much you hurt yourselves, no matter how much you hurt others, it won't make you feel better. So why? Xion, why do you exist in this world? What does your heart try to see in the abyss of despair? Where is the real you? The real me? I'm right here. I don't understand. Where am I? I want to know. What am I? Who will define me? That's right. I'm alone. Only that song heals me. That's right. He is the only one who heals me. What I want is... Xion! Are you alright, Xion? I... yeah. I'm okay. Ah! Nephilim? Xion, what you seek lies ahead. If you wish to go forward, you must open the door by your own hands. What? This room was sealed by the will of a woman who was able to call upon the power of God. She did this to prevent what lies ahead from falling into the hands of mankind. If her consciousness does not awaken, you cannot reach the truth that lies ahead. A woman? Who? Someone you know well. In the distant past, she laughed and cried together with you. She is your other half. My other half? Now, in order to save this universe, she must awaken. But this will force you to make a painful choice. Her awakening will erode and chisel away your life. If you were to turn back here, no one would blame you. Everyone knows your pain. My pain? No one knows anything about me. No one knows how I feel. I was always alone. Even when I called for help, no one listened. The only one who listened was Kevin. That's not true, Xion. Everyone listened. Everyone wants to protect you. You're saying the same thing everyone else is. 
Then why didn't they save me? They stayed away from me, like I was some kind of a disease. It would have been better to have been denounced or condemned. Xion, please don't lose sight of yourself. Don't let his words overcome you. You don't have to worry. I'll open the seal. But it's not for any of you. It's for my own sake. And to take responsibility for what's happened to the universe. Chief, wait! Why do you torture yourself like this? Move, Alan. This doesn't concern you. Yes, it does. I've always loved... I'm worried about you. You saw what happened. I summoned the Gnosis. I caused the destruction of the universe and everything. That doesn't mean you have to take on everything by yourself. I mean, we, we're all... If we put our heads together, we can find another way. You're so naive. The situation is already far beyond that. Alan, what power do you have? Can you save me? Can you save my life? I... You don't have any power at all. If you can't do anything, then just shut up! Chief... Xion, that's going too far. He loves you. <sighs> Chief, do you miss him that badly? Even with your body broken like that, you still have to see him? I've made up my mind. Leave me alone. Xion, are you sure? Yes. This is... This is that floating landmass. No. It must be some kind of planet. I see. Maybe. It's a memory from when this land was alive. This must be... Lost Jerusalem. The stones are still new. They look like... They were just made. <gasps> Chaos! I don't understand. Why are you here? Since you are here... It must mean that you have come for her. Her? Yes, that's right. Where is she? In this casket? <gasps> Chaos, who is in this casket? <sighs> Chaos? Uh. Oh, it moves. <clears throat> what? This is... It's Cosmos. <gasps> no, wait. She's human. She looks just like Cosmos and Telos. Kevin must have used her as the model when he first built them. She's so beautiful. She looks like she's sleeping. <gasps> What's happening? Where am I? Isn't that... chaos? That woman beside him is the woman in the casket. What is this feeling? Is it... anger? Despair? You're sad, aren't you?
aren't you? Uh, Cosmos! Are those... Are those tears? Why? Why are you crying? I see. You've lost sight of yourself, just like me. You don't know who you are anymore. You don't even know where you stand. And you feel alone. I understand. Let's find out together. All right? Let's try and find out who I am and why you are here. Let's look for the answers together. Cosmos. Xi'an. Xi'an. Are you alright, Xi'an? Chief. I... Can you stand, Xi'an? Cosmos! You've awakened, haven't you? Into your real self. Your... Mary. Mary? Mary Magdalene, my will. You finally awakened. Telos! That is not the vessel in which you are meant to dwell. Surrender and become part of me, Cosmos. the partner of the Messiah. My body is Mary's body. Inside of Cosmos sleeps Mary's will. Now that Mary's will has awakened within Cosmos, I will take it inside me and complete my resurrection as the true Mary Magdalene. Cosmos is nothing more than a temporary vessel. Mary's... will? Mary's resurrection? Wait! What will her resurrection bring about? And what is it that Kevin's trying to do? Do you mean that you don't know? You are the key, Xi'an. You're the maiden of Mary Magdalene. Mary's resurrection is what he desires. The convergence of dissipating will. The revival of the soul. That is Mary's duty. When Mary fulfills her duty, Zarathustra shall speak! Very well be the maiden, but interfere and you will regret it. Do you understand? You don't have to be afraid. It's all right, I'm not going to kill you for his sake.
Are you all right? Xi'an. Cosmos. What are you? Xi'an. Right now, I am Mary. And at the same time, I am not Mary. Wasn't it you who said that the heart changes from one moment to the next? Yes, but Telos is trying to make you a part of her. If that happens, then... I don't know what will happen by merging with Telos and becoming the true Mary. I don't know what the fulfillment of that duty will bring, but... Dare challenge me, you defective piece of junk! Do you want to be ripped apart like before? Listen, Telos. If your existence will bring harm to my friends in any way, then I will be forced to stop you. I see. So it's not just your appearance that has changed. Fine. But I am afraid that won't be enough to stop me! Cosmos! Do not worry, Xi'an. But that... that attack will... You are the one who designed this body, and it will take... more than Telos to defeat me. Shut up, you mechanical doll. Disappear from the face of the... <laughs> You neutralized it with one hand? <laughs> you haven't got the best of me. Hardly. This is far from my true power! Xion, please stand back. Cosmos! I'm sorry, Telos, but this is goodbye. She's resonating with Telos. Be careful. We don't know what will happen next. Cosmos! Cosmos? Are you all right, Cosmos? Xi'an. Thank you. There's no need to be concerned. I am fine. The moment has finally come. Mary Magdalene has awakened. She will leave all consciousness to Zarathustra. All that remains is for her to insert the key. Are you worried? It was not Telos who awoke, but Cosmos. That wasn't part of your script. No, 
There's no problem. Mary Magdalene and Xi'an, everything is in our hands. Is occurring throughout the star cluster? What the hell's going on? I don't know. A warning was being sent from Gedalia to all regions until a moment ago. Now I can't make contact with Gedalia. Can you make contact with other systems? More than 80% of star systems are already unreachable. Captain, some kind of code is moving through the UMN at incredible speed. Could this be the cause? Let me see. That's... Lemageton. No, it's similar, but not the same. It's something else. <gasps> what? What's going on? Gnosis are... An incredible number of Gnosis are gathering at Mictum. I see. Thanks. The Elsa just reported in. The Gnosis Phenomenon is manifesting throughout the entire star cluster. They've already lost contact with more than 80% of the Federation. What? This planet has restored its original function with my awakening. And that's affecting the Gnosis? Yes, Zarathustra is one of the relics of God. Those who worshipped Mary Magdalene brought it with them from Lost Jerusalem. God gave Mary a choice the power to change the form of this universe. But in order to call upon the final power, a key is needed. A key? That pennant you have. He entrusted you with that pennant for this day. <sighs> Xi'an, he is waiting for you up ahead. But you are still uncertain. If you meet him as you are now, you may lose sight of yourself. Cosmos, I mean, Mary. You were able to recover yourself. What does that feel like? You're right, I'm uncertain. I don't even know where I stand. But that's exactly why I want to see him. Let's go. Kevin is waiting. Xi'an. And Mary, too. Welcome. Kevin, I... I know. You're scared, aren't you? You don't know what you should do, or even who you are. You don't know where you belong. You don't need to be afraid any longer. I'll give you those answers. Kevin... I once felt the same way as you do. When this planet was destroyed, I lost everything, even my sense of who I was. It was then that he appeared before me. Wilhelm, you mean? Wilhelm? Vector CEO? This is what he said to me. Because of a certain phenomenon, our world is on the path to destruction. The universe is slowly but surely being destroyed. No one can stop it, even if they had the power of God. The universe is going to die? But do not despair. There is one way to save this universe. 
And that's eternal recurrence? If we are fated to die, then we shall stop our history at a certain point and restart it. And we shall repeat that process eternally. How do you feel about our world? What do you want to do with this world that drove you into the pit of despair? I hate the world. A universe like this one is better off gone. And then I can live in a new universe with Mom. That's a good answer. You should accomplish that dream. I'd be happy to aid you, Kevin Winnicott. He'd been preparing for this since before the loss of Lost Jerusalem. Ormus, Vector, even the Federation all existed under his will. After that meeting, I joined the Zohar research team as Joachim Mizrahi's assistant to prepare for the day that would come. To awaken Mary Magdalene, I created Cosmos as her vessel. In it, I placed her consciousness, which had dissipated in the UMN and entrusted her to you. So, everything went according to plan? I feel sick just hearing it. You heard him, Shion. He planned everything from the beginning. He was just using you as well. Kevin, when you died, was that all just an act? No, it was real. I died on that day. In order to obtain power, it was necessary to cast aside my physical body. I needed to deepen your bond with Cosmos for Mary's awakening, by removing myself from your life. I can't believe it. You've got to be kidding me! Everything you've done has been a lie! You're the biggest con I've ever met! Xi'an, I'm sorry about what I've done to you. But I want you to understand, to save you and the world, I had no choice. With this power, I can free you from the terror of death. I can spend eternity with you. I want to save you, Xi'an. Kevin. How can you say that? You try to make it sound good, but in the end, all you were doing was using her. It's to protect her life. You think you're allowed to do anything you want if you think it'll protect someone's life? That it's all right to ignore the Chief's feelings? I refuse to accept that way of doing things. You refuse to accept it? Do I need to request your approval? The fact is, she will die. Are you saying that you will accept Xion's death? That you will abandon Xion to her suffering? No, I... That's... But... Pathetic. If the world could be saved through passion, all of this would have been unnecessary. Now, come, Xion. You've done more than enough. You don't need to sacrifice yourself anymore. It's all right to think about your own happiness. You know, don't you? That there's no place for you there. Oh. Chief, don't go! Listen, you bastard! Leave Xion alone! Stop! Don't hurt him! Xion? Are you serious? Xion. Jin? Xion, you know what he's trying to do. There is a shadow in his heart. And yet you still intend to go with him? I don't know. I don't know what I should do. I'm tired. I don't want to hurt anymore. None of you saved me. Only Kevin has made a place for me. Xion, none of us want you to suffer. Don't you understand that? I do understand, but that's why I hate it. I've had my fill of pity. 
And isn't it already too late? It's not like you understand other people's feelings. If you had, Pellegrin might not have had to die. Xion! Chief, that's not true! So then you're serious about this? Yes. That's right. I've decided that I'm gonna go with him. Don't interfere anymore. I understand. Jin, stop! No matter what happens, I intend to do what I must to save our world. Make sure your decision reflects that. But, Jin... Xion, you've got to stop this! There's still time! You've got to listen to him, Xion. Please don't go. I'm sorry. Xion! That's enough. Just give up. Xion has made her decision. Your roles are over now. Stand down and listen to the words of God. Like hell I will! Look, Xion! If that's what you're gonna do, I'm not holding back! I'm bringing you with us even if I have to beat you up! Stop! Please stop this! Get out of the way, Alan! Yes. I'm afraid I'll have to ask you not to interfere. No. I won't move. Chief, guys! Everyone get a hold of yourselves! What are you all trying to prove by fighting like this? I've had enough. I didn't come here to do something meaningless like this. We're all fighting to protect the universe so we could all survive, right? You still don't understand? The cries of the powerless is what's meaningless. Your pathetic voice will reach no one. That's enough, Kevin! Are you saying you're the only ones who can save the world? Are you saying that it's impossible for us? Exactly. You cannot save the universe or Xion. That's not true. Everyone here is resolved to face this fight. No one can laugh at that resolve. Resolve? Do you think we Testaments lack resolve? Yes. You lost confidence in your ability to live as human beings and just ran away. Because they were scared of death. Because they couldn't stand being weak. Virgil, Voyager, Yuriev, and even Ormus. They were all just trying to run away from the harshness of reality. The power of the Testaments? All you're doing is using that tremendous power to run away. Then are you saying you have that resolve? You have no power. You can't even win the heart of the one single woman you love. What resolve does a man like you have? That's right. I'm a weak human being. And to you, I'm only an insignificant, powerless creature. But I'll never leave the chief and run. I will stand firm on this spot and save her, no matter what! Very well. What's wrong? Weren't you going to stand firm? Look at you. You're pathetic. You think you can save Xion? Stop it. Xion. Just leave him alone. Please, he can't even stand up on his own. He can't do anything else now. You really are pathetic, Alan. How does it feel to be pitied by the one you love? Do you really want Xion's sympathy that much? 
sympathy. You don't understand Chief's suffering like I do. I understand her feelings. Her pain and her sadness. And despite that, she struggled alone to do everything that she possibly could. You don't have any idea how much she's been hurt. Or how she's suffered. How could anyone like you understand? You have no idea how much she's cried! Ellen, please, that's enough! It's alright. You've done enough. Why do you have to suffer like that? You see, I wanted to cry in her place. And I wanted to be the one to feel her pain. Because I wanted to spend my life together with her. I know that I may not be able to do much in this world. But I would do absolutely anything for her. So then do you think you can take her away from me? Xion may find your feelings to be too much of a burden for her. Even if that was the case, the feelings I have won't ever change for her. Like you said, I'm a pathetic man. All I could ever do was watch her from afar. But... There's no way I would ever abandon her. I won't lose to someone like you, who has only run away! I'm taking Xion back, no matter what happens! All right then. I shall grant your wish. Mary. You're almost there, Alan. Cosmos. It's all right, Alan. I too understand your feelings. I can feel your pain. And I can also feel Xion's pain. Cosmos. But I... Let's go now, Alan. Let's go to Xion. Stop! Why are you doing something like this too? What are you doing, Mary? Is this your will? You know that will be defying Wilhelm. I must protect Xion. No matter what, his will is irrelevant to me. I see. Then you truly are a failure. Mary's consciousness changed inside you and awoke as something different. You're not the will of Mary as it should be. Xion, please tell me. Is this what you really want? Do you really want to betray everyone? Doesn't this make you sad? It was to be with you, even if that meant that I was being used, even if I was being deceived. As long as I could be by your side, I thought it didn't matter. But now I know that's not true. It's wrong for me to sacrifice others for it. If I do that, if I run away into the past, all I'm doing is repeating the misery inside me. What, uh, Xion? What are you saying? I do love you. Dearly. I'm sure we would be happy together. There's nothing that I would want more. But... 
I can't stand the idea of being the only one who finds happiness. If I can't share it with everyone, then there's no meaning to happiness. And I don't want to be alone anymore. Xion, no. Are you... Are you leaving me? If you force me to choose, I won't hesitate. Stand with them to save this universe. Xi'an, listen to me. Accept my words, Xi'an. If you reject me, you will die. Kevin, listen to me. I cannot be with you. I am no longer your tool to play with. I see. But I will not hand you over voluntarily. Instead, I will eliminate those who confuse you. Is that your will? Is this really the result you desired? Kevin... Xi'an, you're confused. You're unable to make calm decisions about where you stand. Please stop, I don't want to fight you. Xi'an, I don't want to hurt you either. Why can't you understand my feelings? Stand down, Kevin Winnicott. Time's up. Wilhelm! It seems I expected too much from you, Kevin. Uh -huh. Kevin! Impossible. How'd he transfer them? I had a feeling it wouldn't be a good idea to leave them in your hands any longer. They all appear to have awakened, so I'll go ahead and retrieve them from you. You don't mind, do you, Yeshua? Shion, your will is even stronger than I expected. You are truly worthy of being the Maiden. Now I will make use of that power. Please wait! Shion is still... I told you to stand down, Kevin. Cosmos failed, and you lost Telos as well. Even the Maiden with the key has left you. Acknowledge the truth. You were unable to fulfill your role. Your Wilhelm? What is Vector's CEO doing here? That is one of the phrases that defines me. However, words give people many forms. Vector's CEO, Head of Hyams, Ormus Patriarch. The Federation Executive Committee Director. 
all of those are nothing more than phrases that define me. They each define me, yet none of them are me. So far, the only one who can define me is you, Yeshua. Now, Shion, I'd like to start Zarathustra with the key you hold. I have no intention of doing that. I expected you to say that. You foolishly chose your death over restoring your time with Kevin. The preciousness of limited life. The beauty of death. You're intoxicated by that narcissism. It's such an incredibly human choice. But unfortunately, your life doesn't matter to me at this point. All I need is your power as the Maiden, the Key, and Mary. Are you perhaps bewildered? Zarathustra is one of the systems created by people in ancient times. It was used to ascend to the realm of God. It was orchestrated by Mary, and its power source was you. Right, Yeshua? But it didn't turn out the way they expected. God did not permit mankind's actions. So in order to prevent the destruction of the universe, I bestowed upon it a certain role. That's right, Yeshua. The destruction you will bring. Chaos? Who are you? Everything that makes up this universe is connected by the collective subconscious. Redoing everything from nothing by acting upon that collective subconscious and sending everything into the flow of imaginary time. This is the role I gave to the Eternal Circle, Zarathustra. Udu is God himself. The two Abels exist as Udu's observational terminals for this lower domain. In order to assure the continuation of our world, we must seal them away. We will cover the eyes of God, remove his influence from this world, and affect the recurrence of wills through Zarathustra. And that is precisely the reason why I exist. Xion, you are the Maiden. When you use your key, Mary can lead the wills from throughout the entire universe to Zarathustra. You're wasting your time. I have no intention of activating a system like this. Besides, mankind doesn't want that. We're all fighting to live this moment. Are you sure? Large numbers of wills have already gathered here on their own. They all reject the world as it is now and wish for days long past. That can't be. There's no way everyone will reject the universe. The Gnosis. Yes. Gnosis are the form of people who have rejected others and the world. They seek salvation. Faced with being overcome with loneliness and fading away, they choose instead to return everything to the beginning. Mary and I shall give them what they seek. The eternal recurrence. Are you ready to help now? You must be joking! No! I'll never do what you say! I see. That's too bad, for I am not as kind as Kevin. Shion! I told you, I have no interest in what happens to her and I don't care. I only need her desire to use the key, even if I have to force her. <laughs> that is, the reason why she is here. Stubborn, aren't we? How long can you stand it? Chief! Stop! Stop it! If you don't stop, she'll... Cosmos! Help her! Hurry! Shion. Mary, I forbid you to interfere. 
understand? Mm. Cosmos! What's wrong? Hurry! You're wasting your breath. Mary understands what must be done to save this universe. Chief! It's all right, Xion. Kevin, are you there? Help me, please. Kevin, help me. Satisfied now. <gasps> Why act surprised? Everything has occurred as expected, including your act of betrayal. You knew? Of course. What you seek is not order for the universe, but only for your own personal desire. An eternal world for the two people in love. That's right. I have no attachment to this world, but I cannot lose Xion! For love? Ridiculous. That has no value. Ah. Aren't you happy you'll be able to feel her pain, Kevin? Now, Shio, have you changed your mind? No. No. Honestly. Stubborn, aren't you? Then how about this? Mary, bring Shion here. What's wrong? Shion will continue to suffer eternally. Not permitted to die. You're the only one who can release her from her pain. No, Cosmos! Don't do what he says! Are you sure, Mary? You don't want to lose Shion, do you? trusted, Shion. In order to save you, Mary intends to ignore your will and activate Zarathustra. No! Very good. You have done well. With this, we will be able to live forever. Cosmos! What are you doing? Mary? You fool. Now this universe will be completely destroyed. 
Eve and Yeshua will perish. Mary, is this what you really want? I am not Mary. I am... Cosmos. This will help. Oh? Are you going to use yourself as a shield to protect her? Kevin! We've been rejected by this world and by them. Humans. Mere humans are rejecting me? Impossible. It is unthinkable. They don't understand how precarious this universe is. This frail world standing on a thin thread. If that balance is tipped, everything will be lost. We're the ones who don't understand. They are trying to walk their own path under their own power. They're saying they will walk across that thread with full knowledge of what it means. They'll never be able to do that. Really, I think it's possible. Chaos? Yeshua, I didn't expect to hear you say something like that. This world is more flexible than you think. Even as we speak, ripples are spreading throughout the entire universe. Are you saying you're going to release your power? You're a failsafe implanted in this universe. If you release your power, there will be more to worry about than just ripples. And besides, it's too late now to suppress their wills. If it was only me, that's true. But I'm not by myself. I see. Are you saying you've come here to challenge your own fate? That's a fascinating decision. But unfortunately, it looks like you're a little late. Zarathustra has gone out of control. If it continues like this, the universe will eventually dissipate and vanish. Stop it! Stop the system now! If I should stop it, then what? What will you do with this tremendous energy? With these countless wills that reject each other, that have nowhere to go? Are you implying that you know how to heal them? The world can only be returned to the beginning. Come, Mary. Help us guide them into the past. There is no other way for us to save this world. Hmm. What do you think you're doing now? I refuse! to continue to let you do as you please. How foolish of you. Kevin, don't you know that your body will perish from this world if you continue to do that? I won't be the only one. You will perish as well, Wilhelm. So, you do this with full knowledge. No, Kevin! Shion! I'm suppressing the system's energy! Hurry! You must destroy Zarathustra! But Kevin, you... Don't worry about me. Concentrate on the system. This won't mean anything if you don't stop it. Shion, 
It's true, he's right. The future isn't set in stone. With the power of your wills, you can shape it into the future you desire. <sighs> Do you understand what you're doing, Yeshua? Abel's controlled by the system and I'm the operator. If I should somehow suddenly vanish, this world and the universe will... You may be right, but I... I want to believe in the light of human beings' will. Very well, then. Is that your answer? That does sound like you, Yeshua. Perhaps I wanted this from the very beginning. Since the day when I first met you, I may have been waiting for this day to come. I'm sorry, Shion. It's just that I... You don't have to tell me. I understand. I know that you placed everything inside here. Shion. They're the precious memories you and I blossomed with our love. Thank you, Kevin. Because of you, I have... I've been able to make it this far. Because of you, I'll keep going. That's right. You'll be fine now. <laughs> I'm glad I was able to see you smile again. Hang in there. The world is waiting for you. Goodbye. Goodbye, Kevin. Farewell. What's going on? The system is still out of control. Damn it! Isn't there any way to somehow stop it? Don't worry. your wish? Jerusalem, 
a planet once called Earth. Earth? Our homeland. We cannot stop the universe's accelerating dissipation. The true destruction of the universe. But the potential brought by the light of your will is unlimited. If you, if mankind, has enough time to build upon your feelings, then perhaps... And you will provide us with that time? Yes. I, Abel, and... Shion, you're not the one who guided this universe to destruction. Ever since the moment I've existed, my power of anima has caused the universe to tread the path toward destruction. Your power of anima? To prevent the destruction of the universe, and to save me, Mary separated the power of anima into the vessels and sealed them, costing her life. Sealed by her, I lost my power and became a spectator. All this time, I didn't know what the meaning anima this power held, or why I had this power. But now I finally know what it means for me to use this power. You taught me that. Chaos. Everyone, this region of space will soon undergo a dimensional shift. Unfortunately, I don't have the power left to help you escape. I want you to get away somehow before this region is destroyed. But what about you? Everything follows the flow. Don't worry. We'll meet again. I'm sure of it. Chaos! Chaos? What's gonna happen to this universe? Don't worry. When we disappear, the speed of this universe's destruction will slow down. But we can't stop the destruction itself. At best, this universe will last another few tens of thousands of years before it perishes. Listen to me, Xion. The key to saving all lies in the land of origin. Lost Jerusalem. I and the Gnosis, the wills of countless people, will all return there. For mankind to survive, you must do what must be done in this universe. And then come find Lost Jerusalem. Xion, I know you and the others can do that. After all this time, I finally found the real you. And now, we are going to be apart again. The time we'll spend apart will be an instant in the flow of universal time. I know, we'll meet again. So please don't be sad, Xi'an. unusually vague, coming from you, Cosmos. <sighs> I think it is the most natural thing for me to say. That too is because of you, Xion. Thank you. <sighs> no. <sighs> Thank you for everything. You've given me so much. Cosmos, I'll see you soon. <gasps> yes, see you soon.
wandering wills. Come to the cradle within me. Nephilim's probably gathering them. No. They're behaving very strangely. They don't want to go. What? The Gnosis are objecting. They are refusing to join as one. No. They're afraid. No! That would mean that Chaos and the others will... Jin! Go back! They're in serious danger! No, we can't. Have you forgotten about the duty that they have entrusted us with? They stayed behind for us. Chin. Xi'an, let's go. We have things we need to do. Isn't that right? Come on. I guess it isn't possible for me to guide all the wills. More time is needed to complete the dimensional shift. Cosmos! Please protect this place until then. Understood. is not too far from there! Jin! Hey, Jin! I'm afraid that Chaos and Cosmos won't be able to handle that many Gnosis by themselves. If I go in Asher, I'll be able to help them out a little. No, Jin! You can't go alone! We're going to go with you! Xion, you know that you already have other things that you must do. What are you saying? I don't want you to go, Jin. I need you! I can't do anything alone! Listen to what you're saying. You're not alone. You have all these wonderful friends. Xion. I know that I was never a very good brother. I did nothing but cause you pain most of the time. I always regretted not spending more time with you. So please, let me be your brother one last time. I don't believe it. How can you say that? It's not fair of you to say something like that to me now. I'm the one who was wrong, not you. You always thought about me. I knew that you did. But I was the one who couldn't admit my real feelings. I was embarrassed or uncomfortable or something. and So I'm the one who pushed you away. I'm the one who caused you so much pain, and I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for it, Jin. Forgive me. Please forgive me. What are you apologizing for? You're a wonderful sister, and you always have been. You've experienced nothing but suffering your whole life. So you have every right to be as happy as you possibly can be. Oh, Jim. Alan, my friend. She's a troublesome girl, but 
Please take care of her. Yes, Jin. Thanks. Remember what Chaos said. He said that we'd all meet again. And besides, as a scholar, I have some interest in this land. This special land called Lost Jerusalem. Jin. And now, I bid you all farewell. See you soon. Jin, I know I never said it, but I was happy. In my heart, I was so happy to be your sister. So, so thank you. Thank you, Jin. Of course, I'm actually terrified. But I know in my heart this is what I must do. Well, Asher. We've got one final job to do. Let's go. Starting from Mectum, the UMN columns throughout all regions of space are disappearing! Communication with each region is gone, unable to determine cause. What did you say? It's spreading with incredible speed. At this rate, it'll be less than ten minutes before every single column is gone! Togashi. Wait a minute. What the hell is going on over there? Damn it! They keep coming at us one after another! Don't you know you're supposed to accept people's kindness? Momo, are you alright? Yes, I can keep going. I'll show you! I'm gonna... Protect Xion! Oh, Alan. Are you alright? Can you stand up? Uh, yeah. Good. Let's go. Oh no! <laughs> Jin! We will handle this. Do not worry. I'm sorry. Thank you, Jin. It's good to see you're still alive. Captain, emergency takeoff! We're getting out of here now! Roger that. Uh, wait a minute. What about Chaos and the others? It's alright. Don't worry about them. They have things they have to do, and so do we. Now let's go. I see. <laughs> That's just like it. All right, Tony, full speed ahead. Okay, here we go.
you back then but this time I will I'm leaving the rest to you now Xi'an
Todd! How are we supposed to hurry? There's not a single column left. There's no way we'll make it with normal flight. Stop whining and just floor it! The logical drive's maxed out! This is all she's got! <sighs> Damn it. I guess we'll just have to use that then. But we still have things that we need to do. The future they entrusted to us is... No EPR radar, and no data from the UMN. I'm unable to determine our position. Are we in the far reaches of the universe? Huh? <laughs> What's that? A transmission? No way! There's no UMN, so how can there be a transmission? Talk about obsolete communication methods. This is an electromagnetic type transmission. Can we respond? Yes, I'll give it a try. Oh, 
Honestly... <laughs> that girl... You're going already? The only clue we have is the fragmented information left in the Y data. And with the loss of the UMN, you won't be able to use any transfer flight methods. All you'll have at your disposal is normal flight. I'm afraid it's going to be a little different. Yes. I know I made a promise to Chaos. I know that somehow I'll reach Lost Jerusalem. Xi'an, I... May I? I want to go with you, Xi'an! <sighs> Thank you so much, Momo. But you know, you already have something to do here. You'll be working with Skientia to construct a brand new network. Make sure you do your very best. Okay. I will, Xi'an. Junior. Yeah. Momo? We'll be gone for a little while. So take care of this place. Okay. Um... What is it? Will you be sure to say... Hello to Albedo for me? Yeah. I'll pass him the message when he wakes up. But he's pretty lazy, so I don't know when that'll be. <laughs> Ziggy, take care of Momo and Yuli for us, okay? Yes, of course. Don't worry. Concentrate on your mission. We'll see you soon. Until then. I'll be waiting for you. I'll keep waiting until you finally come back. Good luck. See you soon. The moon is gone And the night is still so dark I'm a little bit afraid Of tomorrow For this day was so long and hard for me And I've lost some of the things So far I have trusted Now I will close my heart and sleep a while Bless my dream with gentle darkness Until Now I think I understand what Wilhelm wanted to do just a little bit better. His methods may have been wrong, but now I think I understand the logic behind his reasons. Living the same life over and over again. But living those lives without any regrets is what really matters. That's probably what the ideal vision of being human is all about. However, we humans are really not that strong. And we know that we can't live like that. We're creatures that are much more flawed, weak, and smaller than that. We hurt others. We lie to ourselves. We hate. We blame others. We regret. But even if we are weak, 
And even if it is our fate to disappear entirely, I think the will to change the future is still an important one. We must try to change the things around us, little by little, even if it is one step at a time. And even if everything is already predetermined, it's not something for us to be sad about. No, on the contrary, the future is overflowing with hope, and we have infinite paths to choose from. Isn't that right? Chaos. Cosmos. exist in this world after all as long as people as long as the universe desires it we will continue to exist we haven't finished what we need to do yet so until then sleep well Cosmos. Good night.
is gone and the night is still so dark. I'm a little. 